What's up? Hello? The other thing. Which one's the other thing? Hi. Hi. Hello. Welcome. How you doing? Happy day of the week. Um, we're gonna play Slay the Princess. How hard could it be? I'm just here to do a murder. I've done that in many a video game. Hi. Good tap out, no worries. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Um, it's gonna we're gonna get spooky. This game uh has some content warnings. There's a pinned message in the chat. Um stay safe. Uh and if you're watching the VOD, I'll put a link to that in the, the YouTube description. Um But yeah, the the, the the princess is voiced by friend of the stream, Nicole Goodnight. So, uh, I'm very excited. Oh, oh, she's having a time. She's fine. She's fine! Nah. Subscribe to our newsletter. Yeah! Is there a mod where they replace the menu princess with her the family guy death postman? Yeah. That'd be good. Uh, she's just sleepy! Nicole and Jonathan with the excellent... Yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, I played the demo of it on stream last year. If memory serves. Uh, thank you for the bits. Um, good night? All right, then. Bye. <laughs> good night. Yeah, Nicole, good night. Uh, it was a cool demo. It was, and uh, uh, from what little I saw, it get it goes places, um, places that might not be comfy places. So definitely, if you're sensitive that kind of, to kind of like uh, all manner of things, <laughs> check the content warnings list on the website. I think there's more specific spoilery kind of stuff further down the page, but I have no idea what path we're gonna go on, so it doesn't help that much. So, I'm excited though. Nicole, scream, piss, and cry, Nicole. The Nicole Goodnight of Slay the says say Slay the Princess fame. Hi, I'm so uh, happy for you and the team. This game's been getting rave reviews, and it's very cool to see. I'm so happy for y'all, and I can't wait to hate every second of playing this game. Parentheses positive. My tap out this one. No worries, please uh, take care of yourself. Uh, this game has a number of different <laughs> things within it that are not pleasant. So yeah, absolutely understandable. Uh, I'd rather you be informed and be like, yeah, it's not for me, than, than be unwelcomely surprised by something. Um, so yeah. Yeah, the content list, there's a lot. There's a lot. And, and from talking to Nicole about it, a lot of it is on there. Some of the things are on there to be like, we'd rather be safe than sorry. It's like briefly touched upon. Some of it is like, yeah, there's like, there's some pretty intense drawings in this game. So kind of runs the gamut, but yeah, that's a comprehensive list there. Have a nice one. Thanks for stopping by. Um, uh, tomorrow, before you go, tomorrow I'll be streaming Hitman. I'm very excited for that. There's a new Hitman update with a bunch of dumb stuff in it, as well as a Twitch drop, which they've never done before. So if you have Hitman, uh, you connect your IOI account to your Twitch account, and you watch me for an hour or any other streamer playing Hitman this weekend, and you get you get a purple shirt in the game. A lot is rather safe than sorry. Definitely very detailed drawings. Yeah, some of them pretty pretty graphic. This or the coffin of Andy and Laylee. I don't know what that is, Dan Lokiro. I'm not familiar. Um, I got the new Lobo. I'm very excited to get it myself. I might unlock it on stream because I don't know if I'll have time to unlock it tonight. Um, I'm going to hit a man. I'm going to hit several men. I'm going to... Well, there's a new elusive target, which is why they're doing the Twitch drops to encourage people to stream it. Um, it's going to be great. Very excited. A shrivel pert. I've seen some of them because I, I streamed the demo. So I saw about 3%. Maybe what? How many? How many achievements does this game have, Nicole? It has like over 97 achievements. It has 97 achievements, and like 70 plus of them are for different permutations of endings. There's a lot of stuff in this game, so yeah, it, it's it's a it, there's a lot in here. We're gonna see a very small slice of what's in here today. Uh, my goal is to do like one ending. If we can do that today, I'll be like, great. <laughs> I'm excited. A lot of roots, yeah. I've already 100 percent it. The sound effects get very loud as well. Also, there's there's a, a flashing lights warning when you first boot it up. So flickering lights, maybe loud noises. I'll try to bounce the audio as best I can, but you know. It's a lot of dang princesses. This this gigabytes has so many princesses in it. It's a lot of voice acting. Yeah, Nicole's just been killing it. Uh so anyway, uh, let me get caught up on things so we can hop in the video game. But also as a reminder, we got got a little I literally couldn't even finish the thought and someone donated the open hand foundation thank you uh indie land is starting uh tomorrow uh the main marathon event i'll be on it pretty much the good chunk of the day on saturday 
which I'm very excited about. Uh, supporting Open Hand Foundation and uh, playing a lot of cool indie games. Released and pending upcoming indie games. It's going to be very fun. And depending on how Saturday goes, I may or may not stream on Sunday. I might be wiped. <laughs> or I might be, I might do like a short stream on Sunday. We'll see. I'm going to play it by ear. But uh, giving y'all a heads up that my, my focus is on indie lane this weekend. So I'm very excited. You could probably feel like three of the Mars. Yeah, if you stack three of the Mars up, it's about the same height. So, uh, yeah. You could slay so many princesses in this baby. Tom, I'm a new Hundo Percent. I mean, I don't want to get all the way into it, but yeah, I did I did finish Hundo Percentoing Mario Wonder because I, I really enjoyed streaming it, but I was like, I don't I didn't think I wanted to Hundo Percent it on stream. Um, but it was very fun. Uh, the the final 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 level in that game is a doozy. <laughs> like everything in that game, like including some of the final challenges, I like lost a couple lives on. I lost like 30 plus lives, 40 maybe lives on that last level alone. Uh, it's like a huge jump up in difficulty. And it also, it didn't help matters that even though I was playing online, and playing online is like a big crutch and helps you get through a bunch of... There was one... There was one part where um, I had to replay... It was one of the levels I did on stream uh, where you're trying to uh, wall jump up a really tall tower of and, and Goop is rising up behind you and also there's a timing element to it where the music is like but 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 and platforms are appearing in front of you if you know the level you know what I'm talking about because I did that level on stream but I don't think I hit the top of the flagpole or no I know it's not that I missed one of the ten flower coin coins which chat pointed out they're like just get it and die and then you'll bank it for you finish levels like yeah, it's fine so I had to finish that level again um and I literally got to the very top fell into the goop but then someone jumped on online jumped into me and because I spawned in in the goop they just popped me up to the top so I like here was the top of the level I died down here and it just went boop and put me up on top so I was like hooray so it was like stuff like that that uh, uh got me through replaying it but even then the final level was just like my god um do I have to replay it? No, no, I got every coin, and then when I finished it, I was like, I need to get the top of the flagpole. If I if I finish that level and didn't get the top of the flagpole, I'd be like, I'm done. I'm not doing that again. It's It, it gets kind of dumb in some parts. Um, and because it's such a big, long level and it's so spread out, I just, like, didn't have other online players. I would, like, have a single Luigi go by and then lap me and finish the stage as I'm struggling on the same part. I'm like, all right, and I'd be back to being in my own lobby by myself. I was like... Not enough people are in this in the same spot as me, I guess. So I had to do it legit, which is probably good. Um, but yeah, it's, it was fun. Um, Disembowelment and Force Suicide appear twice in the content warning. Well, the twice is nice then. Do it live. No. One single Luigi. Just the smallest little guy. But yeah, uh, Wonder Good. Good game. Red did some good art. I would like to see this clip from Twitch.com. Thank you. Uh... I miss anything. Oh, we're just getting started. Give me a moment to get over to this. Wait, no, that, yeah, that. Uh, what did Reb do? What did Reb do? Hi, Firefox. If Melvin, if Melvin, this is a um... jamming Katamari remix. Uh, I. I don't, I don't, I don't, I I don't, I, I did, it took me a second to internalize what I was looking at. Uh, okay, yeah, no, I, yeah, uh-huh, it's, I say option B, I mean, do you, do you, are you perceiving option B when you say that? Are you actually perceiving what, why is everyone like, uh, option B is horrendous. <laughs> Great merch ideas. Would you I... wear it? If would Melvin you, cosplayed a streamer. <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's me cosplaying in my Melvin onesie, which I now really you want. Wear it this well, so way? That's like that's like a bat Melvin. Um it's a berry kicker. Why would you want that? Uh, thank you, Retail Sisyphus, for converting your prime to tier one. How you doing? Uh, or, th uh this is this if Melvin do thing else do not. True. Yes. There we, there hey Red. There you have it. There you have it. This is fucking atrocious. <laughs> the the, the Barvatar onesie is a nightmare. Uh, wear, wear, wear him. 
skin them and wear them as a suit. Thanks for that. That's good. Oh wait, also while I'm what well, that also uh, uh Radio Bone Air had had a thing to share over over here. Um where where don't worry about it. I'm not I'm choosing not to. Uh they said uh Radio Bone Air said I was originally cast as lead in Slay the Princess. Unfortunately, scheduling conflicts forced me to give up the role, but the melodious Nicole Goodnight was chosen as my replacement and has done a heck of a job. Oh please, Mr. Hero, don't slay little old boy. A bee can grow me. Vampire variation optional. I mean, listen, I would love to saturate the market with Barnaby merch, but um, you know, I'm just a guy. I mean, I probably should outsource my merch and actually have some rather than do it myself and never have any. But you know, sometimes that's how you do. Uh, thanks for the hype train chat. Let me uh, uh, uh get caught up on things here so we can have a terrible, terrible time. It's barely existent. It's Finn wearing Jake as a battle suit. Yeah, but like worse. Cause it's Barvatar. Thank you. Uh one day we're yeah, someday. It's it it does amuse me that at this point the merch store has been closed for like more than double the length it was ever open for. It feels feels I'm out I'm out here. I'm doing my best. Uh makeshift getting you I mean let's it's fine. It's fine. I'll get to it. I just got some other shit to take care of first. It's fine. It's worse because Jake's still alive? I feel like that makes it better, but it's the less you think about it, the better. If someone made you a Barry Kigurumi, would I wear it on stream and or my wedding day? Wedding day, yes, yeah, stream, no. No, that's that's too that's too too formal attire for stream, you know. Barbator ate the jacket jacket fruit from One Piece, and Melvin has gained his powers by wearing him. I, I thought the fruit was the gum gum fruit. Is there a jacket jacket fruit? Or is that a joke? I don't know. Uh, wedding with each other's kigurumi? Yeah. You're, I, I, you, you marry into a relationship for the other person's kigurumis. That's, we all agree that's the case, right? There's a lot of fruit. I, I see. Mm. Twitch pops a warning of the video. You have to click through to get a content warning for it. Yeah, they changed the way content warnings worked uh, on Twitch. Um... It used to just be a toggle you would hit that I that I kept on of just mature content warning. And I was like, I swear, and sometimes uh, the chat likes to say uh, titty. So might as well just click that button. It's fine. But now it's like a more breakdown content warning descriptor thing uh, uh, of different types of things. The one thing that's strange is there's a mature content descriptor, but it's only applied if the game you're streaming is rated by like the ESRB or something as being mature. You can't select that yourself as a streamer. So I feel like this game probably qualifies. So I just click the button for violence because I think there's some violent doodles in here. So. It's Tiddy. You become clothes! Oh. Tiddy and Mitty. Some, sometimes more of the latter. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Yeah, there's a little there's a little barbel there. Um What what, what um, let me let me think about being a streamer for two goddamn seconds. Uh, 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 to the, I, thank you. Uh, well, uh, in between streams, that's what I was gonna do. Uh, there were subs and resubs by Snow Beetle, Lucy in chat, Poo on my shoe, Synth Flare, B Marie 94, and Ice Cold Cloaca Cola. And also, Slay the Princess was recommended that I stream, as well as the demo. Good when that, when that happened. It was recommended by the Thin Poop Duke Nuke, Nicole Goodnight. And they listed their reason for wanting me to stream it as IDK no fucking reason. Which, if that's the case, I don't know why you would... It seems redundant to fill out a form saying there's no reason. Uh, Bun Bun 91, Commander Squeaks, Jinx Tinks, Hoagie Birds, Visorel, Lucy in chat, My Best Toast, and Anonymous. All said you should play this game, so I'm gonna play it. It's out now on Steam, and it's 10% off on Steam. I don't know if it's on other stuff. It might be. I don't know if there's anyone in the chat with first-hand information about this game that might be able to clarify if it's seen. Also, GOG! You can get it on GOG. You can goggle it. Uh, I made this, kinda. You helped! In a significant fashion. GOG. GOG. GOG and Steam. Uh, so, you, you can buy this game. So if you see a little bit and you're like, fuck, this is great. But also, you should watch the stream because apparently there's so many fucking permutations that there's 97 achievements, so you could probably watch my whole stream and barely get spoiled. It's kind of an unspoilable game. It's like, you can spoil that route. 
and, like those options. So, you know, it's wild. Uh, and also what happened over here? Nuclear Sunset, thanks for 10 months. Barry's my favorite streamer, ooh woo. That's, you, you, you're gonna you're gonna say that to my face? How dare you, thank you. That's very kind of you. Uh, Hoi Perim, thanks for 62 months. Woo yeah, woo. Woo! Octo Lamb, thanks for 69 months, nice. Nice. Smash for 10 bits. Does anyone get a little annoyed when the word Isekai gets brought up, even when appropriate? I've got annoyed people kept calling Mario an Isekai because he used to live in Brooklyn, now he's in the Mushroom Kingdom. I feel like an old man yelling at a cloud. I mean, Mario is an Isekai. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, let's set the record straight, though. It is an Isekai, right? Dude gets hit by a bus and wakes up with the Mushroom Kingdom. So, <laughs> Nicole voices the princess in this game. What is it of Oz and Isekai? It's true. Mario's a creepy pasta. That's better, actually. Man humor walks another world. That's textbook. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't know. I don't. I can't argue if it's an overused term or not. Literally, my only understanding is if it's you're you're transported to some alternate world that can qualify. So whatever. It seems like a very rough framework that a billion different things can be done with. No, you're in the same world. That's not an isekai. Unless you consider New York a, a different plane of existence, which could be. Could be. So, you know. It's either isekai or it's not the guy. That is the question. This game contains murder, woman, Nicole. It, that, that's the only content. Those are the content warnings. The Mario movies from 93 is an isekai. Ugh. I mean, yeah. They go through the, the warbly wall. Yeah. Dante was the original Isekai. I... Yeah. Uh, Red War Machine, thanks for eight, eight months. Been playing this pretty good. Mostly achievement hunting now. Hope you have a good time with that. Blue Line, thanks for 100 bits. Don't slay her, she seems nice. Ask her if she's got games on her phone. Nicole, you have any games on your phone? Smash Bros. 100 bits! Sorry that my last comment was a bit out of nowhere. Make up for ears of spooky video game music playlist. If you'd like to use it, I don't know if the music is okay to play on stream. Check to be sure. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Definitely take a look. Uh, Buster Boobo, thanks for 15 months. Five, 15 morbs. This is morbs. Wish I could stick around. Looking forward to the VOD. Hey, good luck murdering. I, I don't want to do any murder. You know, Nicole Nicole is a friend. Nicole is nice. She gave me a, a warm cookie and some hot water when we hung out. Why would I want to do a murder upon her person? Even, even a, a, a character that has nothing to do with her other than having the same voice. Why do I want to do it? Hatemus! Oh, how was it? It was, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. I, I get it. I get it. If I was trapped in a 9 to 5 office job cubicle and my only solace on this earth was hot water and famous Amos, I, I would, I would, I would hot Amos so hard. <laughs> Was it good? It wasn't bad. I'm not gonna say it was good. I was like, I get it. Yeah, I get it. We meet Jonathan Sims is here. He's the player character. There's the two of the two of them. Uh it would start at 9:30. I mean, yeah. <laughs> There's a reason I, I'm not working a normal nine to five. Every time I've done that in my life, it's just it's it, it I man. I, I can't. I'm not a morning person. I've never been a morning person. And the entire fucking planet operates on a morning person schedule. Don't get me started. I've literally read... I didn't read any scientific document. I read news articles and headlines about articles and documents that I didn't read because I was lazy. That are like, yeah. Like, like people that stay up late and night owls and stuff... It's not just like a, like it's an actual real thing. And morning people just get to be like, wee, 9 a.m., yippee. I mean, not saying it's like that for everyone, but I'm like, man, and not, not a single day of my life have I woken up early and been like, I feel rested. <laughs> just, uh, what's your work day like as a certified streamer? I mean, I get up and I get to the office and I stream. And then normally I get stuff done after stream, and on the days I don't stream is when I try to get every fucking other thing done that I try to get done. But, um, yeah, I've, I've learned that when I do stream, streaming is, it, it murders my brain, in case it wasn't obvious. Uh, and that persists after stream. There's like a, there's like a cooldown period where my brain can recombobulate. 
So even on days where I'm like, I'm going to do like a short stream, like two, three hours, and then I get some stuff done. I get like one thing done in five hours. So on the days that I don't stream, that's when I really try to be a productive member of society. Um, I have an unpaid meal. That's fucked up. Can they do that? That's fucked up. I'm sorry about that. Got the brain. Yeah. I'm worried to be awake for two, three hours and sleep for two, three hours off and on throughout the entire day. That's the thing, too. Yeah. I think there was even I, something I read that was like some some uh, 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 like evolutionary aspect where we're meant to like sleep on and off like that throughout the night and stuff. I'm like, man, I don't know. I also thought that REM sleep was important. You can't. How, how did that happen? Anyway, um, what do I produce? Uh, I have I have large acres of, of grain and sheep. I'm just, I just I just have a Catan board. Um, anyway, one thing in five hours, that's real. Anyway, uh, Ludline, thanks for 56 months. Gamer Dunn, thanks for 100 bits. Nice. I Nightfall, thanks for five months. Retail Swiss, again, thanks for converting your Prime to a Tier 1. Appreciate it, hope you enjoy the emotes. Uh, and the Dupus, thanks for three months. Barversary, thank you. Enjoy your silver key, thank you. Massive tracts of land. How many runs have I played? Zero. We're just starting. I played the demo last year. Which uh, was like a taste. I don't. I, I I I I mistakenly thought that what I played in the demo was like a chunk of kind of one run, and you just kind of do it over and over. Apparently, it's a it's a much beefier thing than I previously assumed. Uh, Sixty day subathon. Uh, no. Uh, Curls McGee, thanks for forty three months. I oh, appreciate it. Thank you. I work thirty seven point five hours a week because my lunch break is unpaid. That's fucked up. At the bare minimum. Like, even when I worked an unpaid internship, I mean, maybe it's because of an unpaid internship. They're like, here's a lunch stipend. And I was like, cool, I'm still losing money because I have to drive really far to work this internship. But anyway, anyway, let's let's talk about better things like murdering a princess. Do we need a Nicole Y counter? No, it's not. Whatever, whatever she says is not her fault. It's the people that made the game's fault. Although, I mean, yeah. So uh, anyway, uh, 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 there's a, a pinned message above the chat with a link to the content warnings. If that is something that you think you need to look at, I highly recommend looking at it. It's a doozy of a list. Um, and uh, uh, if you're watching the VOD, check the description on YubTub. If you're watching the VOD on Twitch, I don't know if pin messages work on VODs on Twitch. I don't know if they do. Uh, Solo Sasquatch, thanks for 28 months. I've been looking forward to seeing Barry play since I devoured it in a single sitting. That's a lot. That's a lot of princess slang. Um, Oh, and also, Cuckoo Ketchu dropped five bucks to the Open Hand Foundation. Thank you so much. Vodland Veteran thought to drop by thanks to your thanks to your streams. I sleep better. Love your stuff so much. This is very kind of you. I'm glad the dulcet tones of me yelling about video games helps you have a snooze. Legitimately. Uh, thank you. And and if anyone else is... I thought I said five bucks. Five bucks! Did I, did I mumble my words? Probably. I do it constantly. Thank you for the five fucks to the Open Hand Foundation. It's going to a great cause. And Indie Land's starting tomorrow! So, get excited about that. And thank you. And if anyone else wants to... Uh, uh, you know, we've... only we, We're so close to our goal. We're only at... $2,580 out of $2,000. I'm still mad. I'm still mad about someone dropping 500 bucks after we hit the goal and saying congrats on hitting your goal. But it's thank you. It, it really does mean a lot. It's a cause near and dear to my heart. And you can check it out. There's a link beneath the chat or in the in, in the stream and whatever. I'm going to be on a big chunk. I, I'm supposed to be scheduled, I think, 2 to 9 p.m. Uh, Pacific on Saturday. So I'll post about it on the Discord if you're on there. Otherwise, just tune in afternoonish America time. Hey, JD Zombie. Welcome. How do you? Perfect link generally to just chill and listen to fall asleep. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, do I know what I'm playing? I have no idea. Well, because I'm I in the, in the past when I've been on Indie Land, um, I've uh, I, I've taken on a role of like here you're on for like a block, which is like usually like two hours or so. But this year, they they are they've, they've asked me to effectively take on hosting duties whenever Gerard needs to dip out for that chunk of time. That's why I'm on for so much longer. Um, so uh, I I mean. I've talked to Michael Barity over the many months about a lot of the games that he's been helping hook up for Indie Land, but I, for the life of me, I don't remember which ones are ones that I'm supposed to be on. I'm sure I'll, I'll, I'll learn before I'm on, but uh, some of the stuff that he told me about, I'm very, very excited whether or not I get to check it out myself. Uh, it's going to be cool. Do they officially declare you the finish this? Yeah. 
I'm gonna fight Gerard for the title of finishes, and he's like, you can have it. It's fine. Regicide isn't always the answer. Regicide is absolutely... Well, I, listen, I'm not... We're gonna slay the princess. Uh, Yeah, it's gonna be good. Get out of here, messenger, although that soundtrack is very good. This is Slay the Princess. It's a video game. Maybe you've heard it's like Pac-Man. And there might be ghosts. Uh, check the content warnings. Let's -a go. It's just like Pong for real. Go. Let me know how the volume is. I might need to nudge it up a smidgen. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. Mm -hmm. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. A princess? You would like a schmeckle more of volume? Confirmation from the chat, would you like a schmeckle more? A smidgen? A mere scrumgeon of a decibel? It's all right? A lot of realistic depictions. Yeah, some of this art goes hard. Just a morsel. Tis a bit soft. You got it. Uh, there's a there's a tiny uh, that's a that's a scrumption of a smidgen, a scrimbleful. Uh, whoa! I forgot about the parallax. That is nice. Uh, yeah. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. I mean, is it a good world? I feel like that's is it a world worth saving. Hmm. Um, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, I don't remember the demo that well. If this was the demo as well, but yowza. Uh, the end of the world, what are you talking about? Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's gonna end the world is because she's locked up? Killing a princess seems kind of bad, though, doesn't it? Can't someone else do this? Forget it, I'm not doing this. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Do I get some sort of reward for doing this? Okay, thanks for telling me what to do. Sweet, I've always wanted to off a monarch. Viva la revolution! Silently continue to the cabin, turn around and leave. Uh, I, I'm, I, I'm assuming explore doesn't result in a decision being made. So let's just, yeah, then what are you talking about? I'm talking about the end of everything as we know it. No more birds, no more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. That perhaps is doing we a lot of heavy to lifting. An end to her. Okay. All right. Howdy, howdy. Bar apocalypse. We have Judgment Day for a reason. Uh, okay. How can a princess locked away in a basement end the world? Don't linger on the specifics. You have a job to do here. Just get in there and do what needs to be done. We're all counting on you. Bank, my name is not Shirley. Do you have any evidence to back this up? I've been playing a lot of Ace Attorney. Look, you're already on the path that leads to the cabin. Why would you be here if it weren't to complete a very important task? You've made it this far, you might as well reach the end of your journey. Okay. Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? While I appreciate the mental exercise, we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. Nevertheless, let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she's dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. Uh-huh. And before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. Sure. Causality doesn't matter here, because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end, and there is no changing that. Mm -hmm. It's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. So the princess is a chicken, got it. Unless, of course, you do your job and slay her. Hmm. Killing a princess seems kind of bad, though, doesn't it? Does it? Are you a monarchist? Is slaying a princess that much worse than slaying a fisherman or a miller or a seamstress? If anything, slaying a princess is much better than slaying a seamstress. Seamstresses contribute something of value to society. I'm, I'm, I, 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 uh, 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 can't someone else do this? Oh, if only that were the case. But I don't make the rules. I have to say I'm surprised at your reluctance thus far. But unfortunately for the both of us, you're the only one who can pull this off. He's my doom. Mm-hmm. This game's breaking all the rules. Like I said, I don't make the rules. They're gone. 
no matter how much I wish I did. Hmm, forget this, I'm not doing this. Are you serious? No, you have to do it. Uh, maybe I'm okay with the world ending, hmm? Of course I haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody wants the world to end. I mean, maybe some people do, like nihilists, or very, very evil people, but surely you're not one of those, right? I like the game where you hit it. I know, it does kind of give me, like, it's like horror Stanley parable. It's like, Stanley went to a set of two open doors and took the door on the left. This is like, you walk into a cabin and you murder the princess. Uh, hmm? Uh, do I get some sort of reward for doing... Yeah, listen. I feel very morally icky about this whole situation, but, like, do I get a parade? Yes, but you'll have to slay her before you get it. I get a parade! Can you tell me what my prize is going to be for doing a good job? It's a secret, but I think you'll like it. It's a special reward, just for you. And whatever you think it might be, I can promise you it's going to be even better than your wildest imagination. Why is that? I, I get, I, like, like my first thought from that is that you, the player, become the princess and the cycle is just a loop. Maybe that's one of the endings. I don't know if that's going to be a fun prize. I'll go to the cabin, I'll talk to her, and if she's as bad as you say, then maybe I'll slay her, but I'm not committing to anything until I've had the chance to meet her face to face. Then I guess we'll just have to see what happens. But a word of warning. If you go in prepared to hear her out, yeah. she could easily trap you in her web of lies. What? And the more you listen to her honeyed words, the harder it'll be to pull yourself out. Listen, I've known Nicole for a number of years now, and not once has she gaslit me. Then each and every one of us is doomed. So sure, go talk to her. See how that turns out for all of us. Okay. You make that your way I know. up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. I'm the hero. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Wait, who is... Wait, is that not me? But... <laughs> is, is the voice of the hero like a different part? Is this like a... a, a, a what was it? Disco Elysium situation? Proceed into the cabin. Yeah, woo. Me and Jason. Greek chorus? Yeah. Hmm. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is a trick. I want to snap off one of the table legs and use it to stab her through the heart because she's a vampire. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Mmm, explore. Take the blade. So I guess explore just means you have, you're not moving, but that does has, have consequences. Uh, I feel like, I, if I remember correctly in the demo, I didn't take the blade, because I was like, no, I'm here to be a friend, and then I got murdered for it. I don't remember exactly what happened. I remember being violent. <laughs> I'm gonna take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Yeah, I'm gonna save the world. I'm gonna do- I'm gonna listen to the narrator. Let's go. The door to the basement creaks My cursor open, has a fucking Revealing knife a now. staircase faintly illuminated <laughs> by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp. A hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. I'm gonna stab the history button. No, 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 I listen. I gotta murder her if I'm gonna get my secret parade, chat. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? Hey, I'm cool. She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's, it's me. all part of the manipulation. Manip- what? Yeah, the cursor's knife. Hi, just checking in on you. I think I'm here to kill you. Uh, hi. Don't be a stranger. And it's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. Don't be a stranger. Hello. You walk down the stairs. Get her. And lock eyes Get her. with the princess. <laughs> There's a heavy chain around her wrist, <laughs> binding her to the far wall of the mm -hmm. basement. Mm -hmm. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? 
focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Mmm, yeah. Uh, no way. Why would you even think that? Okay, yeah, you caught me. I'm here to slay you. N nuh uh. I haven't decided yet. I'm just here to talk. Steal your nerves and step forward. Uh. Uh. Yeah, you caught me. I'm here to slay you. That isn't a good idea. Oh. Just drop the knife, and maybe the two of us can talk things out. No. She's right. We shouldn't. We should just drop the blade. No. Don't you dare. Yeah, I trust the narrator. He seems trustworthy. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Mm, I'm gonna keep it. You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip on the blade. Mm -hmm. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you? Scared of me? Because you should be. Oh. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. I mean, we so, know. you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. Uh. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. She has two arms! End this. And clearly one used to be chained up, so something happened there. Uh, what if she isn't bluffing? What if she kills us? Are you sure she's not armed? Uh, say the, uh, the title. Title of the game. Uh, are you sure? What if she isn't bluffing? What if she kills us? You go into this expecting to die. You're going to die. I'm 100% expecting to die. Hesitating? Why don't you drop the knife and the two of us can be civilized with each other? Uh, I'm not dropping the blade. Then I'm not talking to you. We're talking already. I guess we're at an impasse. <laughs> Squint while holding on to the blade. Hmm. You stare at the princess, squinting. Mm. She squints back. <laughs> the two of you are gonna do this forever, aren't you? Damn it! Uh, squint harder. You squint even harder. It... So does she. Damn it! At least nobody's dying right now. God damn it! You're going to have to make a choice. No, I'm choosing you to can't squint. Keep squinting forever. Eventually, someone is going to have. Oh, man. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, murder. You charge the princess, blade trembling you get her. in your hand. And you've already lost the battle. What do you mean I lost the battle? She casually sidesteps your thrust before knocking you to the ground with a single blow from her. Oh. We shouldn't have hesitated. Oh. But she doesn't stop there. She kicks you a few times for good measure, the pointed tip of her shoes feeling like a pickaxe against your fracturing bones. Making sure you stay down. All right. As you lie, crushed and broken on the basement floor, the princess kneels on your throat with the kind of weight you didn't think her slight frame could possibly possess. Let's see if I can nudge it. As you gasp for air, she eyes you with an intense curiosity. <laughs> Nicole one Barry zero. You shouldn't have let that fear creep into your heart. You had the upper hand, and now look at you. No, I can turn this around. Is this really the best you could do? Look at you. Completely broken. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little disappointed. She applies more pressure, slowly squeezing what's left of your life out of your lungs. This is the end, isn't it? No. I'm afraid it is. No. Everything goes dark. Oh. And you die. Okay. I did well. That went pretty good. Oh, chapter two, the tower. Good. Great. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Mm-hmm. I do want to see, yeah, I can nudge the music down a smidge in comparison to. See if that's a better balance. You're here to slay her. If you don't, 
it will be the end of the world. So I keep being told. Uh, uh, I died, what am I doing here? I can assure you that you're not dead. And to answer your second question, you're here to stay the princess. I literally told you that a second ago. Now we know, I mean, that's what I wanted. I didn't want to just murder her in cold blood. Now, now, now we know she's the threat. <laughs> now I don't have to feel as guilty. No. If he doesn't remember what happened, no. maybe it's best to keep it that way. Yeah. You know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. Or what does it matter what he knows? There's nothing we can do to stop her. She's just going to kill us again. Voice of the broken. She is not going to kill you unless you let her. But slaying the princess and saving the world is going to be much more difficult than it has to be if you spend the whole time second-guessing yourself. Uh, let's assume I'm telling the truth and all this really did already happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. Uh-huh. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. Well, I mean, I, I, I mean, yeah. Of course we died. We couldn't land a single blow on her, and she broke every bone in our body before she decided to let us die. What were we supposed to do to stop her then? What are we supposed to do to stop her now? It's pointless. She's just a princess. Slaying her shouldn't have been difficult, but congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, Oh, what's the point of doing anything? If you're That's not that, what I sound like. like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. Uh, um. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. The princess killed us and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence free to me. We got tower. Nicole is smiling. Hi Nicole, I'm at the tower. How you doing? Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself? Or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? We got isekai If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? Is the squint ending? Did I not squint hard enough? Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would? If she ended the entire world, why should we even bother? We might as well just walk up to that cabin, break her chains, and let her do whatever she wants. It's all the same in the end. I like this broken guy. He's making a lot of sense. Just because she's capable of ending the world doesn't mean you're not capable of slaying her. Both of those things can be true at the same time. So chin up. I believe in you. Okay. Let's talk about this princess. Just be quick about it. Okay. Uh, she killed me last time around. How can I make sure that doesn't happen again? Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her. Don't trust her. Just go in, do your job, and save the world. Uh-huh. Uh, all she did last time around was beat me to death. How can someone like that end the world? She just can. Believe me, I wish I could tell you more, but you'll just have to trust that what I'm saying is true, and that, despite it all, you're fully up to the task that's been given to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're not. We might as well just pledge ourselves to her and stop pretending that we're capable of doing anything in this situation. She probably doesn't even need to try to overpower us. Can we tone down the pessimism just a smidge? I'm not being a pessimist. I'm just being realistic. Yeah. You're being annoying. Yeah, yeah. Just ignore their bickering and whatever you do, don't pledge yourself to her. Hmm. I cannot stress enough how absolutely catastrophic that would be for everyone, yourself included. Hmm. Pledge myself to her, eh? Who locked her in that basement? What is this place? People locked her in that basement, and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. The voices are chat. If people locked her away, why couldn't they slay her? Why is this falling on me? Look, I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. <gasps> you're the only person capable of doing I'm this. I'm special. Call it a prophecy, if that helps. But it's just the way things are. I knew I was special. Oh, I didn't know we were special. Of course you're special. 
Why else would you be here? Of course you're special. Why else did you get that participation trophy in elementary school? Who cares if you think we're special? As far as I can tell, the only thing special about us is that we get to experience painfully dying all over again. Mm -hmm. uh, you're being cagey. What aren't you telling me? And then tell me that. I've told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail will just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. The less you know about her, the better. Oh, no more. Tell me more. That's all. Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. Okay. Uh, let's go. I had the option to leave. Oh, I'm gonna boy. go. Before you go any further. Yeah, what's up? She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Believe everything she says. Got it. Lying? Cheating? Why would she even bother? She didn't need to do anything like that last time. That's true. We just walked up and then she murdered us. <laughs> she caught us off guard last time. We'll be fine. Let's just keep our wits about us. At least one of you still has a shred of sense. Just make sure you listen to him, not that whiner. All right. I'm going to walk in. If I'm going to stab what her. You want, I guess I don't have a say here. I'm just going to walk in. I'm just going to stab her. I'm not going to say nothing. I'm not going to stop for nothing. I'm just going to walk in and stab her. That's what we're doing. That's the game plan. Got a plan, I'm sticking to it. The interior of the cabin is larger and more grandiose than its humble exterior would suggest. The only furniture of note is a massive marble altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Uh, all right. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I didn't need a ladder last time. Why do we feel so small? Am I tiny? We don't feel small. We are small. Uh, you didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. That's true, there's a giant mirror on the wall. That's because there isn't a mirror. There's the altar, the blade sitting on the altar, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. Uh. There's definitely a mirror. Uh. There isn't. Who cares if there's a mirror? We're all going to die anyway. Uh-huh. And I'm sure that if we looked in there, We'd just see something sad and miserable looking back at us. Well, I want to see that. We don't need any reminders of what we are. It would only make things worse. Just full on gaslighting and girl boss. <sighs> for the last time, you're not going to die unless you let it happen. And luckily for you, there isn't a mirror. So no one needs to worry about confronting a grisly visage any time in the near future. Mm hmm Though, for what it's worth, if there were a mirror, I'm sure that you wouldn't find anything sad or miserable in it looking back at you. You probably look perfectly normal. I like looking perfectly normal. Probably. Do you not know what we look like? He knows. He just doesn't have the heart to tell us. Oh. Uh, I care about whether I'm being lied to. There's a mirror. I want to look at myself. I want to see how handsome I am. Please don't. I'd rather the princess kill us again than see how dreadful we are. I want to see my cool goblin face. I care less about what we look like and more about whether we're being lied to. Mm. If he's willing to lie about something as innocuous as a mirror, what else is he hiding from us? I'm not lying to you. Use your eyes. There is no mirror. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would it even do? Uh, this whole cabin's different than last time. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm gonna approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. I look ridiculous for a living, it's cool. We should count ourselves lucky. Some things are better left unseen. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> there's no mirror. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take that blade. You take the blade from the altar. Nice. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the I, world. Egg on my face, fun. chat. I thought there was a mirror there, I'm sorry. I should've listened. I should've listened to you, chat. Uh, yeah, I got a weapon. Let's go.
The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a spiral staircase. Mm -hmm. It steps almost as deep as you are tall. Mm. The smell of incense drifts up from below. For a moment, you almost feel at ease. It's comfy. Huh. This is actually kind of nice. I am imagining literally having to climb down each one of these ladders, uh, each one of these steps, but yeah, it's comfy. It's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. I, I get the sense he's gonna say that no matter what the cabin looks like. We're doing her a favor. It's like a beautiful, ornate cabin with every possible amenity. Uh, we're, we're doing her a favor, lads. Yeah. Her mm -hmm. booming voice rolls up the stairs. Is that a guest I hear? Don't linger on the stairs. Come down and witness me. Okay. You weren't kidding when you said it was booming. She wasn't like this last time. We need to get down there. She wants us to see her. We need to see her. Oh, poor Broken. <laughs> Should we be worried about your sudden change in attitude? Just a few minutes ago, you were going on about how pointless everything was. Now you want to go down there. It doesn't matter what that little voice says. He's not the one making the decisions. Though if his ramblings get you to the princess, they get you to the princess. Let's go. Making your way down the spiral staircase is a time-consuming and exhausting effort, every step requiring you to clamber over one edge before dropping to the next. But soon the end comes into view, and you tumble to the bottom, entering the vast, temple-like room beyond. The princess oh. towers over you, almost glowing in the weak starlight, her figure framed by a stained glass window, her long hair billows around her, and a chain binds her wrist to the far wall. Uh, I guess I can stab one of her toes. The chain is nothing to her. It might as well be a toy for all the good it would do. I told you it was pointless to resist her. The little bird has returned to me. I wonder what he wants. What do you mean returned? I've never been here before. You brought that knife again, even though you know it's useless. Such charming audacity. Drop it. Uh, I'm keeping. Let's go. As if on command, the blade <laughs> slips from your grasp. It clatters uselessly to the floor. Damn it! But we didn't drop it. We decided to grip it tighter, remember? Are you really just going to let that happen to us? I have a duty to report facts as facts, and the fact is that you dropped the blade. No, I didn't. Of course we dropped it. She's so much more than us. You wouldn't understand what it feels like to be in her presence. Oh, I understand what's going on, and you'd better snap yourself out of it. Neil. Nuh-uh. No. Oh, are you still trying to defy me? I said Neil. Your legs buckle, and your knees hit the floor. That's my good little bird. Now, why don't we talk? Okay. The last time we met, you couldn't even scratch me. And yet here you are again, trying to succeed where you've already catastrophically failed. Don't say Nicole to Barry Zero. We have, I haven't died yet. What draws you back here beyond the empty halls of death? Speak. Uh, Last time we met. Hi. I suppose that lends credence to our conversation in the woods. Still, whatever you do, don't tell her why you're here. It's best not to give her any ideas. I uh, listen. I it's fine. Uh, they ate for real. They did. We have a poll. Uh, I got it. Bonk chat. Yes or no? I mean, we know what that's gonna be. We know what the answer to that poll's gonna be. Um, yeah, no, d listen, it's fine. Uh, well, well, I'm gonna remain silent. I, the, the, the whole, the whole idea is that because I hesitated last time, she won. So I gotta just remain resolute. Do you think holding shut your beak is enough to stop me from prying it open? Do you think your skull can save your thoughts from being seen? I've been told I have a very thick skull, madam. Do your best. Hmm. You're less broken than I thought. Thank you? 
Perhaps you need another lesson in submitting to your betters. Pick up that needle. I might literally be a little baby bird. Do it. It's what she wants. Mm -hmm. No objections here. <laughs> what? I don't know what she's planning, and I don't like that we don't know what she's planning, but we might as well pick up the blade. There is like, yeah, listen to her. As your eye falls okay. on the blade, you feel a weight. Some divine hand that sits unperceived by your senses, Phoenix. but that manages to push you towards its desires like an unseen puppeteer. Oh, good. Uh, 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 what are you going to try and make me do with it? I'm going to kill you. You're not kidding about that divine hand. Who's doing this? Is it her? Is it you? No. Pick up the blade is my only real option. Okay, that's cool. You reach forward and grasp the blade. I think it's gonna go great, chat. Stand. No. This one's easy. See? This isn't so bad. Okay, yeah. We can do that. <laughs> we were probably gonna stand anyway. Yeah. Uh, I hate you, I hate you so much, all of you. Stop making me do things. I'm gonna kneel here forever. Stand, you, know, stand. you can feel a creaking tension between body and will as you slowly rise to your feet, like two foes forced into an unhappy truce. The princess eyes you with soft contemplation. The moment seems to last a lifetime, the silent anticipation of what's to come dragging out the long, painful seconds. But all silences are broken eventually. Mm -hmm. To defy me is to claim we stand on level ground. We do not. You are quiet, Shadow, while I and brilliant radiance. Mm -hmm. Take that knife in your hand and slit your throat. What? You don't have to listen to her. Mm -mm. You're armed. Mm -hmm. Just steal your nerves, step forward, and end this. Yeah, I got this. I'm gonna end this. Oh, we'll end this all right. Your hand lifts the blade and brings it towards your throat. Okay, I apologize for the unclear language. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> That's a very good line read. <laughs> uh, slay the princess. Get her. Your body is sluggish and unresponsive. Get her. Actively fighting against you. Yeah, get her. But you do your best to stagger forward. One step at a time, you move towards the princess. Yeah, we're gonna get her. Slitting your throat would have been a mercy. Uh oh. But it seems you're in need of a harsher lesson. Oh, I made it worse. Plunge that knife into your lungs. Nah, I don't need lugs. I'm sorry. Don't. As you take another step forward, the blade digs into your ribs, slicing through flesh with ease. Hmm. It somehow feels like an entirely hmm. natural Wiggle thing around. to do, while the simple act of walking has become an arduous impossibility. Nah, I'm still good. Then I'm still it slides good. back out, the wound burning as a small hiss of air escapes through the fresh orifice. Blood fills your lungs. Good, I can breathe that. Now, do oh. it again. Keep doing it until I give you permission to stop. Those are just words. You don't have to listen to her. Mm-hmm. It's what she wants. You, heroic one, what are you doing? Don't just let this happen. Stop him from killing you. Mm -hmm. I'm on it. Your other hand locks around your wrist, struggling to keep it from perforating vital organs. Oh. <laughs> the blade still flails towards you, oh, no. managing to slice bits of skin that prop to the floor to join the growing pile of blood. Oh, and no. of you. Despite the pain, you manage to keep yourself in one piece. Yo! At least for now. One piece, let's go! What a pitiful display. A wounded little bird, thinking it can defy a god. Nah, I'm good. I'm good, hold on. I'll be with you in a minute. I'm in the middle of something. It doesn't have to be like this. It doesn't have to hurt so much. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> you can choose a gentle end. You can choose to leave that punctured vessel for the next. Slay the princess. Or you can pathetically struggle against yourself until the floor of this temple is painted with the bloody impressions of your futility. Continue to approach the princess. Yeah. Even as the repeated gouges of your blade expose bone and muscle to the open air of the basement. I'm coming for you. Hold on. I'm almost done here. You know, this would be a lot easier if you gave us a hand. My influence only goes so far, and I can only juggle so many things at once. 
best I can do right now is to continue to try. What are you juggling other than this? Believe me, this whole ordeal would be so much easier if I didn't have to contend with free will. You're the one making things difficult. You're the one making us hurt. She doesn't want to hurt us. She's just doing what she has to. Yeah, I'm turning this around. It's gonna be Barry one to call one before you know it. That's the bar leaving I wanna hear. Stop. Oh. Eh? Eh? As you finish crossing the room, you fall to your knees Hello. at the princess's feet, your chest heaving as your blood pools in the crevices of the stone floor, the coppery taste coating your throat. Broken is God's bravest boy. Broken's doing his best. <laughs> Hello? The princess kneels down, oh. lifting your chin with her finger as her face lowers to yours. Hey, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> your devotion is misplaced. You've surrendered to delusion. But something about your defiant spirit speaks to me. You are different than you were before. Yep. Thank you for noticing. Perhaps, if you've learned your lesson, I can spare you from the release of death. Are we pledging our loyalty to her? Let's go. There's a place at my side for you, if you'll have it. Not as an equal, but as something worthy to be kept. A priest, perhaps. Or a pet. Senpai noticed us. Now stab her, right? Well, that's the meaning, isn't it? Yes, how thoughtful of her. It's a mercy. Take it. I think he's given up whatever say he had at the start of all this. At least one of you is sane. She's within striking distance, and she's only negotiating now because she knows you have what it takes to put an end to her. Yep, I've got her up. Seize the yep. moment before it's too late. She didn't expect me to stab myself in the lungs repeatedly. Now's the perfect time to strike. I also like that the, the, the knife in the cursor is bloody now. <laughs> it's very good. Uh, I'm yours. Pledge yourself to her. Slayer! I said no. Resist. Get her! Get her! No! Though your body trembles, struggling to defend itself in the face of the princess's overwhelming will, you finally manage to break through, darting to her side before she can react. Get her! The yeah! Wind of your freedom rushes through you, and you channel it into a decisive. I might be a bird! Into the soft flesh of her ankle and severing the tendons in an act of unyielding defiance. I might actually be a birdman. <laughs> Which is maybe the best revelation of all of this. It's like feathers. Yeah, get her heel! She falls to the floor, crashing unceremoniously to her knees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you don't give her any time to recover. Your heart pounding with determination, you plunge your blade into her chest. Let's go! As you find your heart oh. again and again, she oh. laughs. Crude emotion breaking through her once stony composure <laughs> as your blade cuts her flesh. I'm gonna get that parade! <laughs> Nicole, you can't stop me from getting my parade! We can do this, can't we? You always could. The decision to give you this task was not made lightly. You're here for a reason. I'm special. I'm a birdman. It's not too late to pick up the pieces. It's not too late to toss that blade aside and beg for forgiveness. Shut up. I can't believe you would actually strike me. You. You heathen. You worm. You defiler. You don't know the consequences of your arrogance. I'm sure I do. Before you can strike the final oh. blow, the princess lashes out, knocking you off your feet. No! There's an unsettling <laughs> pop as your spine breaks, numbness and pain spreading through your body. As you rebound towards the ceiling in a moment of disorientated lightness, she drives her fist into your chest. Okay, now you can update the counter. <laughs> your body is crushed as she pulverizes you into the floor. The ground itself breaking from the impact. I'm gonna nudge down the sound effect volume a bit too. Oh man. Damn. You lie there, broken, beyond pain, unable to even see what she's done to you. That's baller. The princess is succumbing to her own wounds <gasps> as well. She Wait. Looks down upon her body in abject horror and disgust. Hold that, hold that thought. You made me use my hands. I. I can feel myself twisting into something new, something dull, something defiled. What have you done to me? She used her hands? You're monsters and conspirators. I can't bear to watch this. The princess has been nothing but cruel to you. You should feel liberated by her fall. 
but I don't feel liberated. I feel empty. Aside from the pain, I feel fine. <laughs> Dude, that is spine punched out of him. He's like, hey, I mean, could be worse. She collapses to the floor. Her I glassy eyes watch, unblinking, yet somehow still full of anguish and fear as the two of you perish together. Hey, it draws a victory. Oh, I'm not gonna get my prize though. I suppose we were never gonna get a happy ending here, were we? Yeah. Don't let those be your final thoughts. You saved the world. That's worth something. I did it. I guess. Hooray. Regardless of how you feel about it, it's finally over. Thank you. Everything goes dark and you die. Let's go. Oh, chapter th chapter three? That's not the end? Oh. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of the path... Okay, what the hell is that? I think he's upset. And what's he got to be upset about? We just killed a god. Voice of the stubborn. New friend just dropped. <laughs> exactly. You heathens destroyed the most beautiful thing that ever was and ever will be. Mm -hmm. You're damn right we did. You'll get over it. Yeah. I can't say I have much sympathy for you. She was bad for us and you almost got us killed. Almost? You're being too generous. He did get us killed. All right, enough chatter. I've got a thing I'm supposed to do and if you don't mind, I'd like to do it without any more interruptions. Okay, great, you're listening. <clears throat> You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a. Well, this is just. Great. Oh, wait. Uh, 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 if your thing is telling us about the princess, don't waste your breath. We know all about her. It's hardly a path in the woods at this point, is it? Yeah. This is great. Let me cut the chase because you've already been here. I didn't think it was going to actually skip ahead on its own. Gotcha. Yeah, you think? Uh, actually. Uh I don't think we have been here. This is all different, isn't it? Yeah, we just turned to the flesh forest. This is just right next to the wooded forest. Yes, precisely. And if you'd given me two seconds to finish my thought, I would have said that. Oh, you're actually letting me talk now. Great. If you've already been here, it means you've seen things you aren't supposed to have seen, and you know things that you aren't supposed to know. This doesn't look like a path in the woods if reality seems distorted. It's because reality is distorted. So you knew this could happen. You knew we'd be able to restart like this. I know all sorts of things, which is why you should listen to me. Mm-hmm. That's not really an answer. Look, if the world around you is changing, especially all the way out here, then that means you're nearing the point of no return. Whatever happens next, that's it. There won't be any more do-overs. So you'd better take things seriously. This is a normal path and I have a normal human arm. Mm-hmm. It's good. Everything's fine. Don't worry. We only need this one last go at things. You'd better hope that's true. And don't let that inflated ego get in the way of doing your job. If there's still a princess at the cabin, maybe we can salvage things. Maybe if we just grovel and apologize, things can go back to how they were before. Thanks, Dentish. Oh, cut it out, will you? We need to be tough right now. And you're making it so much harder than it has to be. So stop whining. Hmm. You said yourself you know more than you're letting on. If you want me to go to the cabin, you better tell us everything. I can't. Anything I say at this point is far more likely to accelerate the unraveling of this place than it is to actually help you do your job. In fact, I probably shouldn't have even said that. I trust that if you've been here before, it means you know yeah, sure. how dangerous she is, and that you know I'm not lying to you about her. Everything is super normal right now. Really? That's it? That's all we're getting out of you? He just wants to keep things going the way they are. But we've been given a second chance to do right by her. She can build something better than this. She can build something better than us. We just have to let her do it. I get it. You're conflicted. You've been through a lot, but I really have to be firm here. I will tell you one thing, which is that even now, you are capable of stopping her and saving the world from ruin. Yeah. You always have been. 
and you always will be. Do with that what you will. Believe in the narrator that believes in you. It feels like I'm being pulled in a hundred different directions. You better all listen to me when the time comes to make a choice. So what if I'm speaking my mind? It's not like I've ever really got a say in things. What a crock of shit. Yeah, you stabbed us last time. Repeatedly. It didn't even work. It doesn't count. It definitely did work. We died! If you didn't submit to her, for all we know, that wouldn't have happened. It's the punishment you all deserved for not listening to me. To her. Aside from our sulking friend, I don't think you have much to worry about. You're still the one in charge here, and I don't think that's ever gonna change. Second he tries something, I'll put a stop to it. Mm hmm. Uh, if I don't slay her, if I just stay here or do anything else and we hit this point of return, then what happens? Then what happens? Have you even been listening? It's the end is what happens. Does it get worse than Flesh Forest? Yeah, but is there something after the end? The poutiest boy! How am I supposed to know? The end means finality. It's not like I can just peek on over to the other side and tell you what it's like there. If there even is a there, it doesn't matter because we're going to win. Now that's exactly the sort of mindset I like to see. Don't let yourself be consumed with self-doubt. Don't flirt with oblivion. Just focus on the present and everything will be absolutely fine. Good. Uh, turn around, Lee. Bye. <laughs> this art is amazing, by the way. It sucks to look at. But the art has been really good so far. And no matter what happens next, it seems like our answers are at the cabin. Might as well see this through. Let's go. Good. We're all on the, <laughs> the same footstep page. noises are so good. It isn't long before you find yourself at the end of the path, staring up at the cabin on the hill. Oh, you'll yeah, find thank the you. princess within, as I'm sure you already know. End her. Let's get in there. That's it. No final words of advice. I'd rather not waste any more time. I'm sure that any advice I'd give at this point is something you've already heard. That's fine by me. Let's get moving. I'm itching for a rematch. Let's go. The interior Whoa. of the cabin is a place that feels long forgotten. Whoa. There was once an elegance to its construction. Carved marble columns holding a high arched roof. Vaulted windows letting in the weak starlight. Hey, there's a really big mirror in the middle of this vaulted ceiling building. Oop. Didn't mean to do that. But that is how it was. Now there is a what mirror <laughs> that has overtaken it. No, no, no. A viscous fluid seeps from cracks in the stone walls, and it congeals into chaotic streaks of writhing nerves and wet clumps of living meat. I want to see my little bird body. That's horrible. You did this. The only furniture of note is a pulsating pedestal, a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. It's that mirror again, and it's this time it's blocking the door. You didn't mention the mirror last time either. Why? Uh, there's a mirror blocking the door. A mirror? There is no mirror. There's... We've done this already. Try to keep up. The repetition is maddening. I don't know what to tell you. There isn't a mirror because I would know if there was a mirror. You're either seeing things or you're confused on the definitions of door and mirror. That is true. Or you're seeing things. That seems far more likely. I, I need a really good mnemonic to remember the differences between doors and mirrors. You know, I just, I keep getting them mixed up. What are you trying to say, exactly? He thinks we've lost it. That we're succumbing to madness, that something in us has broken. Is this a bucket? That's an unnecessary Answer this questionnaire. way to describe a hallucination, but sure. I'm not going to waste time arguing with any of you. Doors are the reflective ones, right? Doors hit your face. Mirrors can hit your face. Door gonna remember. Door starts with a D. Doors do open. Mirrors start with starts with an M. Mirrors mo open. A dearer. Mirror equals me. Door equals dopen. That's gonna help me. You have no idea what I, how good of a mnemonic that is. Thank you. That's really good. <laughs> it went away after we touched it last time. Let's just do it again. Yeah, touch it. Uh, let's take the blade first. You take the blade from the pedestal. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world. The bathroom mirror cabinet is also a door. Don't do this to me. I'm hanging on by a thread. Don't do this to me. Good. Nothing feels better than gripping cold steel. You know, you really shouldn't be holding the steel part of the blade. Let's go to the mirror. 
you step forward and approach the door to the basement, hesitating before you open it. As if you don't see it. You really don't, do you? How strange. It's, it's, a, it's a dearer. It really is, just like last time. Are we really hallucinating? Why here? Why now? Smash it. Smash it to pieces. It's the only thing. Hey, Lee Thrill. Check in the mirror to find who asked them. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, man. Don't you want to know what we'll see in there? We won't be able to see anything if we smash it. Show me because I dance. I want to see a little, little tiny little guy in there doing a little wiggle. Now, this smash it. Let's get violent already. Do whatever you want with it. The mirror isn't real, so how you handle it doesn't matter. Aside from wasting no, I'm good. dangerous yeah, amounts of time. I'm good too. Uh, wipe it clean. You reach forward and drag your hand damn across it. the door leading to the basement. God damn, where'd it go? As if on command, it slowly slides Chat, open, you saw the mirror, scraping right? Scraping against the stone floor, its ancient hinges moaning as it reveals the dim path ahead. Damn it. Damn it. God damn it. Why am I not surprised? God damn it. You step forward into the darkness. Yeah. Now I have two eggs on my face. The stairs leading down to the basement are at once both narrow and grandiose. Oh, yeah. A high vaulted ceiling stretches up into a gloom beyond your sight, while walls wet with tumorous growths. I press saw a in door, hence the mnemonic. Sides. You feel both yeah, thank unprotected you. and trapped, at once exposed and claustrophobic. Thanks for the donation to the Open Hand Foundation. I'll read that in a little bit. The air is thick, its odor an oppressive violence. The metallic scent of fresh blood twisting with the nauseating embers of charred remains. It's opened like a door. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. R am I right? Who who would want to live in a flesh cave like this? Her voice, a bellowing rage, roars up the stairs. Was severing the tendons of my ascension not enough for you? Was it not enough to rend my divine heart? No. Come, see the horrors you've wrought upon my flesh, and feel my hands set upon your throat! She's so angry with us. Why? Why did you desecrate her? Why couldn't I stop you? You've got to stop thinking about her like that. It isn't doing anyone any good. Nicole's mad because I stabbed her repeatedly in the chest and ankles. So I was like, you know, fair. She's not some untouchable god. She's an abomination. We're going to put an end to her oh, once and for all. Whatever she is now is our fault. If she is an abomination, then what does that make us? We're just a cool little guy with a knife. It doesn't matter what we are. She needs slaying, and we've got the means to do it. So let's get a move on. If I might interject, you didn't make her into an abomination. She's always been what she is. It's why you're here. And it's why your task is so important. Mm-hmm. Let's go. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. The chamber's walls are painted oh! in blood, a deep, sickening red that drips down in clotted streams onto the charred corpses that make up its floor. This place reeks of torment, of ripped skin and burning bone. Mmm. It smells like Arby's. The princess stands in its center, Muscles flayed and bare and weeping, draped in a tattered dress of her own skin. That's her skin. <laughs> her heart beats from its place in her open chest. Nice. Do you know what I'm going to do to you? Uh... No. There's not so much a moment of hesitation before she steps forward. Her chains pull taut, holding fast as she strains against them. The cuff around her wrist digs deeper into her skin. Blood drips from the place where metal meets flesh. And then, with a nauseating sound, the skin tears. Oh. It plops to the ground, and she pulls her red, glistening arm free from her bindings. Mm-hmm. She is loose, and she is coming for you. And now, and now a PNG of a Doom shotgun appears at the bottom of the screen, right? And then E one M one plays, and and it's a boss battle, and I'm like do 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 do, and then and then I and then I get to go, and I get to go pew pew, and we get her, yeah BFG, XXX gun XXX please. Let her end it. It's the punishment oh, you all God. deserve for what you did to her. Mm-hmm. It's the punishment I deserve for letting it happen. 
It's the hand holding her at. She just wants a hug. Screw that. We can win. Who needs a hug? Done it before and we'll do it again. Only this time we'll make it out the other side. Hell, she's practically done most of the work for us. I like the way you're thinking, stubborn. It's clearly slowing her down. Uh, given I'm destroying the world, have we? What happened to you? We don't have to do this. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for what I did to you. Please just listen to me. I'm going to end you, slay the princess, or just do it. Or let her end you. Uh. Uh. Hmm. I am interested in talking to her, but I feel like I should probably just try to stab her. Uh, just do it. Just do it, TM. I'm gonna slay the princess, TM. Won't be snarky ass about it. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> she's. I. Yeah, she's just gonna smush us no matter what we do. I think we just try to murder her. Get her. Heart free of fear. You charge towards the princess. Yeah. Your eyes locked on each other. Both of you prepared to lay down your very essence in one blow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's now or never. Let's make it a beautiful blaze of glory. Uh huh. Horrifying squelch. <laughs> you are unwound. <laughs> 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 All right, look. It just we popped. Ah, oh, man. I hope you weren't planning on dying. We're going to make this last forever. Oh, even better. Oh shit, we're a bird? Yeah, there's feathers in there. Huh. I feel cold. I've never felt cold before. I got her. Let's go. <laughs> I made her chilly. What? Huh, what? Huh, what? Masterful campus. What? How what? True to her word, you do not die by her hand. Something has taken her away, and it's left something else in her place. What mirror? I don't see a mirror. Oh, look, an empty wall. One Nicole, one draw, one the hands. One a chilly breeze. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we it's try and find her? Zero to one to one to one. Every loop, we're adding a new combatant to the ring. And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? I don't know where she went. I don't know how we'd uh, even go about looking for her. The narrator's gone. I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. Approach them. Uh, I don't know how we'd go about looking for her. Right. She's gone. It's just us and that awful thing. It's like it's mocking us. I feel anxious. Does anyone else feel anxious? Nah, I feel good. The narrator's gone. He is. Does that mean the world ended? The world didn't end. We're still here. Come on. We just need to keep going. Figures the world would end and leave us with all this nothing. There's not nothing. There's a door. I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. There's something dreadful about it. I, I don't think you should. I want to see my little bird guy. Screw the mirror. We just need to find the princess. We don't need to find her. She's gone. I don't want to look at us. I'm going to look at her. I'm begging you. Don't. Do this. I'm gonna do it. Uh, the mirror never scared you before. It's different now. It feels, I don't know, final. Mm hmm. It's the fine. Oh my god, the mirror is a door. You approach the mirror, gaze into my reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. Oh, I'm so pretty. It's you. Oh. You are alone in a place that is empty. It's quiet here. Proceed to the cabin. Proceed to the cab. You are at the cab. Huh? I'm at the cab. That's not. A That's a weird looking cabin. I like the wriggling hands. They're like, woo! Yeah, woo! Approach her. Oh. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift. Of a fragile vessel. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are you? The gift of a fragile vessel? Is this the end of the world? There's a lot of options here. Uh-huh. 
Let her out of there. Do you know the narrator? <laughs> Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you what trapped me here? Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? Are you the princess? Do we know each other? What happens? Attack her. Destroy your body. This is a wild game. Um. Do you know the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. Yeah, tell me about Loom. Uh. The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. Yeah? Uh, what are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? <laughs> What's the appropriate tip to leave at a restaurant? Hi, Rita. <laughs> what do you mean, solitary lights? Thoughts without connections. A dim and nascent network. I wish to be more. I don't know what that means. What do, you, what do you think I am? I don't I don't know what I am. I'm a person. I don't know what I am. I think that you are like me. Oh. We are oceans reduced to shallow creeks. Oh, streetlight people. Living just to find emotion. Uh, the gift of a fragile vessel? Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the worlds beyond. Perspectives to make my own. This one is desecration. She placed the weight of her agony on you, yet it is she who unwound herself. But there is passion and empathy in her misery. She will make for a burning heart. Okay. Uh, thank you. Um, can you explain it to me as if I didn't understand anything you just said? Do not mourn her. She has finally found peace. Oh, good. Um, is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? Okay, good question. Um, are you what sent me to slay the princess, TM? Are you what trapped me here? I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. Uh, um, are you the princess? She is part of me, and part of me is her. But were you always the princess, or are you just making her a part of yourself? You speak in circles. <laughs> Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. fair. Fair. Uh, do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. I'm me. I feel sadness, longing, hope. As I witness you. And also, bird. Uh, let her out of there. I'm sorry. There are some changes that can never be undone. There are some tears that can never be unshed. This is not a place that can hold a fragment of a concept. The moment she arrived here, she was going to return to me. Mm hmm I promise that it doesn't hurt. Uh, do you know about the worlds beyond this place? I know only that they are. Uh, what happens now? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. I believe. Bring me more perspectives um. so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. Oh, that's a very clever framing device to bind these multiple playthroughs. She seems cool. Uh, aren't you scared I'll find a way to kill you? How much will I forget? How many more? I, uh, uh. Aren't you scared I'll find a way to kill you? I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. Okay. How much will I forego? Everything. Until we meet again. Okay. How many more pieces of you do I have to find? More than you have found, but less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. Get Eldritch friend. She needs her Arby's. And what if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished, dry, 
Hollow. She said, play the game. She said, you are missing 96 achievements. <laughs> if I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world, if I help you, is that what you're gonna do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. So that's not a no. You're being semantic. What are you gonna do if I help you? How can I know? I am flickers and something sprawling and unilluminated. Yeah, she's gonna explode the multiverse. That's fine. I'm not going back. Okay, make me forgore. I'm not going back. If you need time, then I'll wait with you. I don't wanna. You don't need no multiverse. Thanks, Todd. I know. She sees she seems nice. Wait forever. You are as I am now, and forever is a long time to remain undone. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna wait forever. I am not you, but I know that I would return before forever was finished. Uh-huh. Well, we'll see about that. What textures will you weave for yourself to occupy forever? Will you place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping? Maybe. If you close that box, will you become another you in another world? An imaginary pattern repeating itself until it can no longer bear the weight of its hand-drawn cage? Uh, It's getting pretty philosophical. Uh... You'll always come back to the box. Because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. I will be here waiting by your side until you're ready to return to mine. I don't have a brain, Todd. You know this. Oh. <laughs> the game shut down. <laughs> uh, and there's an update <laughs> for the game. It closes, it's like, I, there's a 10 megabyte update. Hold on real quick. <laughs> good stream. Good, yeah, good stream. All right, woo. Uh, the end. I said I'd wait. Yes, the game's like, all right, go ahead and wait. I got to patch the game real quick. Um, like hey. How you doing? How you doing, chat? Game's, the game's patching now. Download it. Uh, Barry 1, Nicole 3. I mean, I mean, can it... Did I get a one? I feel like it's more Barry question mark Nicole three. Uh, I'm great. That was that was a ride. I'm gonna go back in once it's done updating. Um, yeah, no way forever. Mm -hmm. Hey, you guys want to? I, I can stream some Tetris. Uh, question mark one one Eldritch friend. Mm -hmm. There was that one tie. That's true. There was that one tie. It depends on how you count that. Uh, thanks for the hydrate. I <laughs> play fruit game. What's the name of the fruit game? Uh, after after the Wormtown stream, Viz started playing that fruit game, and I I watched it. Suica, um, where it's like physics. Okay, it's done patching. Um, and and there's like a little cloud holding fruit, and you drop into a, into a little jar, and then if they match, they sh they turn into a bigger fruit. Um, it's like 2048, but physics and fruit. And I watched it for like two seconds. I was like, this is stupid. Who could ever uh, play this? And then I was like completely enamored and enraptured and watching Viz. Drop cherries and grapes into a bucket. I was like, oh my god. Oh my god, this game is amazing. <laughs> it's genius. Oh god. Though you were gone mere moments. Hold on. Capture. It should grab it. There it is. It just it literally I got an achievement for this too. Attempt to outweigh your destiny. It literally just It's like three bucks for that one too. Mm-hmm. I did hear about the MGS Shadow Moses cologne. I tweeted about it. I was like, wow, for $50, you too can smell like a cardboard box that's been peed on by a wolf. I was gone mere moments. I never left your sight. Oh, uh, thank you, Eldritch Deity from uh, Realms Beyond. Okay, make me forgore. <laughs> I can just quit the game and never play it again. Or I can, I can forgore and loop. You record everything up to a millennia. That's a lot of dialogue. Um, fun fact, if you take a year to boot it, her dialogue says something about it taking a year. There's actually dialogue if you wait that long. Nicole? Is this game... Is this game... Nicole still recording? Mm -hmm. Just live streaming the audio into the game. It took you 15 hours, 8 minutes, and 12 seconds to return to me. Uh, Okay, maybe four more. 
She asks that I tell you to remember her. You're gonna make- what are you- what? You told me I'm gonna forgore. And you're like, be sure to remember her. What? What do you mean, what? You won't. <laughs> this fucking game! I am mad about this. Now? I got bunked. Remember to forgore. Everything goes dark and you die. Good. Chapter one, the hero and the princess. It didn't show anything. You're I just everything smashed the black. In the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. I and got in the basement of that cabin is a princess. I, I shit you not. I just I got like three achievements just now. One of them was called the real say the princess starts he, starts here, and I'm really mad about that. The real Elden Ring starts here. Okay. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Birdmanity restored. Uh, uh, this is all back. Sweet, I've always wanted off a monarch. Viva la revolution. That's the spirit. Yeah, we're friends. <laughs> you make your way up the short <laughs> path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Uh, We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. No, viva la revolution. We're supposed to save princesses, not slave. Yeah. Ignore him. He mm -hmm. doesn't know what he's... Let's go. Put me in there. What am I going to do this time? What am I going to do this time? Remember cabin? I've never been here before. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. Mm. The air is stale and musty, and the floor... Yeah, I could just go in and just immediately stab her. Of dust. Instead of hesitating. Furniture of note kill with no knife? I don't know if I can kill her without a knife. Perched on that table is a pristine <gasps> a mirror. Blade. I'm gonna, uh, no, that's a door, remember? Mirror, me, doors, dopen. Uh, I'm just gonna stab. I'm gonna grab mirror and stab. The blade is your imp. Grab, grab it. You take the blade. Okay, go. Doors, dopen. Friend her to death. Door to the basement creeps. Her Sing her a do her a favor. He's there. Hello. She sounds, don't let it fool you. No manipulation. Continue down the Good. stairs. You're still listening to reason. Mm -hmm. A blade's like a mirror. It only reflects you death. Walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. Mm -hmm. She's so coldly beautiful. Focus on the task at hand. We're running to the store. Try to not, you know, kill me too many times. Have a good store, Nicole. Great work so far. I'm really enjoying it. Congrats again. Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Only a little bit. Uh, step forward. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Mm-hmm. Is this the first Rampy Engine game I've streamed? Is it? It's possible. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? Mm -hmm. And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. Uh -huh. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. I mean, I did for gore, but I do in another universe. I know what you're capable of, woman. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. If only that went off when I stabbed her in the fucking face. <laughs> but uh, thanks for donating to the Open Hand Foundation. Appreciate it. You too, chat, can can donate to charity to make a little jingle play at a very inopportune moment. So, you know, that's a good incentive to donate to charity, isn't it? Come on. Let's slay the princess. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. Get her! You get her! You feel yeah. flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade nice. already sinking deep. <laughs> KN nice? Squeaks? Come on! Oh. This is it, isn't it? Mm hmm. I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? Uh. I mean, it worked. When you were bigger, why wouldn't it work now? It's like she's convinced she can't die. Yes, even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. Oh. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago. 
that arrogant look still plastered on her face. She does have a look of like, ugh, this is so inconvenient. But is it over? Really over? What a bar thing to say. That would be like me talking to the kids. <laughs> Kill me, Brian. <laughs> Damn, thought. Just this ain't shit. Come on. Of course it is. She's dead. I'm not sure. I feel like she has to have some kind of trick up her sleeve. That was too easy. She's dead. Yes, exactly. It's over. It's over. With your work done, nice. you make your way back up the stairs. Let's go. Closing the door to the basement behind Where's you. Where's my parade? Where is it? Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? Nah, it's good. You did kill someone. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. Thank you, narrator. But it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. The pipes are broken. But that day isn't today. Let's just get out of here. Let's leave. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Mm-hmm. Only a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. Uh, well, uh, maybe it's just dark out. What happened? Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. God. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. This is good. Everyone is happy. You'll be happy. This isn't a parade. That's bullshit. Let me out of here. Okay. I was kind of hoping I'd get a better ending for saving the world. Okay. I'm so glad you're keeping an open mind. Yeah, listen, the voids can be comfy. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Mm hmm Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days mm -hmm. or months or Guess years flexible. or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. I mean, if the narrator says I've never been happier, why would he lie? I mean, come on. You, you got you to stay nimble to dodge the punches life throws at you. So if you're trapped in a cabin in a void, man, just water off my back. Psst. Hey, we're not just going to stay here forever, right? Let's resurrect the princess. Didn't you hear the narrator? I'm happy. Are we really happy? Or is he just telling us that we are? Yeah, Plato with his cave. Just like it. Okay, maybe I'm not happy, and I'm not just saying that because you're the last person I talked to. No, we're happy. I'm sure of it. We're happy. Really? Well, if you ever change your mind, just let me know, I guess. Yeah, if I'm happy and I know it, clap my hands. More happy time passes, though Chess the clapping. word <laughs> begins to lose its meaning. Time, that is. Not happy. Happy still has plenty of meaning. Mm -hmm. Please, shake yourself out of it. We have to get out of here. Life punches are actually grabs. It's, yeah, it's the reaching through the screen grab. It's like, stop it! Uh, we have to get out of here. What do you mean? The here? little voices please fall on deaf ears. Eventually, you pass into a blissful state of pure existence. Though words like eventually and pass ceased to have any meaning to you long before that shift, you simply Is exist grief curves? happy forever. Sometimes life be like, and it's a gif of Zangief grabbing you and fucking pile drive spinning you through the air and slamming you on your back. Yeah, sometimes life do that. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> You have already committed to my completion. You cannot go further astray. I got the best ending. <laughs> Woo! Okay, maybe I'm not happy. And maybe, yeah, okay, fine. All right. I'm glad that there was an acknowledgement of like, no, I'm happy. This is good. Good. Because <laughs> I have an idea to get us out of here. Uh... Though you're probably not going to like it. I got the good ending. I know. I can uninstall. I'm good. The blade. We can use the blade to get out of this. Mm hmm I can hear everything you say, little voice. There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on. Oh. And I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. I've already been down that path, so... I mean, it's fine. He's right. 
It's the only way out. Let's go! Do you hear that? It wants to take this happiness away from you. It mm -hmm. wants this wonderful place to end. This place. Do you not? My favorite place. There's more for us to do. And the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. It, yeah, we, we, it's Don't good. Don't you dare. Uh, why, wouldn't using the blade, you know, kill us when we be dead? How astute. You are absolutely correct. Mm. Using the blade to kill yourself would kill you. What you blade? shouldn't. Yeah, I'll stab it. the mirror. What if I'm the mirror? In a sense, we die. But looking at things from another angle, are we even really alive anymore? This place, it's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. It's just the same thing. Constantly. Forever. Yeah, it's great. I know this is out there, but trust me, I know using the blade will work. That little voice didn't want you to slay the princess. It didn't want you to be happy. People die when they're killed. Prove it. Sh show me a, a scientific study that proves that. Uh, you better be right about this. I'll be pretty upset if we die, die. If we die, die? You can yell at me all you want. I'm holding you to that. I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough reward for saving the world? An eternity of bliss? You... you... ingrate? Fine. Whatever. For the first time since time stopped meaning anything, you throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. Hello. The princess's body is dust and bones, though the blade you used to slay her is Hello. as pristine as the day you first held it. She looks good. You pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. Hooray! The end. Nice knowing you. Oh my god, it sounds... <laughs> Chapter 2, The Spectre. Hmm. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Mm -hmm. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you're in for it now. I'm wise to your tricks. My tricks? <laughs> what on earth are you talking about? We've just met for the first time. Just wake up in the middle of the woods. Someone's like, all right, I got a job for you to do it. It's like, ah, you bastard. I'm not up to your tricks. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. That's fine. It wasn't very hard to Good kill cold. her last time. We'll just do it again. He's not broken. He's cold. Well, if for whatever reason you're going to insist that this has happened before, at least your heart's in the right place. Yep. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's go. A warning before you go any further. Mm -hmm. She will lie. She will yeah, I remember. be a problem. <laughs> That's really... Last time it's like, what, why bother? She just killed us without anything last time. The interior of the cabin is cold. A door. A soft odor of dirt permeating the air. Cobwebs flutter in the corners. You can hear wind whistling outside, banging the shutters against the windows. The only furniture of note is an elegant antique table with a pristine blade perched on the edge. If we're going like gothic horror, I really hope she's a spooky skeleton. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if Two you doors. want to do this right. Which door do I stab? It feels like no one's been here for a long, long time. I have a strong urge to backseat something, but I must resist. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, keep it to yourself for now. But maybe later I might ask you what you were thinking. Like I've been saying, she's dead. We killed her already. Hmm. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. That's because there isn't a mirror. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. Who cares if there's a mirror? Let's just go into the basement and find her body, so we can be done with this. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to see how handsome I am. Approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. Yeah, I'm good. There isn't much to see. I just like looking at doors. This really isn't funny. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. Mm-hmm. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Nah, I feel good. But it was there a second ago, and now it's gone. Let's not spend much longer worrying over it. What a pretty Clearly hand, it's not right? even important enough to be acknowledged. Uh, stick the blade. 
you take the blade from the table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Into the basement. The door to the basement groans open. I love all these different variations. It's really cool. Wooden stairwell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, and you can feel it settle into your lungs as you Yo, breathe that a into the stale air. The very building itself feels dead. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Yeah, pro probably. The room below is silent. Come on, skeleton princess. Nobody's here. Naturally. As much as I appreciate the optimism, you shouldn't be so sure. Bannister implies the existence of a timeoutister and a light warningister. Thank you, JD. I guess we'll just have to go down and see. As yeah! You descend for final step, the form of the princess comes Spooky to skeleton view. princess! A skeletal body lying in a heap on the floor, <laughs> its wrist still bound to the wall by a thick chain. <laughs> uh, oh my god. No, 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 she's gonna get up and go, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. She's definitely dead. Good work, team. It's just like I told you. Before you have a chance to finish your thought, the top of a head appears from underneath the floor. Happy Halloween, chat. Two deep-set <laughs> eyes stare up at you, followed by a mischievous skeletal grin. This is my favorite princess yet. <laughs> She's a friend! And finally, yeah! the rest of the body floats up to She's join the head. She's still chained. Wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? G -g -g ghost <laughs> Good, very good. Oh. Wow. How absolutely terrifying. 15 out of 15 delivery. What's a ghost <laughs> supposed to do to us? Oh, it's you. Hiya, Keller. I was hoping to see you again. I have some issues with how our last meeting went. Yeah, that's fair. The princess drifts across the room Whoa. into your orbit, gently running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as no. she circles you. No, uh, it's not attached to anything. Oh. Her touch is yeah. cold and ethereal, formless yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing across your skin. Spooky, scary, ghost distance. Zoinks! So she has a body, That's and she's right there. That means we could kill her again, if we wanted to. Is it, is that how that works? I don't know if you stab a skeleton if the ghost disappears. I'm not up to date on my ghost lore. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I'm very tempted to see how things play out, though. It's probably gonna result in me dying, but like, come on. Don't stab a ghost. I, you know. I gotta listen to Viz. Viz is my, my resident expert on ghosts. She seems nice. Think of the score. Save? I mean, I guess I could, right? Pro probably good in general just to save. Uh, accessibility. Oh. Ooh, different fonts. Oh, nice. High contrast text. Rad. Uh, okay. I'm gonna hang out. I see you brought that annoying knife again. I shouldn't have brought the knife. Oh, well. So, are you waiting for a chance to use it, or are you here for something else? Do you have any, um, any bread that needs slicing? Uh, perhaps you ordered a, a charcuterie board? Some tiny meats that could use the knife to cut up? Uh, uh, see, this is exactly what I was trying to tell you about in the woods. This already happened. We killed her. I killed you. What are you doing not being dead? Do you know why you came back? Stop playing the victim. You threatened me last time. I'm sorry. I killed you last time. I shouldn't have done that. Do you want me to die? Do you want me to kill myself to satisfy some sort of sick revenge fantasy? Because I already did that and it wouldn't be hard to do it again. I'm sorry. Can I make it up to you? The people who wanted you dead tricked me and the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Let's team up. I want a ghost friend. What do you want from me? If I knew I'd wind up having to talk to you again, I wouldn't have slain you. I died too. And I'm not floating around like you. What happened? Why am I different? Why are you different? You're dead, or at least mostly dead. What can you even do to hurt me? After I killed you, this cabin, I want to say it teleported? It wasn't in the woods anymore. Time stopped meaning anything, and I had to kill myself to escape. I guess I should tell you why I was sent to kill you. We're going to end the world. 
I was told you were gonna end the world. Okay, clearly staying you isn't gonna work. What do you want? I okay, team I'm out of ideas. Thoughts? Leave her in the basement, slay the princess. Uh um, um Yeah um, Let's team up. I like that one. Uh they tricked me and the enemy of my uh, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Nobody tricked you. And the fact that the princess's spirit has risen from the dead should be more than enough evidence that she isn't exactly sweet and innocent. But it's all been an act. She's pretending. Yeah, maybe. Uh, the corner of my eye, it did look like she had like a little pirate hook hand going over here. When the menu has 80 items, yeah, when you go to Cheesecake Factory and they're like, here's a light novel of our menu. Let's be ghost pals! They cover any reasonable response you could have. I wouldn't mm -hmm. say she's ever pretended to be sweet or innocent. Ghost hook hand car door? She does have a little bit of an attitude, but I can't blame her. We did kill her after all. I wouldn't be nice to my murderer if I was killed. The fact that you apparently botched the landing isn't on the me you're talking to, nor is it on any other version of me that you've encountered. You're using a lot of words to say a lot of nothing. The enemy of my enemy. Mm-hmm. The oh. princess circles you again, oh. her icy fingertips trailing up your spine, sending shivers rippling across your flesh. Thank you. I don't want enemies. I don't want to fight. I just want to go home. Uh-huh. Is that really so much to ask? No. And just where is home, I wonder? I don't know where home is. I just know it isn't here, but I can feel it calling to me from some place far away. Mm -hmm. Wherever I'm supposed to be, it's out there. How specific. And how convenient for her. You see what she's doing, right? She's suggesting that the only way you can rid yourself of her would be to let her out. Which, in case you haven't been listening, will spell the end of the entire world. I sure ask Nicole if she knows this ghost prince is no reason. Mm hmm Yeah, maybe. Uh... What are you doing not being dead? I killed you! I don't feel very bad. But I guess I'm not. Not dead. So you must have only mostly killed me. Ah, uh, I didn't do enough. Or maybe death is only mostly real. But it's also mostly not real. Mm. I'm not sure. I'm just the one these things have happened to. Not the one with all the answers. Or any of the answers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that checks out. But we're not a ghost. Unless we are? Am I a ghost? Maybe that's why the mirror disappeared. We're actually dead. Death, at least as a form of permanence, is just a concept. And clearly it's not a very useful one anymore. Maybe we should throw it out entirely. Who, me? Nah, I'm just a bird. Mostly harmless. See, this is why I didn't want you to talk to her. Death is not just a concept, it is an extremely real phenomenon. Don't let her distort your reality. Cold hard facts exist. The truth exists. It has to. <laughs> Chill out, Kurt Vonnegut. Damn. Uh, your body's right there, though. Your dead body. The skeleton back there. The princess glances back at the bones lying on the floor. It's just a body. Do you believe these bones? Or do you believe me? Because those bones aren't talking to you. I like the, the doubled up whisper echo thing going on. Um, can I talk to the skeleton? Step aside, ma'am. I'd like to talk to the skeleton. She's seeing things pragmatically. We should do the same. Reality is what's in front of us. Not our preconceptions of what it should be. There doesn't need to be a static truth. There doesn't need to be objectivity. Do you know why you came back? How should I know? Why does anyone come back? Maybe I have unfinished business with you. Or maybe you have unfinished business with me. All I know is there's a hole in my chest. And not the big obvious one that you put there. There's something older and deeper. God damn it. That's a very, like, GLaDOS line. There's a hole in my chest, and not the obvious one you put there. Excuse me, excuse me, princess. A nagging reminder that I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Is there any way I can help you get home? Do you need me to bury those bones? No. 
Those bones are just a body. They aren't me. Bury them. Smash them. It's an X, not a hole. Do a thing. A hole can be shaped like an X. There's a hole in my phone where Twitter used to be. But you can help me. This place will let me leave. At least, I'm not alone. Mm-hmm. I've tried. Before you came back to me, I explored every inch of this place. I need that. Even the spaces between the walls. But I never found a way out. I always wound up right back here. Mm-hmm. Maybe we should just leave. If she can't get out on her own, then why do we have to do anything? We could probably walk out right now and everything would be fine. What is that? What does that mean, Rib? Oh, you're talking about the X being a little animal butthole? How? How would that? Like a ghost butt. Yeah. Hasn't got out and can't get out are two very different things. That'd be dull anyway. It's more interesting if we make a choice. Ghost front butt. But you can come and go as you please, can't you? So, let me hitch a ride. Uh huh. After all, you owe yeah. me. Oh, she's so friendly. <laughs> I like her crypt keeper face. It's nice. Absolutely not. Is she asking if she can possess us? She is. And I hope I don't need to explain why you can't let that happen. It would be catastrophic if she managed to escape this place. And if you let her in, there is very little anyone could do to stop her. Would, take you for a ride? would she ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. be able to see ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. us if we went along with it? What? Now isn't that an interesting thought? We could finally bring her face to face with Yeah. Her. No, no, I get that. I wonder what she would have to say to the one who wants her dead so, so badly. Oh, well, they're giving me a very interesting reason to want to agree to this. <laughs> you won't like how things play out if you go down this path. Hmm, what if I say no? Then I won't hit your ride. Okay. Fair enough. You won't hit your ride if I say no, or you can't hit your ride. Vampire rules? I'm sure you'd like to know. It's a shame I won't tell you. Mm-hmm. But it'll be easier for both of us if you just meet me in. And doesn't it sound nice? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Maybe for her, but it's crowded enough in here as is. <laughs> you won't have to feel guilty anymore. Mm. If you even do feel guilt. Guilt is my middle name. It could be the best way to trap her for good. Doesn't seem like it would be very easy to end the world from inside someone else's body. Or that's exactly what she needs in order to bring about the end of the world. That is a very dangerous train of thought. This would just be temporary, right? You'll leave once we're out of the cabin? If I'm able to. But for all we know, that's not how it works. Maybe I'll wind up stuck with you for a long, 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 long time. That's a long time. I already did a couple long, 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 long times. Yeah, my mill my, my mil name is Guilty, and my mill name is also Gear. It's true. Do you hear the way she said that? She knows more than she's letting on. Don't let her fool you into doing something you'll regret. Uh, if I let you in, do I still get to be in control? Sure. Why not? Well, she said so. She can't, she can't lie. Ghosts can't lie. That doesn't sound very reassuring. I can't believe you're even entertaining her right now. I mean, just look at her. Do you think she has good intentions for her murderer's body? Of course she doesn't. Before I agree to anything, we need to talk about what happens after you leave this place. I was told you'd end the world. And what? You just, just believed that? You killed, killed me without giving it any thought. thought? That's cold. Correct. That's why the cold lives in my brain now. That's rich coming from her. Every time she touches us, it's like we freeze over. She's right, though, but that's neither here nor there. What's done is done. What we do from this point forward is all that matters. Let's try not to let emotion get the better of us. Uh, obviously it's wrong of me to believe that. How could you have ended the world if all it took to kill you was a knife to the heart? Don't underestimate your own capabilities. 
If you truly managed to slay her last time, that doesn't mean she wasn't a threat. It means you did something heroic. I'm a hero! Threats come in all shapes and sizes. A misspoken word could bring about the end of everything just as much as a blade or even the mere existence of an idea. You were chosen for this job for a reason. Because I'm half bird, half goblin? That's right, killer. I'm not a threat to anyone. And even if I was, I'm hardly a threat anymore, wouldn't you say? I'm a boblin. A <laughs> birdlin? Birdlin and boblin have very different images in my brain, but they're both really good. The boblin's more round, mainly. That's the biggest difference. Uh, what are you going to do if I help you get out of here? I don't know. Maybe I'll just fade away. Finally able to rest once I'm free from my unfinished business. Maybe I'll find someone to haunt. Like me? Again? Maybe. Or still? I'll haunt you. Yeah, okay. It's a tough question. Asking someone what she's going to do with her life. Yeah, you're a ghost though. The princess leans in close and pauses. The frigid air between you stale and unmoving. Mm-hmm. Especially when it's someone is dead. I'm a bird ghost. She pulls back with a playful giggle. <laughs> I don't think most living people could answer that either. Does anyone actually know who they are or what they want? Hmm. Well, where are you going to end the world? I don't know. I just wanted to leave. I still just want to leave. You can't respond to where you're going to end the world with I don't know. <laughs> you can't do that. You didn't answer my question. The only thing I've ever wanted was to leave this place. It's still the only thing I want. Hmm, I don't know. You still didn't answer my question. If you don't want to end it, does letting you out of here mean the world is going to end? It does. We're not asking you. We've heard your whole speech already. Did you do your taxes? I really, really don't know. I'm not lying to you. I promise. The world doesn't matter. All I remember is that I'm supposed to be there. There? Not here? I'm just supposed to be a part of it. It's its home, I think. Mm-hmm. You lose that. Welcome back. I don't like Twitch let me do the same time. Twitch just wants you to. But what does it mean for anything to end? I ended, but I also didn't. Mm-hmm. I'm not so sure endings are real. Endings are just beginnings. Mm hmm. Let's leave it at that. Uh, stop playing the victim. You threatened me last time. Well, yeah. You brought a knife with you. Was I supposed to just welcome you with open arms when you obviously had stabbing on the mind? I. What? Well, oh, uh. Yeah, hmm. Endings are just bend wendings. Shakespeare. That knife could have been for anything. Did I mention the charcuterie board? It could have, but it wasn't. You can't blame me for threatening a would-be knife-wielding murderer. Especially when that would-be knife-wielding murderer became an actual knife-wielding murderer. She does have a point. I'm sorry I killed you last time. I should have done that. My too bad. Little, too late. But you can, you can still, still make things right. right. She's not in a position to bargain with us. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. I'm still not even clear how I could murder her <laughs> in this present situation. We don't have to do anything, but maybe we should. If we did kill her, wouldn't it be the moral thing to help her now that we have another chance? When a hero slays a monster, does he apologize to it? No. With a knife? I, you stab a ghost? So don't try to make things right. She was going to end the world. You didn't do anything wrong. Excellent. Aside from uh, apparently mm. killing yourself, and that doesn't have much to do with her. Uh, do you want me to die? Are we putting this to a vote? Because personally, I'd prefer if we didn't die again. Same. If that's what it comes down to, that's what it comes down to. But I don't see the point of offing ourselves just yet. Oh, that's sweet of you to offer. But killing yourself wouldn't help either of us. Uh-huh. It would seem that everyone here is in agreement except for you. I shouldn't have to tell you that you shouldn't kill yourself. So please, try to keep your suicidal tendencies in check. Yeah, no promises. Like I said, I just want to go home. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, if I knew I'd wind up having to talk to you again, I wouldn't have slain you. And if I knew you were going to murder me without even knowing who I was, I wouldn't have given you the chance. Mm-hmm. We all make mistakes. Hey, ma'am. Thank you. I died too, and I'm not a floaty little ghost. What happened? You don't look dead, killer. Do I look like a bird? The princess grabs your wrist, a sudden shock of cold flowing all the way up your arm, her eyes still fixed on yours as you try to squirm out of her grip. And you don't feel dead either. Do I feel like a bird? She lets go and pulls away. Your fingertips tingle painfully as the chill subsides. I wish you would hold my hand. <laughs> that should have been me! Or how you are, and a lot more interested in what you are. But we've already been over that. So why don't you stop stalling and let me in? It's so cold out here. Mm hmm. No cute ghost waifu. You're dead, or mostly dead. What can you even do to hurt me? A boring question with an easy answer. Nothing. She's a ghost. Ghosts can't hurt us. That's for me to know. And for you to wonder about. Maybe, maybe I can't do anything to you. See? Or maybe I can rip your heart out. Okay. Who's to say? Really? really? I'm not using it. I don't like the uncertainty here. I don't know what to do or who to trust. <laughs> Tasty cactus. God damn it. Uh, after I killed you, this cabin, it, like, teleported? Kinda? You poor thing. That must have been so frightening for you. You know, after everything we've been through, it's nice to see someone finally sympathizing with us. Mm -hmm. This whole thing's been an ordeal, hasn't it? She doesn't mean it. It serves you right. Mm, yeah. I was pretty scared, too. Like when you stood there not saying a word with a knife clenched in your fist. But now you know how bad it hurts to get stabbed in the chest. Mm hmm It sounds like you got exactly what you're owed. <laughs> I just like her spooky face. <laughs> it's really good. Uh, if you can go through walls, can't you just leave on your own? I wish that's how it worked. But this place won't let me go. It's very spooky. Okay, team, I'm out of ideas. Thoughts? We could always try violence. It's worked for us so far. Mm -hmm. She's a ghost. Who says ghosts are immune to violence? Common sense? There's nothing common or sensible about common sense. Action and observation are the only things that matter. She goes from lowercase c mouth to skull emoji. Yeah. Gratuitous violence. Mm. Fine. Then let me observe that the acts of killing her and killing ourselves haven't got us much of anywhere. We're still back in this cabin, we're still dealing with her, only now she has a good reason to hate us. I suppose you have a point. Do you have any ideas then? I don't know. Maybe we do what she wants. Maybe we let her possess us and walk out of here. We could. It would be something different. I like different. Absolutely not. If you walk her out of here, she's going to end the world. And is that really so bad? Yes, it is by its very definition bad. But those are the only options, aren't they? Violence or doing what she wants. Or just leaving her down here. Though ignoring a problem is rarely a solution, is it? Hmm. The voices in the player's head are literally a D&D &D party, the narrator being the DM desperately trying to stop the party from plugging a fork in an open socket. But it's like, DM, you presented this option. And DM's like, yeah, because it's stupid. It's called world building. And they're like, no, 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 hold on. What if we did this? Um, uh, I've given enough thought. Let's get you out of here. Let the princess possess you. Or I've given enough thought. The answer is no, I can't let you out and I won't let you possess me. If you're really dead, then there isn't much for me to do, is there? I guess I'll get going, leave her in the basement, or slay the princess. So there's let her possess us, don't let her possess us, leave, or try to do a murder on a ghost. Murder? They said possess? Stab the ghost or possession? Trying to not find a way to throw a the door. It doesn't lock. Murder, possession, leave. 
Can I see a ghost murder? I mean, I could just put down a safe here. I suppose. Uh, maybe. Yeah, there. Uh, let's get her out of here. The princess swims through the air in front of you, pausing for a brief moment as her dark rimmed eyes stare deeply into yours. Hello. There's a hunger in her gaze. Hello. You're really not trying to make it up to me, aren't you? Thanks for being a pal, killer. I mean it. You're welcome. What are you doing? Don't just let her in. How many times do I have to tell you? <sighs> See you soon. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello. She rushes forward and then she's gone. A sharp chill spreads across your body. It starts in your chest, a freezing numbness flowing out from your heart all the way down your limbs, your mind growing cloudy and confused as it settles over your very soul. I'm not sure I like this. C can we get a do-over? Sound like the phasmophobia death crunch. Now. The numbness gives way to a stabbing pain, your muscles twitching and convulsing violently, each involuntary movement causing more waves of agony to ripple across your body. You collapse to the floor, and everything goes dark. Come on, you. You've got to get up. I know everything feels heavy right now. But we still have to get out of here. We got it in our backpack like Kazooie. Your eyes flick back open as you get your bearings, your vision swimming as... So this is what it's like to be you, huh? Disembodied voice narrating your every move? Yeah, welcome. So, it doesn't work like that for you? Clearly it doesn't. Or she wouldn't have commented on it. All these shards of broken glass on the floor... Are they also supposed to be you? That's my psyche. You leave it alone. Hey, I'm not a shard of broken glass. I'm... It's okay. You can finish your thought. I'm... a voice? I'm me is what I am. I'm me. Who cares what we are? We exist. Yeah, it's That's a mirror! Matter. You don't have to fight. We'll all be out of here soon. No, it matters. What we are matters. If I'm a shard of broken glass, then that raises some questions about certain other voices in here too. I'm clearly the same thing you are. They're not listening to me. Do they not listen to you either? No, not really. No, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about him. You don't need to know what I am. <laughs> you just need to know that I'm different from you. More important. I like the idea that she finally gets what she wants and she's possessed us. She's like, oh my god, it sucks in here. <laughs> you live like this? So, you're the one who pulled the strings and made me dead. I can tell you don't belong here. You're barely even there. Like the shape of something left behind. You're more of a memory than a person. Mm, that's rude. <laughs> You're kind of like me, actually. I'm just going to ignore her. Hmm. You push yourself off the ground. The princess is nowhere to be seen. Obviously she's nowhere to be seen. Because I'm in here with all of you. Everybody knows that. I'm setting the stage. The room is empty because you made a spiteful, idiotic, and all-round foolish decision. Correct. You don't have to let him get to you. You're better than that. You're starting to make things right. Thank you, princess. <sighs> this is infuriating. Just whatever you do, you can't leave this place. It's not too late to fix this. Probably. I'm just going to see a leave this place option pop up. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I can't think straight. There's too much noise. It's okay. We're almost out of here. Just take it one step at a time and everything will be fine. Everything won't be fine if you listen to her. We've already come this far. I mean, come on. One way or another, this is all going to end. Wouldn't it be nice if he ends with it? Wouldn't that be nice? Slay the There's princess. How does that out? work? I mean, I think you can guess how that works at this point. Let's leave the basement. Your legs, weary with the weight of the princess's spectral form, and clumsy with the cold that still pervades them, stumble towards the stairs. I'm just trying to get home. You don't have to act like it's the end of the world. But that's exactly what you leaving this place is going to be. You don't know that. I do. Wait, if she has a home to go back to, doesn't that mean that her leaving won't end the world? 
It doesn't mean that at all. It could mean that wherever her home is, it's outside of the world. Home is a comet hurtling towards Earth. Yay, home! <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, but it has to be somewhere, doesn't it? And if it's somewhere, then it's part of the world. I suppose it's all a matter of perspective. Where does the world end and something else begin? Does the destruction of one open a door to another? Or is it the same world reborn? Against the backdrop of the inane conjecture of meaningless little voices, your body continues its ascent up the stairs, staggering through the open door. For how much you hate her, you aren't doing a whole lot to stop us from leaving this place. Maybe the bossy one doesn't actually hate me. Maybe he even likes me. Or maybe he just knows that he's been in the wrong. Maybe he's trying to make amends too. Not at all. I'll have you know that I do hate you. I will continue to hate you for as long as I am able. Well, all right. Glad we cleared that up. It's just the weight of it all. It's too much for me to do anything other than describe and dictate. And whine. This body wasn't made to hold you and the princess. If you want to renege on your cataclysmically terrible decision a minute ago, well, you're the only one that can make that happen. Trudge forward. You Love continue a good to trudge. reach the door, your feet like lead dragging across the floorboards, growing heavier with each step. We're so close. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If we get out of here, I won't even care that you murdered me anymore. I believe her. You lift your shaking hand and rest it on the door handle. But you pause before you open it, exhaustion sapping what's left of your will. Was exhaustion really the best you could muster up? It's over. There's no use stalling. Let's see what happens next. Open the door. Shit. <laughs> but exhaustion wasn't enough, was it? <laughs> the handle clicks as you twist it. And then the door groans open. Mm -hmm. Collapse to the ground. You and the princess, free from the confines of the cabin. As you exhale from the effort, look up and see. Uh, yes? Nothing. He's gone. And so is everything else. Ah, dang it. So we did slay him after all. He had it coming, I suppose. But what about us? Are we just stuck here in nowhere? Another forever? void? Did taking her out of the cabin really end the world? We're still here. I'm counting that as a win. I, ca I consider this a win. <laughs> yeah, but... That thing you said earlier, are we not part of the world anymore? Are we in some world that exists after the world ends, or on top of the other world but not in it, or have we never been part of the world? Okay, I've heard enough from these two. Let's see if I can pop out. Pop off, queen. Oh, hooray. You feel lightness in your chest as a pair of sunken eyes emerge from your body and stare up at you. <laughs> You actually freed me, didn't you? I'm outside. Thanks for giving me a second chance, killer. Yeah, don't mention it. Don't mention it. <laughs> Good. I think this was where I meant to be. Hmm? Oh. Yep. We're good. Great. You don't get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? It's that door again. And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Of course you're scared this is the end for you, but it's not the end for me. It's gonna be okay, trust me. We've been here before and you always get scared. That's not reassuring at all. Uh, this is the end for you, but not for me. I would have kept them in the dark if I were you. What is that supposed to mean? Whatever awful thing I felt before, it feels so much worse now. Yeah. See you later! You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. That looks so good! You've grown. I'm looking good. Mmm. Mmm. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. To the cabin. You're at the cabin. There she is. Woo! Yeah, congrats on ending two. Woo! 
Yeah! Let's go. Flickering lights. Oh, she's the ghost again. Or this time. Pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. The two percent ghost now. It's like it's like skim milk. Two percent ghost on the label. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Yeah, she just needs some pockets. Cause all the hands. You need a lot of pockets. For all the hands. Do you put 2% ghost in your coffee? Yeah. Mostly water, 2% ectoplasm. Skill milk is 0%. Yeah, but it's 2% ghost. Is the point. Uh, are you the same thing as you were before? How much have you changed? Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. Is she fusing into a mega princess? I think that's the general idea. Is whatever this cosmic being is, we need to gather her multiple permutations across the multiverses of endings to fuse into a big, big princess. She's not like the other girls. The Ur princess. It's like Egg, the Egg, the short story. That wasn't my th interpretation of what's happening here, but it could be. What does it feel like to change like this? Eyes close in reflection. I mean, we already saw a giant woman, but maybe really big giant woman. Is this the Let Nicole win game? Cut, yeah, maybe. Perspectives meld together, and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature, and there are familiarities that bind everything together. I like looking at the hands as what do I do with my hands? Guess I'll just wave a little. What what do I do? What do I, everyone else has like a thing going on. What do I do with my little hand? Just kinda hey. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. <laughs> bunch of theater kids. Yeah, a bunch of theater kids wearing black are behind her, like, uh, is this good? Is this good? Am I hitting my mark? When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be. And every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am. And what I am is different from what I was. I'm going to Disney World. <laughs> Once you are whole, what will you do? I'm going to Disney World. I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself. And to know you. I'm good. Uh, you know that at the end of this, once you're finished, I'm going to kill you, right? There is still much to be seen. Neither of us know the depths of our being. Perhaps at the end of this, I will be the one to kill you. Yeah, probably. Or perhaps we will leave this place together and find new horizons to discover. Abby really said, fuck you, I'm good at drawing hands. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, the art has been really good so far. It is solid. I mean, a game like this, it's like the presentation is so much of it. Uh, when I go back, it's as if an invisible wall closes around me. Dare I say, like a mirror. Why can I not do the same things I've done before? Those paths lead to worlds you've already seen. Oh. And to perspectives I have already made my own. They are useless to us now. Inaccessible. The only paths of value are those that are yet untread. That's actually really nice. I didn't even, I mean, I didn't make any similar decisions, but, um... Yeah, the, the, the idea that they lock off things you've already done to prevent you from kind of wasting your own time as a player, it's nice. Yeah, it's cool. Mm. You've been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Thank you! Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. Yeah. Man, that good ending with the <laughs> with the crayon drawing was really good. What do you want me to bring you next time? Like a cup of tea or something? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. Do not worry. There are no wrong answers. And every perspective eliminates my shadows and shares new secrets. Can I get a pastrami sandwich with uh, extra mustard and uh, a little eldritch anomaly on the side? Uh, do you have any thoughts on this vessel? This one is vaporous. True. She is a dream for a life she could never have. 
but that longing has given her so much capacity for kindness. She will make for an understanding heart. She's also spooky for the spooky season. Do not mourn her. She will finally be able to hold what she never knew. Uh, you don't have any preferences and how you'd like to change or grow? My preference is for you to show me what you would like me to see. I cannot know the ways I wish to grow, for I have yet to feel them. It is you who guides me down the thin trail of perspective and memory. Just <laughs> draw me right away. <laughs> ah, Nectarine, that's very good. I don't want to hurt you, but the more times I go back, the worse I fear things will be. The vessels are a weave of emotion at odds with themselves, but they are only perspectives. They are not me. The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I would be alone and without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side, for I would not know your absence. How many more vessels do you need? If I am to be an ocean, you have given me enough to build upon. Oh, God. My waters are shallow and murky, and I yearn for more perspective. The game devs really, really said, you've barely done anything, dude. The task of finding my vessels is your burden to carry. Uh, attack the end? I don't want it. I'm ready to go back. I await your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. Do it! Ah. Thanks. Chapter 1, The Hero and the Princess. Oh! <laughs> You're on a path in the woods. Thanks. And at the end of that path the donation. is a cabin. <laughs> the and in the basement of that cabin oh. is a princess. Oh. 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 Eldritch girls hit different. That they do. Uh, we'll get caught up on things. What, where are we at? What has happened? Uh, Skywardly, thank you for the $20 to the Open Hand Foundation and that bar love. Pneumatic Meat, thank you for $20 as well. And Witch Snake, thank you for $29 to so the Open Hand Foundation. Thank you. Bringing us to a grand total so far of $2,649. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Um, today's probably going to be the last day that I have the, uh, the tracker on stream. The campaign will still be up for a while, but uh, with Indie Land starting tomorrow, it'll probably just be up for today. So, yeah, thank you for the timing. And thank you for the don- More importantly, thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. Um, I'm curious if I load up the save and pick differently, if it'll still keep the fact that I did that. Like, I don't want to overwrite any progress I've done. But I feel like loading a save by necessity does that. I feel like if you actually want to, like, bank an ending, you have to go through it again. But I'm kind of curious. I guess I, I, uh, we'll just move forward. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna load a save. But yeah, if I want to see what else happens, I can work my way up to there again. Should avoid reloading first playthrough. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Wait, am I still my first? Pl Wait, what? I, I thought that this. I mean, is I guess the whole thing is a playthrough, huh? Hmm. Hmm. What is this game? <laughs> it's complicated. Yeah, we're just gonna keep going. You're here to slay her. Yeah. If you don't, oh. it will be the end of the world. Yeah, no, I can't wait to start the game. Uh, Captain Disco, thanks for five and a half years. Enjoy your Kiwi Key. Snarky Stefan, thanks for 60 months, five years. Enjoy your Kiwi Key. Maybe we're a Kiwi in the game. Solar Tide, thanks for 20 months. Been living in Vodland, well, with having two jobs and still being broke. Such is life. I hope that soon you can work one jobs and be very much not broke. Uh, best of luck with all that. Thank you for the Prime. I really appreciate it. Thanks for enjoying the VODs. Levi Phipps, thanks for 21 months. This lady sounds familiar, Wink Wonk. Yeah, it just reminds me of, um... It was a Simpsons joke. He's like, why why do I have three kids and no money? Why can't I have three mo no money and three kids? No, it... I did... You get, you get, I fucked it up. I love having two jobs, no money. I have no kids and- yeah. I have three kids and no money. Why can't I have no kids and three money? That's the- that's the joke. Yeah. Uh, Crazy Tiger, thanks for three months. Enjoy yourself. Hey, this Mario game is weird. Yeah, wowie zowie. 
High caliber cooking, thanks for a year. Oh gods, what have I walked in on? Yeah, this is a good game to just stumble upon out of context. Uh, just be a dog dad. There you go. Spooky Stanley Parable 2. Yeah. yeah, that's basically it. Enjoy your mildly cursed skeleton key for a mildly cursed spooky season. Hope everyone's excited for Halloween coming up real soon. Isaac, thanks for 11 months. Hot dang, almost a full year. Sky Relief, thanks for 100 bits. Bonk for chat since y'all asked so nicely. Boom. Tuntush, thanks for two years. Enjoy your house key. Can't believe it. Thanks for the countless hours of entertainment. Smash thanks for 50 bits. I get the feeling everyone coming in late will be severely confused by what's happening. It's the kind of game where even being here from the beginning, I'm confused. So having even less context is like, huh, what? Hmm? Yeah. Fall Guys and Final Fantasy 14. What? I'm glad I decided to play the game mystery. Hell yeah. Does reloading save and doing things differently count towards progress? Well, that's what I'm curious about. I would assume no, because if the game literally removes options as you loop through it to block off those paths, loading a save would by necessity still have those paths because it's a save at that point in time. Otherwise, that could create issues where, like, if you save where you only have one choice and you've already done that choice, it would break, you know? So, that's right. Okay, yeah. Everyone's always... I mean, you could be late to any of my streams and probably be confused, so. Next week, allegedly. Huh. Remember, again, I'll do that so you're good. Gotcha. Uh, Blaze of Ice, thanks for 19 months. What? Herbivore Gaming, thanks for 26 months. Snowbody, thanks for 33. Just got here, I don't know what's happening, but there's a lot of hands saying hello. They're waving. They're greeting you. Smash Matt, thanks for 96 bits. I got flowied. I did. Squeaks, thanks for 26 bits. I beat this game yesterday. Thank you for the quotes. I'm so glad I made it in time for the reveal. Thank you. Squeaks, thanks for 69 bits and the KN nice. Lude Lion, thanks for 57 months. She's a nice ghosty. And Pablo Houseplant, thanks for 15 months. Open Hand Foundation and Open Hand Eldritch Princess. What a coincidence. And as you said, that autism drawing, thanks for five bucks to the Open Hand Foundation. All I can afford right now, but have this fiver. It really makes a difference. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you. Any amount matters. No pressure. Of course, I just like to be like, here's the thing. And thank you so much for supporting it. I appreciate it. Anyway, back to whatever the fuck this is. What are we doing this time? Okay, thanks for telling me what to do. Don't mention it. It's all part of the job. I mean, maybe I should go in there without You make your way the knife. up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Suggestions of knife. I was just thinking that. Yeah, go in without the knife and then get murdered. Hope there's a dog princess. And it just plays the... Uh, what is it? Is it the, 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 I was thinking of, um, God, I'm blanking on the name of it. The game where you play as a bard and you have a little wheel around you where you can sing. Wonder song. Um, and there's, there, there's like a little dog princess and it, yeah, or the Silent Hill dog ending. And it's got a little bark song. I know I want to pull it up. Hold on. This isn't worth it, but hold on. Uh, yeah, wonder song, uh, wonder song dog theme. Is that the dog? It was like the dog, like heart. It was like the heart fairy. Yeah, this. Yeah, this is it. The heart fairy song. For anyone that might not have seen Wander Song, it's a very good game. So this just plays, and the credits roll in this game. I'm saying she's like, I'm a dog, Arf, and you're like, yay! Okay, anyway. It's a good Wander Song. Good. I did stream it if you want to watch those VODs, or you should buy it because it's a great game. Anyway, you find the princess with the. Go Let's go. Him. Put me in there. Play it. Do you have to sing the play? Yeah, there, there, you have like a wheel around you of different notes, and there's a bunch of different stuff in the, the game that involves singing. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. Oh, the so, air is yeah, stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted. Same devs as Chicory. Of dust. The only blade is. Uh, into the basement. I don't need no knife. You have to let the entire thing play to unlock the next ending. Open, gotcha. Revealing a staircase faintly illuminated. So specifically, that loading a save doesn't let you below. make progress. This is an that makes sense. Place. The air feels heavy and damp. I honestly probably prefer it this way, short of like, because first of all, there's an auto, and you can probably just button mash to just get through things you've already seen before. But going through it, you might be like, oh, there's an extra option there I didn't notice or something. Rather than just loading a save and just grinding it out super fast like that. No. 
Her voice softly carries up the stairs. No, Mike, you don't literally sing into the game. It has an in-game music system where you use a wheel around the character to play different notes, to sing different notes. It would be wild if you actually had to sing. I'm not saying that's a bad idea. That's just not how the game works. My name's not Mike. This game has an insane amount of writing. If they did, the game would never come out. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, yeah, detecting that you loaded a save, so now it's different. That would just be next le just, yeah. The, the game is, I think, 10 gigabytes, and, um, that's gotta be almost entirely dialogue. Um, there's so much dialogue in this game. Uh, audio is it's hard to compress and still sound good. Hello? Yeah. Is someone there? For context, a game that looks like this, with tons of art and tons and tons of writing, but without voice acting, would probably be like 100 megabytes. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's worth the price. Oh, 100%. It's also on sale right now. Is someone there? It's 10% off for its opening launch window. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Like Lifeline or Hello, uh, Hey You Pikachu? Yeah. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. I like the manipulation. Um... I'm here to save you, or lie, I'm here to save you. I think I'm here to slay you? Let's just continue downstairs. Let's just... You're still listening to reason. Like, hey, what's up? It would be better if you had a weapon, but Checking you in. may still be able to do what needs to be done. Hi, I, I I work here for the the cabin on the hill in the middle of the woods. Just want to make sure your stay has been going well so far. Um, if if there's anything I can pass along to management, the stairs and lock let me know. With the princess, there's a heavy chain around her wrist. Refill your water. Binding her to the far wall. Leave a mint on your pillow. She's beautiful. How could something hey, like this be a threat to oh, anyone? Oh, you're just saying hi because <laughs> you've been here. I've just got here. Hey, JC Maxwell. Everything's fine. We're not going to slay the princess. We might, but I didn't bring a weapon, so I'm sure it'll be fine. I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Yeah. Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Uh, I'll see what I can do. Examine the chains. And then when she's not looking... Murder. You're only making this more difficult. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. You're making a huge mistake. I, Liz, I'm just, we're figuring it out. No, you're doing the right thing. Mm hmm You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. She's cute as a ghost. <laughs> I'm guessing you don't have the key? Uh, nope. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. Uh, if there isn't a key, do you have any other ideas? I'm going to check upstairs. Maybe the key's still lying around somewhere up there, and if not, maybe I can at least find something to break you free. Okay. I'll be here. Good luck. Let's run. You get out. To make your way out of the basement, get but out. the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Excuse me? Someone locked me in here? I could have grabbed the knife to do a murder, but no. Is someone else here? Uh. Try the door. You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. Dorrent. So it's a mirror. Let me out of here. Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. Okay. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. It's not a mess, it's fine. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Yeah, well, I'm not chained up. It's fine. There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. Mm-hmm. She barely has there you go. Before raising her arm. Yeah, there you go. Her teeth tearing through her limb. Um, um, nom 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 nom. <laughs> as she rips her flesh from her bone, the sound comes from <laughs> <up behind laughs> the clang of bouncing metal. <laughs> She did it's not aid from upstairs. Oh, you're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. 
that that escalated very quickly um imagine this was your first run well there was something similar uh when i played the demo if if memory serves that involved uh, limbs being cut off if i recall uh it's been a while or we could use it to free oh, you. that's girl dinner oh you won't like what happens if you do that save or slay hmm i mean she just ate off her own arm I feel like we should save her, right? Save the game or save the princess? She's just hungry. Slave the... Pr no, wait. No, it's not good. Save. <sighs> Fine. Slayant. Against your better Yeah, I'm helping. You place the blade against the ragged... I'm helping. ...self-inflicted wound on the princess's Ugh. head, just above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. Don't like that. You cut into her flesh. I'm here to help. The blade is sharp, and it takes no, I remember to this. crack through the bone of her arm. Is this what I had in the demo? I think I came down with the knife, and then just me was like, let me help you. I don't remember if it was this exact chain. Well, regardless, uh, yeah, great, good. Her limb falls to the ground, and the heavy chains follow suit. Is the hand gonna get up like Adam's family? Just get she around. Didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. No. She didn't. She's got a lot more hands. She's fine. Yeah. She smiles softly as her gaze meets yours, blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. She's armless. How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Watching well, this and playing bug fables on their monitor is a very fucked up contrast. Yeah, no. No kidding. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Let's go to the locked door. No. We won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. Hmm? You can't just let her escape into the world. No. I can't just let her escape into the you world. You gonna finish that? <laughs> As the princess approaches the bottom stair, well. your body steps forward and raises the blade. Why? Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Bird man, bird man. Watch me. What are you doing? Uh, you. There's a bug on your back. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Warner. And uh, and uh, yeah, Warn. Stop that. Something's come over you, hasn't it? Y you know you don't have to do this, right? Your body lunges forward, Whoa. the blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. But the princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. Stop it. Stop trying to resist me. I'm trying to get you out of here alive. Say the princess, say the prince. Resist! Uh, the blade. Move the blade. As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. We both know this isn't you. Get her, get her, get her, get her. She nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. Quick with what? You can just throw away the blade. She plunges <laughs> it into your chest, tearing not there. and sinew. It is agony. I'm not a trash can. You aren't dead yet. God damn it. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Did she not mean to do- Oh, I thought you were a trash can. I'm so sorry. Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. For her sake? Don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. The two of you have literally doomed everyone. No, my bird kidney. It's fine. Birds have like 80 kidneys. I can stand to lose a few. Whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again, and you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. Shouldn't have worn your stab me shirt with a big arrow and a bullseye. Here's where, here's where you should stab in case of princess. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> she doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? Yeah, well, you know. Apparently not, though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound, and it won't be long before you bleed out. Good. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Man, the cloaca. 
With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. It can't just end like this, right? No, this is good! Oh, that's rich coming from you. As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. Everything goes dark. And you die. Good. You're welcome. Chapter 2, The Damsel. She got big eyes. The bear You're to peep on a path with. in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Damsel! Che, can you calm down? You're here to slay her. If you don't, mm -hmm. it will be the end of the world. Okay. Uh, deja vu. Do, 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 deja vu. A terrible sense of deja vu. No, you don't have that. This is the first time either of us have been here. I think I could be the judge of whether or not I have deja vu. If he doesn't remember what happened, then. Yes, he mm -hmm. didn't approve of us last time, did he? If we're going to save our beloved, we'll have to be sneaky about it. Voice of the smitten? Our beloved? Yes, you'll have to be very sneaky about your intentions if you're going to try and save the princess. Ah, so all of the cards are on the table. Then you should know that we and the princess are in love, and the four of us will be foiling any and all assassination attempts you've got in the works. We'll see about that. Whatever you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. It sounds like he's the sort who'd sacrifice the whole world for a peck on the cheek. Voice of the Chorney, stop it. It's chat. New simp unlocked. Da, ba, da, da. What can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth saving. This is more than deja vu. It's pre I'm pretty sure this whole thing literally just happened. We could go back and forth on this forever, and it won't get you any closer to doing your job and saving the world. So let's just agree to disagree. Mm -hmm. New York City. Uh. Oh, Matt Berry, probably. No, y'all. Let's assume it's only true those happen. Why should I listen to you? Uh, yeah, it's fine. Let's go. Woo. A warning before you go any further. Yeah, you can just leave. I haven't done that yet. She will lie. She will cheat. We've yeah, already fine. told you we're not playing along with your little game. It's your lies that can't be trusted. Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe in. He is channeling a little bit of Matt Berry there. That is That is very good. I think we've already been over this. I'm pretty sure he just likes the sound of his own voice. I do, but I also speak from the heart. Bad. My passions are too great to be stifled. They must be expressed. Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Is he Focus from Tucson, Arizona? Curse these electric sex pants. He's very good. Good for you, Smitten. I I think we should follow whatever Smitten wants. The interior of the cabin is clean and elegant. Its stone walls draped in fine threaded tapestries. A prison befitting a royal prisoner. The only furniture of note is an ornate wooden table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Can you watch what we do in the showers? Yeah, I, I've seen... I saw, there was a movie first, right? I saw that, and I think I saw one or two episodes of the show. And was like, the movie was better. <laughs> but maybe I should give the show another chance. It was good. What we do in the showers? Um, no, I, yeah, I, 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 maybe after this route, I'm, I'm down to, to do a, a, a viewer requested route. If there's one you want me to see. The show is wild. The movie is really good. Mother and door. It's really good and homosexual. Speaking of that, uh, uh, Bath and I started watching season two of Our Flag Means Death. And it's a uh, very, very fun time. Uh, which one? Yeah, talk amongst yourselves. Uh, Twitch plays, Barry plays. Uh, the goes, but uh, yeah. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I'm thinking we don't grab it again. Uh, let's approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. 
it's a wall. There isn't much to see here. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. Mm -hmm. I'm not ready to watch the pirate show. I'll die of gay. Yeah, you might. Try to avoid giving away names. There's the first letter. Second of the repeats. Yeah, because then keep it vague for people that know. And then people that don't know, don't get spoiled. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabinet. That's a good wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. How many eggs is that on my face? I've lost track. But there was a mirror a second ago. And now it's gone. Pity. We could have a feather out of place and now feather. we'll never know. We can't gallantly sweep her off her feet if we have a feather out of place. Feather. Feather reference. Uh, let's go. This baby could fit so many princesses. The door to the basement creaks Ooh. open, this is revealing nice. an intricate stairwell. Gold-trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight. Feather! Uh, he didn't say anything about what that, you know, we're saving. The better that she, probably better off that she doesn't, you know, and all that. But it's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Never mind. Never mind. He said it anyway. Fuck. A soft voice carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? Her voice. It's somehow even more beautiful than last time. I can hear wedding bells already. <laughs> Fucking Smitten is gonna get us killed so fast. I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. We barely even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this over-the-top fawning. Don't call him Smitty! Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. <sighs> Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. Yeah, it's Richard you walk down the stairs and right. lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. My love, we're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. You know she can't hear you, right? She may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. It's you. My dashing hero, I was so worried you wouldn't come back. Do you hear that? She said we're dashing. And she called us a hero. Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? Waiting for you to come back. I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to incontrovertible evidence. You've been here before. Rather dashing. From the fucking Homestar. That's right, villain. And you killed us. Well, she killed us. It was a misunderstanding at best. Only because he made us try and kill her, it was self-defense. Our beloved's hands remain unstained by cruelty. And you've died before. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. I'd really hoped I'd be the first, but what's done is done. What matters you have a chance to do it right this time. With less stabbing. We damned a whole world. But everything reset. Nothing resets. You're just somewhere else. And you can't keep hopping between worlds forever. Especially not without leaving a trail of incomprehensible devastation behind you. <sighs> this is horrible. Horrible for you, maybe. But we've been given another opportunity to sweep her off her feet and treat her like the lady she is. Now, hold on. If she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue her? We never saw a world end, and now I'm even more certain that we must chase our heroic and romantic destiny than I've ever been. I shan't let anyone convince us otherwise. Are you listening to him? He's lost it. Don't let him distract you. Just do your job. Um. Did you end the world after you killed me back there? I don't know. Was I supposed to have ended the world? Would that have made you happy? Mm. Isn't that just like our <laughs> darling princess? She wants to make us happy. 
My oh heart my melts further with every word that passes through her beautiful lips. He is down so bad. Oh my god. Are you listening to her? That's a confession. Uh, I don't want the world to end. <laughs> Just... Was I supposed to? Oh, well, yeah. Thanks for gifting us something. Smitty is here. Down horrendous. Check out the Magnus Archives, John and Simpson as well. Oh, hell yeah. Thirsty does not begin to describe Smitty. Uh, I have no feelings one way or the other about the world ending. Honestly, the world sucks. People are a plague. I hope you brought a slow and painful ruin to them all. Let's go with that one. I can't believe that the fate of the entire world has been left in the hands of a misanthrope. Lucky for you, I did destroy the world. I destroyed all of it and made it awful for everyone. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, princess! Oh no! I'd point out that she just admitted to obliterating the entire world, but I guess that wouldn't actually move you. Mm -hmm. Oh, it moves me. Whatever we do next, we should do our best to not let her out. But have you seen her angelic face? She should get a pass. She just wanted to make us happy. She didn't know that destroying the world would make us happy at the time, Smitty. That's all. That's not... By destroying the world? Apparently, yes. Uh, uh, you killed me last time and it hurt a lot. Why did you do that? I'm sorry. Didn't you want me to? No. Did we? We warned her of the cruel forces seizing our body. That's practically telling her to kill us. She is our beloved, and she made the choice to free us of our misery, to show us mercy and make the best decision for everyone. God forbid women have hobbies. Yeah, God forbid. God damn, just let her live her life, ending the world. God damn. She made the best decision for her. Don't be so quick to assign kindness. You're just opening yourself up to manipulation. I am full manipulated from the inside. She doesn't have anything to do with it. Uh, I didn't bring a knife. Do I have to cut you out again? I'm okay with whatever you come up with. You can cut my arm off again. Okay, great. We won't be laying a finger on her perfect wrists. And indeed, we won't even have to. Do you see how dainty her hands are? We'll be able to slip her right out with no harm done. What? No, she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. Why are you two arguing over the logistics of slipping her hand out of her shackles? She just said she'd be okay with any idea we came up with. Am I the only one here who thinks that's weird? She didn't care last time. Why should she care this time? That's our stoic, smiling angel. You know, you're right. It's extremely bizarre behavior and further evidence that she's a monster who's not to be trusted. So go ahead and slay her. Uh, what happened after I died? You died, and now we're talking. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> that clears that up. I'm sorry about what happened last time. The narrator sent me here to kill you, took over my body. It was extremely unfair. If another version of me was pushed to such drastic action, it was for good reason. That's okay. You were just doing your best, and that's all that matters. She took that in stride. To a surprising extent. An almost unsettling extent, actually. That's because she's perfect. <laughs> Do you think she has someone like him telling her what to do? She doesn't. There's no one else like me. I think he's right, because I like it better if she doesn't have some horrid little voice like him, always trying to drive her to violence. Uh, my literally only option is rescue her. Okay. No. I can't let you do that. If you take another step towards the princess, I'll... you are what? Take over our body and force us to try and kill her? Mm-hmm. I would if you had a weapon. You got it. Not on my watch, villain. My passions contain titanic depths, and if you try anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. Smitty? Dial it back a smidge, Smitty. You wouldn't. I would. I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings, and doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? I have wonderful news, there's already 16 Slay the Princess fix on AO3. Thank you, Shiv. Smitty, be cool. Smitty? Titanic Depths. Hello. You approach the princess and gingerly slide her hand from her bindings. Look at that, Parallax. 
shouldn't have worked. I'll be damned. <laughs> We're doomed. But that means she could have taken it off herself. And I guess there was that one version of her that's like, you made me use my hands. So for some reason, her having agency is a problem. I don't really know. I can't believe it. But I guess I have to. Dainty little chain. She wants us to feel... We are special. Feel special nothing. I told you. There's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. I'm free. And you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. The princess jumps Yay. up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. Ugh. Let's go destroy the world. If only you had a weapon, one slip of the wrist and your pristine blade would be buried in her back and everyone out there would be saved. Luckily for Mr. Romance, we don't have a weapon. Who needs a weapon when we have the power of love on our side? What do we do now? Uh, what do you want to do? We leave, and then we have our whole lives to figure out what we want to do next. What do you want to do? Let me guess. End the world? Spoken with the rank cynicism of someone who has never felt love in his heart. I don't actually know. Nobody's ever asked me what I wanted before. She doesn't even know what she wants. You may have had her all wrong. What if this whole thing is just a misunderstanding? What if she doesn't want to end the world? Mm hmm You're so gullible. Is the only thing you've ever doubted the actual truth? I think I want to leave. And I think... The princess closes her eyes in deep reflection. And then she shrugs. I don't know. What do you want to do? Disney World? Uh, I want you to tell me what you want. There must be something you want. Do you want to end the world? I just want to leave. We can figure out the rest later. If you want to leave, then let's leave. Uh, tell me what you want. I just want to make you happy. She can't just want to make us happy. It makes sense to me. That's all I want for her, so of course she'd want the same for us. She's turning more anime by the second. There must be something you want. I just want to make you happy. Oh my god, her eyes. Is she broken? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> What's going on is she's lying to you. I mean, she isn't a good liar. Are you starting to trust me now? <laughs> so good. Oh, the music too. What would make you happy? You have to want something more than just making me happy. You must need your own thing. You must just met me. You can't base your entire happiness around me. I want you to make me unhappy. <laughs> That's gonna be a disaster. Uh, fucking. That's a very dangerous. I kind of. I might want. I might want to give that a go. Um, these are good. Um, do you want in the world? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, what would make you happy? I just want to make you happy. Oh. This isn't right. I don't know what's going on, but this isn't right. More. I fail to see the problem here. She's just sweet on us. You don't have to act like it's a big deal. You have to want something more than just making me happy. Okay, I'll find something else to want if that makes you happy. <laughs> oh my god, Nicole! Is it just me, or does it feel like we're alone right now? Like we're the only ones here? Oh! Oh no! I drew this in 8th grade. It's time for you to leave. Hold on, I, I wanna, I wanna load. Uh, yeah, right? Oh, I think the game might've crashed. She just wanted to make us happy. Put him back in. Nah, she's fine. Anime girlfriend component a <laughs> lot. Yeah, does that help the Eldritch Deity? Now I, now I understand what anime is, thank you. Thank you, brave hero. By the way, here's the content warning that pops up when you boot up the game. Contains flickering images as well as a parallax effect. And all kinds of bad stuff. Yeah, woo. Whatever horrors you may find in these dark spaces, have heart and see them through. There's no wrong decisions. This is a love story. Mm -hmm. Quick save was not set yet. Oh. It's a separate load. Okay. So hitting quick save without a quick load just <laughs> makes, makes it very mad. Uh, what if I say I want you to make me unhappy? Okay. If that's what makes you happy, I can make you unhappy. Oh, God. This isn't right. I don't know what's going on, but this isn't right. Yeah. So no matter what you pick, she just gets more and more sketchy. I fail to see the problem here. 
She's just sweet on us. Yeah. You don't have to act like it's a big deal. Mm -hmm. uh, um, do you want to end the world? Are you seriously asking her that? I want to know. Oh, we've been over this one. I do want to end the world. I'm trying to make her a thought. Yeah, I'm helping. Uh, you need your own thing. You just met me. You can't base your entire happiness around me. Okay, if that's what makes you happy. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's just me, or does it feel like yeah, we're it's right? fucking good. It's fucking good. Like yeah, there she goes. All right, see you later. Goodbye. From three to two to one dimensional. Yeah, she's great. You don't get the chance to ask another question, or will you ever. It's time for you to leave. No. Memory returns. She was our perfect match. Sorry, Smitty. She's gone. W where did she go? Should we try and find her? Is that a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? I hope it looks like that last version when we go to the void. Um, It's going to be okay. Trust me, you've been here before and you always get scared. But it feels so bad. L looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. Correct. Yes. I fear that we won't like what we'll see. What if we just sit here and preen for a while? That can't hurt, right? I, we're a bird. We're preening and we have feathers. Uh, I'll see you on the other side. It's gonna be okay. Okay. If you say so, we'll trust you. That's a good idea. She'll be there waiting for us. I just know it. Approach the mirror. You approach the mirror. Gaze into my reflection. Sounds as reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. You need to see what's in it. Oh, I'm so goopy now. You've withered. Why am I goopy now? <laughs> when did that happen? Damn, I'm looking good, though. I'm looking pretty good. I like what I see. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. To the cabin. The power of love made me goopy. Oh, yeah. I'm at the cabin. Anime princess is real. Yeah! <laughs> Uh, I'm so happy with this. All at once in more oh god. Can bear to hold. Mm -hmm. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new. Mm -hmm. And to look away is to reshape them yet again. I'm so glad that it's this version of her. All of me is changing. And yet the rest of me is still the same. I wish I showed me. She's like, what the fuck is this? What, what options did you pick to make this happen? He can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. And yet my waters flow and my streets bustle. There are no words that can describe me into non-existence. There is no logic that can bind my multitudes. Now that I have anime, I am complete. Congratulations, you've speedrun the game. I am everything that you have known me to be. But I am also none of it. Uh, how can you stand to be a contradiction? As easily as you can stand to be you. You are like me. Even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. Uh, it doesn't matter how many times I go back, at least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse. Nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? Uh, Barry Summy told me to bug you about YouTube videos. Yeah? Who? Who is that? Hey, thanks! How you doing? Maybe I'll make another one. In the nondescript future. That'd be nice. She said my, my brain be thick. I am hoping to do some uh, 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 streams in November of working on stuff to get some goddamn things made. Um, what's up, videos? Gotta go get spots from work. Have a good one, Zach Control. Thanks for hanging. Video about Slayer Princess eventually? I don't know. Not gonna rule it out, but the, the video I've been trying to make for like a year is the one that I want to make next. Um, if anything makes me more like you more, I don't know what that says about me. It all seems so distant as soon as I'm near you. I have no opinion one way or another. True neutral. I just want it all to stop. You're torturing me and I hate it. I think I hate you. Um, it all seems so distant as soon as I'm near you. It does seem small from here. 
And the more we journey, the smaller each of those steps will be. But that doesn't make any of them less special. Imagine asking Abby Howard to draw an anime princess like a middle schooler. <laughs> She's probably like, yes! I feel like they had a lot of fun with this one. Uh, what do you think of this vessel? This one is soft and delicate. You molded her to love you, and she'll make for a gentle heart. I did no such thing. I was just like, I'm here to save you, and she was like, ooh, woo? Do not I had nothing her. to do with this. She has served her purpose. Uh, I'm still planning to kill you once we're done. You know, at the end of this, I'm going to kill you. You know what happens in the world? What, you know what happens to the worlds we leave behind? My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen, just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths, and my attention is turned inward, except when you are here with me. She was ooh because you were there to save her. I that's perhaps this will change when our work is done. That's some quantum mechanics nonsense. She's only ooh woo when observed. Uh do you still not care what I bring you next? I care about your gifts, but I have no preferences to burden you with. Even if I did, I would never dare to tarnish our relationship by assuming myself above you. I don't have a wriggling mass of arms behind me. I think you're above me. Ma'am? Uh, uh... How many more vessels do you need? We will know when we near our destination. Be fair. Okay. Alright. I'm still planning to kill you once we're done with this. If that remains your choice when all is said and done, then you may try. But know that I do not wish you harm, even if you attempt to destroy me. Game did say it was a love story. They wouldn't lie to me. I'm ready to go back. Prepare for a loud crunch, chat. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. I got crunched. You become a goop in cheese hands, you're gonna become a toy for kids. <laughs> Just gonna become slime you're on for preschoolers to play with. Woods. And at uh, the end of that path, yeah. you're here to slay her. Alright, alright, chat, what do you want me to do? You decide. Twitch plays stream. Ugh. Ugh. Did you decide there's one? Leave? The fuck it? Everyone's like, leave. Alright. See you later. Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? We're in the woods. I'm gonna make like a tree. And leave. Okay, fine. You're persistent. I'll go to the cabin and slay the princess. Oh. Okay, fine. I'll go to the cabin. I'll talk to the princess. Maybe I'll slay her. Or maybe I won't. I guess we'll see. I am definitely know where I'm going. Nope. Only thing that matters is where I'm not going to the cabin. I'm not going to the cabin. I'm actually pretty okay with the world ending. I relish the coming of a new dawn beyond our own. Gonna walk in the opposite direction now. Quietly continue down the path. Uh, what have I done so far? I've done... I don't remember the names of them all. The tower? I did... I did big woman with flesh and muscle. I did uh, ghost lady. I did uh, uwu anime princess. Uh, tower damsel and specter. Those are the ones. Not going quietly? I mean, just, just see you later. Fine. Huh. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands Tower of this whole the situation than to take part it. in it. Right. Mm hmm. And presumably, Tower can go to different places. Uh, yeah. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Mm hmm. Yeah, the figure one was pretty nuts. That's strange. It looks like this path also leads to the cabin. Narrator! How convenient. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. Okay, this this feels very Stanley Parable. To be like, oh, w would you look at that? Here's another door that takes you back to the story. Uh, goodbye again. You're really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? Mm -hmm. It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. <laughs> Real I've already outlined the stakes yeah. of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Mm -hmm. Forever. Mm -hmm. I don't care, I'm not killing a princess. Good, maybe everyone should die. That's what they get for dumping me in the woods and asking me to kill someone for them. You're not emotionally blackmailing me into this. Quietly continuing the path. That's what they get. When I said everyone, I meant everyone. That's a pretty large group to just condemn to death over a single princess. Yeah. And, last I checked, 
you're part of everyone too. So if you think about it, walking up to that take the knife and then drop is it. really in your okay. best interests as well. I'll try that one. See you later. Fine. You turn around and trek back down the path you came. Do 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 do. God. Would you look at that? You're at the cabin again. Now, I'm not normally one for superstition or astrology, but I have to say, it seems like the universe itself is doing its best to bring you to your fated confrontation with the princess. There's no fighting this, is there? I have to go in the cabin, don't I? Fine. Oh, yeah? Well, I guess I start walking in a different direction again. In fact, I'm going to just keep trekking through the wilderness until I find a way out of this place. There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who has ever lived, as well as for Doing everyone, a loop. whoever will. Everyone chats like, again, again. <laughs> I love walking through the woods. And here we go. As you trudge into the woods, oh. something strange starts to happen. Hello. At first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the leaves. But as you focus on your surroundings, oh. you start to realize that those flickers weren't just a trick of light. That's cool. In every direction, there is a path and a cabin. And not just a cabin, the cabin. An infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be. Princess Shock Infinite? Wait, what's going on? But you're too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because you care more about irritating me than you do about the fate of the world. Correct. You've doomed us all. You know that, right? But of course you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. You lose track of just how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. But it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters, because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. The stranger. You're on a path in the woods. Oh. And at the end of that path is a cabin. Hmm. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Time me out, dog. Have a good time out. A lot of good things on sale, stranger. Wait. Hold on. Wait. Yep. Uh, yep. See you later. Uh, hmm. I don't know if that's a wall or if we're inside of, like, some kind of a big old dome. I'm sure it's fine. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Swift's new worms. I don't know what that means. Ah, uh, deja vu. You aren't kidding. She actually entered the world last time, didn't she? What the hell is she? Oh, you bastard. Those walls weren't here last time. You can't force me to go to the cabin. Okay, yep. Heading to the cabin now where I'm definitely going to slay the princess. Uh... Yeah, hold on. Let me ask about the walls. Those walls weren't here last time. What are you talking about? I'm sure those walls have always been there. Mm -hmm. It makes sense if you think about it. If there weren't any walls in the woods, someone might have gotten lost. Or, heaven forbid, someone other than you might have stumbled onto the princess. If he doesn't remember what happened, then mm -hmm. maybe, I don't know. I think it's more fun if he knows what we're thinking. He's like a captive audience. Voice of the contrarian now. He might have walled off everything but the path to the cabin. But I'm sure there's plenty of other ways we can ruin his day. If by ruining Chat's my back. <laughs> day, I mean ruining everyone's day forever, then yes, I suppose there are plenty of ways you could pull that off. The world really did end last time, didn't it? We should be careful. For all we know, we just got lucky. The world hasn't ended yet. And you are never going to slay her with that attitude. Stuff those pathetic little voices to the back of your mind and stay focused on the task ahead. Um, she actually ended the world last time, didn't she? What the hell is she? Last time? Last I checked, there wasn't any last time. We just met, you and I. If he doesn't remember what happened... I don't know. I think it's okay. all. might have walled off everything. If by ruining my... My world, bad. Really, the world hasn't ended yet. Yep. Okay. Um... Uh, yep, okay. Heading to the cabin now where I'm definitely going to slay that princess. You know I can tell when you're lying, <laughs> right? Please take this seriously. I am begging you. I can see the parentheses lie in your dialogue options. 
No, oh morning, my. Before you go in. Damn further. it. She will lie. Yeah. If we're stuck going in there, maybe we should believe her. Maybe she isn't a liar. Ignore him. He's just being difficult for the sake of it. Let's keep an open mind. I have to proceed. Humor. The cabin interior is oh. wrong. A confusing patchwork hmm. of many cabin interiors, all projected across what's almost the same space. But it's all shifted. Hmm. An inch here, a foot there, such that the seams are never quite visible enough for the place to make any sense. Neat. The only furniture of note is a plain table, its legs all the wrong lengths, its material devoid of feature. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Oh, I bought that table from Ikea. The one that's featureless and devoid of, of texture. It's pretty cheap. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Throw the knife out the window? If you, you got want it. us to take it, maybe we should just leave it to collect dust. Or better yet, <laughs> to start your bed. Throw it out the window. What good is a knife against a world ending monstrosity anyway? The only feature of note is the ramshackle table upon which you see Grandpa. He's resting. <laughs> Taking the knife. Have you seen this place? We have literally no idea what to expect and no idea. Flip it around, what throw it out with. the window. I've already told you what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a princess. How many times do I have to explain this incredibly simple and straightforward premise? You can't just say that. But when everything here is so wrong, listen to me. My job is to describe facts as facts and to guide you through your job which is to slay the princess and, through that action, save the entire world. And if you're going to slay her, you cannot let fear creep into your heart. You cannot lose yourself before you even get to her. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you've piqued my interest. What's going to happen if we lose ourselves? Nothing, because you're going to pull yourself together. Just ignore the stressful geometry and stay calm. You just a little geometry. How? Even if we closed our eyes, you're constantly describing it to us. I'm not going to stop doing my job. So you're just going to have to get better at yours. And quickly, if you don't mind. Yes, take a deep breath. I'm all for getting under his skin, but we'll miss out on loads of fun if we shrivel up into a ball and go insane the first time we see something weird. What you're seeing here is obviously real. Just accept it and go with the flow. It really isn't hard. Okay. Okay, I'm fine. Good. Now, whenever you're ready, we're all waiting for you to complete a very important task. Is that task me putting my hand on the wall next to the door? Because I gotta do that. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. I wanna touch it. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. Yeah. Reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. It feels pretty good to me. There was a mirror a second ago, and now it's gone. You know that taking the mirror away from us isn't going to change things, right? We'll find it again, and then we'll see whatever it is that you don't want us to see. Uh, should I take the blade or not? I mean, it's more contrarian to not. And if we're going full contrarian, I think I should take. Blade and eat. Take the what? No? No blade. Take blade. No. Eat out the window. No, take. Take. Save before throwing it out. Okay. Uh, my na Save. Uh, I can save over this one. Boop. Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Okay, fine. You took the knife. But you really shouldn't hold it like that. Then how are we supposed to hold it? The other way. Thumb at the bottom. It will look much cooler and more serious if we hold it with our thumb at the bottom. Like, okay. It really doesn't matter how you hold the blade, as long as you have it. Uh. <laughs> uh. This, hold the blade the other way. Flip it. Flip it and reverse it. You switch your grip on the blade. Congratulations. Mm hmm. That's pretty cool. Yes! Isn't this so much better? Now I can stab like this. <sighs> okay, fine. You're right. This does look a lot better. It really doesn't matter. Just get on with it and deal with the princess already. Throw the blade out the window. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Do it! Seriously. Ugh, 
you yeah, the throw the blade at the window, glass showering the cabin as your weapon flies out into the night. I suppose you'll just have to deal with the princess without it. I thought chat was doing a meme, but no, you're actually like flipping and throwing out the window. Got it. We'll be fine. Don't worry about it. What's the worst that could happen? The world ends. Been there. Done that. Why did both? Because it looped through Pac-Man style? I'm not so sure. This place is already messing with my head. It would be much better if we had a weapon. What's done is done. Good luck, hero. Let's go. The door oh. to the basement creaks open, revealing a web of branching staircases all built from unidentifiable materials. Looks good! Nothing here seems to belong, and the closer you examine your surroundings, the more confused you get, your head throbbing with the effort of making sense of this place. None of the stairs even seem to go anywhere, let alone down. The air here has a sickening, almost sludge-like miasma to it, the kind of indiscernible quality that comes from the blending together of every scent there is at once. An odour that is simultaneously everything and yet the sum of it all coalescing into a thick, nauseating nothing. Yeah, I should take in the elevator. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favour. <laughs> uh, no matter what, he finds a way to say that. Her voice, a disquieting collage of tone and personality, drags up the stairs. Hello? Hi. What are you doing here? Are you here to kill? Maybe. No. No, thank you. No. Oh, don't be such a baby. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Let's just turn around and leave. This feels wrong. This feels like a trap. Like, whatever we do, we're gonna die. We don't even have a weapon. But we already tried turning around and leaving, didn't we? And he threw up a wall. No way to go but forward. And whatever choice we make, whatever she is, we know one thing for sure. And what's that? That the fate of the world hinges on your success? There'll still be plenty of ways to ruin his day. Mm -mm. Take the harsh stairs to the left, take the center staircase, take the soft stairs to the right. Which is the path less traveled? That's the one I would like to trudge down. You want me to go right, left, soft, harsh, soft, one, harsh, probably. Try three, harsh, left, three, Robert, so sophomore, woo. I, uh, 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 I would never walk on soft. Soft sounds kind of rough. Let's go harsh. You step to the left. The path is Have a good one, Hollow Thanks, Rain. The impact of each step sending pulsing vibrations up your legs until there's nothing left in them to feel. The air around you grows cold as mm. you progress. At first, a barely noticeable drop, quickly evolving into a numbing cold. Your toes feel like blocks of ice. Your breaths puff out in clouds of condensed vapor. I'm glad we went this way. You shudder against it as you continue down the stairway, losing yourself in the bone-deep chill. This is neat. Oh, huh, huh? You slowly lose sense of yourself the huh? further you go. Time disappears, and you can feel yourself begin to untether. Physical sensations dull and then vanish. Mm -hmm. The only things experienced are the endless, repeating patterns and emotions of the journey. A continuous march forward to a destination long forgotten. Consumption and betrayal, skepticism and blind devotion, rivalry and submission, terror and longing, pain and unfamiliarity. And at the heart of it all, an emotion that can only be described as... Are you just going to stand there? Hello. Sorry, I took a left. What? What the hell was that? What happened to us? I feel so strange. Like I'm fundamentally different, but also still the same person I was at the top of the stairs. Oh well, that was a trip, but now it's over. Time to get back to our old devilish ways. Let's go. The princess, eyes bright but otherwise shrouded in darkness, watches you impatiently from the other side of the basement. Don't forget why you're here. And uh, why are we here again? In case you weren't listening, I'm afraid I lost myself on the way down. <sighs> you're here to... He's just being an ass. We remember. <laughs>
Oh, I'm still not sure if we should trust you. Mm hmm. Let's talk to her for a bit, try and get our bearings. She seems normal. This is normal. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was here. <laughs> What's your name? Getting down here was weird, like I was pulled apart and put back together again. Do you know what happened to me? For all I know, you're locked up down here for a reason. You're apparently a threat to the world. I have to talk. Okay. Uh, what's your name? You can address me as your royal highness, or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Fair enough. You can call me princess, if you'd like. Oh. Oh, good. As the princess speaks again, it's almost as if she fractures. And where there was once just one of her, there is now another. We can do that? I don't like this. It's those cabins all over again. Can, can we put her back? You said you'd been here before, right? What exactly happened last time? Mm, nothing. Does it matter? Yes, it matters. But I'm not going to waste any more time prying out details if you're going to be so irritating about it. It seems to me like you saw something you weren't supposed to have seen. If only you'd listened to whatever words of wisdom you were given in that other reality. But what's done is done, isn't it? Whatever you saw last time, unsee it. Whatever thoughts weaseled their way into your head, unthink them. Done. If it's not already too late. My mind is you have blank. a job to do here, and you need to do it now. I don't remember anything. Ooh, new plan. Let's see if we can make even more of her. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, there's more of you now. Uh, I'm getting you out of your try and free her. I don't know what you are, but I can't trust you. I can't trust anything in here. Leave her in the basement. Regretfully think about the time you threw the blade out the window. Why are these all one option? Is that supposed to be all one option? Uh, there's more of you now. And what's that supposed to mean? Yeah. Are you trying to get under my skin? Three for one. Good. There must be something wrong oh. with you. I'm the same as I was a moment ago. Cross timeline shenanigans, yeah. She fractures again. That's cool. I don't like where this is going. Neither do I. Which is why you need to slay her now before more things get more complicated than they already are. How would we even do that? Where would we start? We could always start by retrieving the blade. The one he made us throw out the window. I wasn't the one who threw it. Oh, come on, you told us to. Don't try to pass the blame now that it's come back to bite us. Well, if I'd known we'd be dealing with this, maybe I wouldn't have been so hasty with my suggestions. I don't think we're going to be able to put her back. Kind of hurts to think about it, doesn't it? It's like everything we say just multiplies her. It certainly looks that way, so please, for the love of everything, stop asking her questions and stop stalling. You're obviously just making things worse. Got it. Keep talking to her. Getting down here was weird. You know what happened to me? What? Like you need me to hold your hand and tell you everything's okay? You're not really cut out for this, are you? Why are you even here? <laughs> We're probably stuck down here forever, aren't we? We. There's no way out. And barely a way in. Sometimes I feel like I'm being pulled apart too. It's so terrifying down here. But at least now you're not alone. And I'm not alone either. I don't remember what it was like before I was in this place. Why would I know what happened to you? Hmm. Fine, you're locked up in here for a reason. Do you know why you're down here? Maybe it's because I'm dangerous. I was thinking maybe this is the horny jail that I've heard so much about. But you know, right? You have to know. You're the only other person I've ever seen. Or at least the only one I can remember. Don't give me false hope. Please just end this already. One way or another, just do it. <laughs> oh, don't be coy. We both know why I'm locked away here. I'm a monster. And the second I get out of this place, I'm going to end the entire world. Yeah, okay. This is reaching its breaking point. If you don't act now, there will be nothing in here but her. Take a deep breath and focus up. You can do this. Can I, what if more girlfriends? How do we decide what to do? Can there even be a right choice when all of them are so different? Stop overthinking it. Your drifting thoughts have clearly been part yeah, the of the difference reason between the situation pretty good. has gotten out of hand. If you're trying to do the right thing, there's only ever been the one option. And that option is slaying her. But which one do I stab? Just, just do something. Do anything. Do all of it, if that's what you want. This place is hell, and it's only getting worse. Okay. I'm getting you out of here, but also I don't know what you are, but I can't trust you. Leave her. 
but also think about the time I threw the blade out the window. Wait, that's not right. Go on. You take a step forward. Your foot lands, but it lands different. You experience a firm footfall, a gentle tread, a confident stride. You can feel yourself rupture. The room spins, your perception multiplying in a sickening kaleidoscope as your very self is pulled in incomprehensibly many directions. You find the blade suddenly in your hands. All at once you use it to strike at her bindings as you remain upstairs and slay her and leave her to languish alone. <laughs> it's very good. Is this what the end of the world looks like? What an unbearable mess. But this... We can't... Do you not have anything witty oh. to say? I could use a good bit of wit right now. Yeah, contrarian, where are you at? No, I don't, because this oh. isn't fun. How are we supposed to have fun if everything is happening at the same time? It's the same as nothing happening, and nothing is excruciating. Just turn in the Geigas. Luckily for all of us, nothing and everything doesn't go on forever. The world and the princess collapse in on themselves before it all oh. falls apart. Oh. Hooray! I think he's gone. We were never going to salvage this, were we? What happened to us? us? What are we? What are we? There, there are parts, parts of us that are dead, dead and, and the others, and the others. They, they just don't, don't fit. fit. They just don't fit. We, we can, can feel, feel them moving around, around in spaces, spaces they, they, they don't, don't belong. belong. It's, it's all so uncomfortable. So There's so many of them! Did you do this? Did, Did we do this? Can you pull us back apart? Can you fix us? Did I do that? We should help her. I think we did this. I I mean, I just wanted to walk through the woods. I think the narrator's fault reason this happened. How surprisingly sincere. Hmm. I didn't actually think our actions had consequences. Oh, no. The choices matter. It's a little late for regret, isn't it? Please, please, please. please. Uh, it's gonna be okay. I'll do my best. I don't think you're supposed to be fixed. No, you just destroyed everything. I'm not gonna fix you. Say nothing. Uh, I'll do my best. Oh, well, yoink. Three nice faces to kiss on mouth. Thank you, Shiv. But you'll never know if she hears your reply. She's gone. Memory returns. She's gone. Where does she go? Should we try and find her? It's just a bath in the Nicole Faz stream where a mic glitches. Oh, there's that mirror again. Yeah. Why is it here? Why now? Uh, see you later. Am I still goopy? How goopy am I? I'm not as goopy. Sounds has reached for they're gone once again. Yeah. You've unraveled. I'm, I'm looking pretty good again. I miss the goop though. Hmm. More tendrily, I guess. Little one. <laughs> Scaly, you find yourself in the long quiet. Yep. To the cabin. How you doing, multi princess? Yeah. There's, a world There's more hands. The endless walls of the long quiet. Good. I am curious to see what it means for us to know it. There's more hands for her, more eyes. Uh, do you think there's people out there? It doesn't matter if there are. People are too small for us. You and I are the only things that interest me. Mm-hmm. She got more hands? Yeah, maybe. They're holding hands in the bottom left. Oh, down there? Oh, yeah! Oh. What's going on? What's going on there? Mm hmm Uh, do you think there's anything real out there? Do you think that we're real? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. But nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, nothing can't exist. Oh. Um, do you have thoughts on this vessel? These ones are a contradiction. A winding kaleidoscope of paths and walk. They are stretched into a shape not unlike me, but it is a shape they cannot hold. They will make for a rich and vibrant heart. Do not mourn them, for they will finally get to know themselves. Okay. Um, is this gonna happen when you awaken? If I did, I would already be awake. That's not how that works. 
Uh, when you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is something else. I call him the narrator. He wants me to kill you. Do you have a narrator? Have the vessels had one? No. Their minds are empty. Oh. Existent, but constantly shifting into something new. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? The princesses have none thoughts. 87 banana. He does, I don't know why, but I know this for a fact. He does, I don't know what I'm gonna do when I find him. He does, and when I find him, you and I are finally gonna have answers. He does, and when I find him, I'm gonna kill him. He does, but you're gonna keep that to yourself. Huh? Hmm. Um. Yeah, um, um. Yeah, um. When I find him, you and I are gonna have some answers, dang it. Do not look to one who fears me for your truth. The only answers worth knowing are those we can find within ourselves. You're probably right about that. Uh, how many more vessels do you need? One. Oh. Whatever you bring me next will be enough. Okay. And then gravity will pull the others back to me. I will be singular. A final multitude. Oh, great. Uh, if this is the last time, is there anything you'd like me to bring you? A drink? Cookies? Sandwich? These gifts are a conversation. And each one shows me the contours of your heart. The only thing I want to see is what you choose for me when the thread is fully drawn. Well, I mean, it's over. Well, I mean, if this next is our last, I have a humble root suggestion. Okay, the next question whether or not she's one of the most fun roots or spend the choice of going to share. Gotcha. I can uh, grab that. What? Hat. Right. Fair. In case we decide to do that, I'll save your message over here. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's interesting. So, yeah, so I guess that's what was meant by a playthrough. It's multiple playthroughs that creates one super princess. And then that's the end. But obviously, there's like a hundred goddamn achievements. So it's one playthrough of many possible ones. And each playthrough is itself comprised of multiple versions. That's a lot. And it's like a princess Voltron. Might present another option. Okay, yeah, I mean... Obviously, I don't know which one. So, we'll, we'll get to that. Um, but... Uh, but, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. If this is the last stage, then I'm not going back. I'm gonna stay here. You've already tried waiting. But I understand if you need more time. I'll wait with you. This is gonna close my game again? There's no waiting forever. Okay, I'm ready to go back. <laughs> the next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. Am I a loud crunching noise? I will be here, waiting for you. I think I'm a loud crunching noise. Yeah, I'm a loud crunching noise. And I die! Now that you've gotten here and seen for yourself, and say, yes, five loops! Loop, the loops. Welcome back You're from on a path shopping, Nicole. In the woods. And at the end of that path, is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin, more of a shatter than a crunch. Yeah, that's true. There's a lingering glass shattering to it. Am I lingering? I don't know. I'm a heck heckenton sheer. I'm a what? I don't know what that. Five burps. You're doing. This is excellent, Nicole. Um, you're here to. Yeah. Okay. So so there we had two suggestions so far. Uh, one is. Take the knife, question whether or not she's armed as much as you can, then try to slay her. It's one of the most fun routes. I'll respect the choice if we go a different direction. Another option was talk to her, then just leave her in the basement. No slaying, no saving. Just keep her in the cabin. Broken mirror making up the shards of broken psychic. The spectacle also. Yeah, that could be. Could we do a poll? We could do a poll. Uh, I don't know what either of those would be described as uh which so one option is um question whether or not she's armed as much as you can and then try and slay her you armed and then the other one is leave her in the basement leave in basement and the third option is something else yeah yeah, so something else is is either I just do whatever the fuck I want, or if there's another strong suggestion, but yeah. Someone runs this for GDQ. Oh my god, with Nicole reading Donos, that'd be amazing. 
That'd be very cool. This one, I saved slots thing. That's true. But I like the idea of committing to to the route rather than just loading up this. I mean, I have put down a couple save slots, but you know, it's good. Armed, you glad I didn't say banana? Hmm. One I saw in the demo was like a cool fight with her. I mean, yeah, I, I've had confrontations with her. I wouldn't call them fights. It was more like flailing around than usually I died, but... You must be Ames. Is each combination of five loops why there's 80 billion endings? That's what I was wondering about. I feel like there's definitely something there where there's like types of princesses and certain combinations of those princesses result in a different ending, would be my guess. So, yeah, I don't know if it's exactly every possible permutation leads to a different ending. I, I obviously I don't know, but that's kind of mind boggling. No way the order matters. The order cannot matter. That would explode the possibility space so big. That can't be real. Just from a development perspective. Um, how's that poll coming along? We got 54% who wants me to ask her if she's armed repeatedly. 25% to leave in basement, 21% something else. Works for me. I'm down for that. So let me reread what it said. So long. Nicole has been recording this for a long time. And it's real good. Um, combinations. So, so if that's the armed one. So take the knife, question whether or not she's armed as much as I can, then try to slay her. And then from that point on, it doesn't just, then that's the path I'm on. And then we see. Okie dokie. Uh, let's go. Uh, Viva la revolution. That's the spirit. Yeah, he loves that. <laughs> you make your way. Uh, let's go in there. So, take the knife. I'm gonna grab the knife. It's real good. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely Factorial there. five minus 25. The air is stale and musty and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. That's still the only more... The of note is a yeah. plain wooden table. Oh my god, look at that Perched mirror. on that table uh, is a pristine blade. There's no way it's 5 factorial minus 25 because that's still way more than the number of achievements, so it must be something else, or there's overlap. It's part of the end. If I select a certain way, you'll all see and it makes me cry every time. Oh no! The blade is your implement. Yeah, you're an implement. Take the blade. You take the blade from you the You take table. the blade. And you take the blade. And you take the blade. So then, uh, bah, bah, bah. question whether or not she's armed as much as you can. Cool. The door to the basement creaks open. Her yeah. voice. Who's there? She sounds. Don't let it fool you. Uh, I'm just gonna put down a save here. There, it's fine. Um. Uh. This has nothing to do with being armed, so I'm gonna but assume nothing. You're still listening to reason. I know what you're doing and I approve. Oh no. And lock eyes. Was she so focused on the task? And there you Hello. are. Hello. Are you here to kill me or something? Uh. What do I pick? How do I ask if she's armed? Do I have to step forward? Oh no. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing any day of the week. Well, I gotta do. Here to talk, maybe. Need to talk for a bit first. Okay. Um. I'm here to talk. Then why did you bring a knife with you? Don't talk. How about you drop it, and then we can chat. Well, she makes a compelling point. What if we just drop we'll the blade? I can always reload the save. Look at her. It's not like she's a threat. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, I have to keep. I have to keep the blade, right? Because I have to try and slay her, presumably with it. I'll keep it. You ignore the trembling in your hands. You yeah. poor thing. Your hand you step forward. Your grip on the. I'm probably chained up in this basement for mm -hmm. a reason. So you should just. She's unarmed. She's unarmed. Are you sure she's not armed? I'm positive. I'm not. But we'll keep our eyes peeled. If she has a weapon, she'll have to draw it before she can use it. Hesitating. Uh, I'm not dropping the blade. Then I'm not talking to you. Uh, I guess we're at an impasse. Well, I guess we are. For the love of everything, just slay her already. Or drop the blade. Do something. Are you sure you don't want to talk? Yeah, I'm sure. 
For goodness sake, the two of you can't just stand around like this forever. Eventually, I might start something is again. going to give, and I highly recommend that you be the one to take the initiative here. <laughs> I love the squinting pen. Uh, did I... Did I mess something up? I only got to ask her about being armed once. I think it's just that one. So, now try to slay her? Just want to make sure I'm on the right path for what you want me to do. Slay that bitch. All right. You charged the princess, blade in hand, but unfortunately your earlier suspicions proved correct. She had a, a hidden blade? She slips down her sleeve and catches you in the neck. She had a hidden blade? She Assassin's Creed's me? Blood sprays from the cut, your severed carotid artery painting the princess with strokes of red. You'd better finish your task quickly before you run out of time. But I... I sh I can still try to murder her? Finish, die or finish the job? Uh, uh, just said try and slay her. Just try, finish the job? Die. <laughs> and die. I don't think this is a choice. Kill! With the last bit of your will, you press forward, sinking the blade deep into the Kill her and then check her pulse. Heart. You got it. You get her. Oh. The two of you collapse on the floor together, rapidly bleeding out. Hello. Somehow, I thought this would turn out a little differently. But I wonder, do you really think that this was enough to stop me? It's like she's convinced she can't die. But you don't have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark, and you die. May not have to check Pulsar yet. Gotcha. The Razor. Is this where you wanted me to go, chat? You're on a path in the woods. Yes. And at the end of that path okay. is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. I mean, I'm nervous about the fact that it's called the Razor, but okay. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Uh, deja vu. Uh, she's gonna kill me again. Again? People don't die twice. You haven't even met the princess, and I hardly think she'd be capable of killing someone follow your as heart skilled now. Okay. and courageous as yourself. I'm gonna follow my heart. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. This whole thing's a crock of shit. She's just going to pull a knife out of nowhere and stab us again. The voice of the cheated. It's the cheat. Stabbed to death? Well, you won't have to worry about that princess is unarmed. Are you sure? Yeah, that's exactly what you told us last time. When we asked you if you were sure she didn't have a weapon on her, you said you were positive she didn't. This guy hasn't played Sekiro. You can't die twice. Just check out Sekiro. But it turns out she did, because when we charged her, she started stabbing us to death. Calm down. I assure you she has no weapons, so there's no reason to fear her. You were made for this job. You'll do just fine. Let's go to the cabin. A warning. She will lie. It yeah. Could be more on the money. But we're really doing this, aren't we? I'd say you're lost, but I'm stuck here with you. We know what to look out for this time. We know to be careful. Mm -hmm. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. My little cabin. I was made for this. Yeah, birds are made for murder. The interior of the cabin is a jagged mess of warped wood and broken boards, their splintered edges as uninviting as shattered glass. Good. The only furniture of note is a pointed table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Uh, how about that? How about that door there on the wall? Walk up to the wall next to the basement door. Mm -hmm. It's a wall. Isn't much to see here. The good wall. I'm gonna pat the wall. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's... I'm gonna pat it. You reach forward good and wall. rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. It's a good wall. But there was a mirror a second ago, and now it's gone. Yet another thing in here playing tricks on us. I hate this place. So I'm lucky I didn't get a splinter. Yeah, I had a good roll. Um, put down a save. Yeah. Over that. Yep. Um. Hmm. I'll take the blade. You take the blade from the table. 
it would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Listen, I might need to take some murder. I might need to take a, a piece of wood and do some whittling if she's not down there and I get bored. It feels a bit better to have a weapon in our hands. Let's make her hurt for what she's done to us. Yeah, let's get her out of the basement. The door to the basement creaks nice. open, revealing what must once have been stairs. The fractured slats look as if they've been torn from their source and violently jammed into the wall. I really like how the, the amount of uh, effort that went into making each route feel very unique with just like the same art style even and grayscale and yet they all feel very distinct is really, it's really impressive. The air seeping up from below has an almost metallic quality to it, like the smell of fresh blood. Mm. And you can hear what sounds like the rhythmic scraping of metal coming from down below. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. I want to find the one route where he's like, if the princess lives here, damn, we sh she's probably better off if we leave her. Seems nice here. That's right, scraping. I told you she has something, I told you. Not a single banister in sight. That sound could be anything. It's probably just her chains dragging across the floor. I am begging you to get out of your head. Her grating voice carries up the stairs. I hope you've come to rescue me. I've been stuck down here forever. There is something so wrong with that voice. Yeah. She thinks she's better than us. Like she doesn't even have to put on an act this time. Uh-huh. She's better than us. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view, mm. her sharp eyes following you from across the room. Hello. I wonder if she remembers us. Finally, somebody. Quick, get me out of these chains. We're not safe here. What's Nicole versus Barry score? I don't have a lot of points, I'll tell you that much. She's been stuck forever. Oh no. Come on now, we're not falling for that, are we? She's trying to trick us, but she can't hide that threatening edge to her voice. She just wants us to get close, to let our guard down. She's not going to stab me with a hidden blade twice. That would be ridiculous. If she sounds threatening, it's because her mask is already slipping. She knows why you're here. You are armed, after all. What are you waiting for? You are here to rescue me, right? Uh, if I come close to you, you're just gonna stab me, aren't you? Do you remember what happened last time? I know you have a knife. I'll let you out of here if you drop it. I'd like, I'd like to trust you. You're being sus! Can we just talk things through? I don't have the key. We killed each other last time. I'd rather not do that again. Look, I know you're mad at me. I think we've been here let bygones be bygones. What happened after you died last time? What if we're both honest with each other? Nobody has to die. What are you gonna do if I let you out? Uh, approach the princess. Turn and leave. Slay the princess. Let's work our way down. You're just gonna stab me, aren't you? What? No! <laughs> no, I wouldn't stab you. I am just a sweet, innocent princess trying to for no reason. Nicole! God damn it, Nicole! Uh, okay, alright, yeah, okay. And you are a brave knight who's supposed to walk up to. Not stabbing distance to help me. Uh-huh. I have absolutely zero doubts that she is going to stab us if we get close to her. What? No! <laughs> Look at her face! She certainly feels oh my God. threatening. It's good. Just because she's acting like she's going to stab you doesn't mean she has the means to actually do it. But you know who is armed? You. Mm -hmm. So stop second-guessing yourself and do your job. Mm -hmm. But I'm nervous. All the more reason to jump into the deep end and deal with her right now before you waste any more time getting stuck in your head. Uh, do you remember what happened last time? Last time? If somebody came into my house and tried to kill me and I cut his neck open and then he stabbed me in the heart and we both died looking in each other's eyes, well, surely I would remember that. Mm-hmm. But I don't remember it, so it must not have happened. Mm-hmm. Last time? What are you talking about? Ugh, it's like the two of you are working together on this. Aren't you listening to her? She's obviously lying through her teeth. I'm terrible at spotting lies, and even I can tell something's <laughs> up here. We can't be the only ones that looped back to the start. Someone else has to remember, right? He's just like me, for real. Yes, something is obviously up. 
and we can all tell that she's lying. It's just the bad that I, the princess. How <laughs> dangerous she is, not dimension hopping or time travel or whatever it is you think you're doing. Just aggressively gaslighting to the point of like, wait, maybe I can believe them? I, now I'm not even actually sure anymore. It, it's, it's the sledgehammer approach to gaslighting. But that's what happened, so you do remember it. Would I just lie? Just lie to your face and tell you a thing I remembered happening didn't happen just so I could stab you again? <laughs> God damn it! God damn it! I mean, just so I could stab you for the first time. Right, yeah, gotcha. Aha! She slipped up there. She said again, and her taking it back doesn't count. She took it back, that still counts. Do you hear how deranged you sound right now? Please stop dawdling. Oh, it's only going to end with violence. Postponing the inevitable is only going to make it worse for you when it actually happens. Mm-hmm. They just isolate their time about Yeah, they just grab clips from Nicole streaming with Bath and just put it in the game. I know you have a knife. I'll let you out of here if you drop it. A knife? What are you talking about? I don't have a knife. Where would I keep a knife? Show me your hands? And why would I stab you to death? I don't know you. You haven't given me a reason to stab you to death. It would be so silly of me to cut you open and look at your insides. Just the silliest little Billy. Okay, I could have sworn we didn't mention stabbing anyone to death. I mean, it's not. It, we're talking about a knife. Sounds like she's really out for her blood. Fortunately for you, she isn't armed. <laughs> Okay, I see why you wanted me to play this root chat. <laughs> I'm fucking losing my mind. Prove it then. Prove you don't have a knife. It would be so much easier to prove that I do have a sharp object. I could just show it to you, but I don't have one, so I can't. <laughs> it's just like Ace Attorney. You gotta, you gotta prove it. The princess smiles oh. as she pulls her hands from oh. behind her back. Okay, okay. Well, maybe she's telling the truth. Maybe she's telling the truth. But look at this. Hands. Hands that don't have anything in them to stab you with. Mm-hmm. Her smile stretches into an even wider grin as she shakes her sleeves. And empty sleeves, too. Look at how few stabbing implements I have. It's practically zero. Practically, but not literally zero. Uh, what if you're hiding it somewhere secret? I've shown you all of my hiding spots. What kind of princess do you think I am? I would never hide something sharp somewhere secret. Wait, that sounds like a mine, but I'm actually not. My secret zones are for me, only they have nothing to do with you or my intention to not stab you to death the second you get close to me. Mm-hmm. Her smile drops for a moment, her expression sharp and flat. Hams, ma'am. <laughs> I assure you, there's nothing hidden there. I, uh... I'm inclined to believe her on that one. She seems serious. Of course, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't have something hidden somewhere. We know for a fact she's armed. I'd like to trust you, but you're being so sus right now. That's... So rude of you, passing judgments on strangers you've never met just because they're different from you. How would you like it if I did that, huh? Silly little bird face thinks he's so serious coming down here but doesn't know anything. Thinks he can tell me to get rid of all the knives I don't even have while he gets to wave one around right in front of me. <laughs> mm hmm I bet you didn't like that, did you? I bet you didn't like being judged for no reason. Yeah, it hurt real bad. How many more times does she have to vaguely threaten you before you finally decide you're ready to deal with her? Mm-hmm. The knife she's hiding is in my hand. Oh my god. We're clearly still figuring out our angle. We don't have the luxury of watching this from a distance. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you think I'm in a position of luxury right now? You're acting like you are. My entire world is at risk. Then maybe you should behave with a little more humility. A bit of self-deprecation would go a long way. Cheated is right. No. I have my dignity. Okay. Fine. 
and will continue to treat you exactly how you deserve to be treated. Can we talk things through? But we don't have anything to talk through. We're strangers and this place is cramped and annoying and you should just come over here and let me out. <laughs> I think I've said my piece at this point. I think we all have. But if you want to keep exhausting your questions, it beats getting stabbed to death. Mm-hmm. I don't have the key. Oh, you don't. Okay, I see. I have an idea. You should come over here and stare directly at the chains. You won't be able to find a key if you don't know what it's supposed to look like, so you better come right within close staring distance just to be sure. She's right about that. Okay, I'm bored now. <laughs> She's bored? That's absurd. She doesn't get to be bored. Not in a way that matters. She's a prisoner. She's... Shit. In a sudden burst of movement, the princess leaps towards you, a blade erupting from her free arm, her wrist limp and empty from the violent expulsion. So I guess she did have a knife of her own after all. God damn it. Oh my god. God damn it. I trusted her. She said she didn't have a knife. How conciliatory of you. We appreciate it, really. Now what are we going to do? At least we're safe here. She's still in chains. And those chains stop her from continuing her advance. Oh. At least for a moment. Okay. All right. We can keep talking. <laughs> this is the best route. She looks down at them with something between annoyance and confusion. Uh, she has a sword. Uh-huh. And then she slices through her arm. Oh no! Okay, maybe we aren't safe here. She doesn't even hesitate before darting towards you with a terrifying speed you can't hope to outpace. Well, let's talk about it! Ah, shit! Okay, she's down an arm and we still have a weapon. I guess we'll have to use it. Mm-hmm. Use it you do. Yes! But unfortunately for you and for the entire world, you are horribly outmatched. I can't believe this. You keep pace with her for a single brief and wordless exchange before she severs your hand and, with it, your only line of defense. Look how happy she is about it. She's even better at this than she was last time. Bloody cheater. I'm going to kill you now. Yeah, I know. And with a squelch, <laughs> she does just that. <laughs> Everything goes dark, <laughs> and you die. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> arms race! You can't keep Go getting away with this! Woods. No, fuck that. If we're gonna have to keep doing this over and over and over again, we're not starting in that goddamn woods every time. We're starting in the fucking cabin! you what? The interior of the cabin is sharp. A constricting mess of curved and battered sheet metal pushing you because towards... Wait, good. excuse me? What just happened? What did you just do? It's very good. I feel dizzy. Oh, ho, ho, ho! I guess I took us to the cabin, didn't I? Isn't that interesting? Who holds the cards now? Nobody. Nobody holds the cards. That's how it's always been. That's unfortunately how reality works. The circle's getting smaller and smaller. Running isn't an option anymore. Hunted. We have to fight. What's the point of fighting if she's just going to win every time? It yeah, I just stabbed the mirror. Being sliced to pieces. Because last time I picked up the sitting up here and doing nothing. Last time I picked up the knife and then I still approached the mirror and it disappeared. So yeah, I'm I'm curious if I can stab it. Great. So obviously you've already been. Well, here. the broken's back. How many right. times? He's back. This is our third. No wonder things have fallen apart. You do realize that every time you fail, she escapes and an entire world is damned to destruction, right? That can't be right. That's too much responsibility. I couldn't agree more. We couldn't be trusted with the fate of a single person, let alone the fate of the world. <sighs> Let's just stay focused, shall we? The only furniture of note is a bent metal table. A pristine blade perched, we take it. <laughs> okay, sure, you take the blade before letting me finish telling you it's there. Good. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. This feels right. We just have to keep our senses sharp. That's right, we've got to be able to win eventually. And what if we never do? Don't be like that. I know things are hard right now, but we got to stay positive. If they're confident, then I'm confident. So, are you just going to stand there, or are you going to head to the basement like you're supposed to? 
I'd love to get started just as much as you would, but how are we supposed to get down there? You walk through the door. You do know what doors are, right? What is that word? Door? Is that a real word? Sounds sounds like a fake word you just made up. Door. What kind of word is that? But there isn't a door. It's just that mirror again. It's like a caveman grunt. Door. It isn't a mirror. You really messed things up, didn't you? It's like you can't even see reality anymore. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's short for mirror door. Oh. I can feel the air coming up from behind it, stinking of iron and steel. He might be right. Could be a trick. If our other senses can't feel it, then we can't trust it. Those are those shiny things in bathrooms? That's what I thought, yeah. More door. Approach the mirror. You make your way to the door at the end of the room, stopping just in front of it. <clears throat> you really must think you're looking at a mirror. Well, it doesn't exist. Just reach forward and open it. Stab it. Let's just move it out of the way without looking. I don't want to see us. I'm sure we all look awful after dying twice. Let's just fumble for the handle and be done with it. I don't care what we look like. I care about getting to the end of this mess. Wipe the mirror clean. I don't have an option to stab it this time. Oh. That was a very good long drawn out sigh. <laughs> you reach forward and place your hand on the door to the basement. It creaks open. <laughs> mood, mood. Just like me, for real. And the mirror's gone. Eh, surprising. It was never there. Just an illusion. Guess it's time for us to see her again. She's probably gonna look real Just friendly. Stay focused and you'll be fine. It's gonna be great. You step forward, but you don't get a chance to linger on the basement stairs. They are smooth and flat and metallic. An unintentional and unfortunately slippery ramp that quickly sends you skittering to the bottom. I took one step and then just fuck wait, hold on. I have something for this chat. Anyway, we fell! Hooray! Your body oh. tumbles onto the basement floor and Hold the on. form of the princess comes into view, standing at a distance. She gives you a wry smile. Keep the music going to raise levity? No! Hi! It looks like you don't have a way out, so I'm not going to play dumb anymore. Oh, good! But don't worry about how bad you did last time. That's part of the fun. Oh, good! Fun for her, maybe. I didn't like dying all over again. Thinking about dying makes us as good as dead. The only thing that matters is survival. Actually, does survival matter? We've died twice and nothing bad has come of it. We just need to find a way to win once. Nothing bad has come of it yet. Plenty bad has come of it. You've left at least one entire world to ruin. The people there mattered. The past isn't real. There's only here and now. Your internal bickering is cut short by the wet sound of slicing meat. When the princess's arms erupt twin blades, glistening with her blood, the empty flesh of her arms flopping at her it. elbows like torn sleeves. The I chain clatters to the floor. For a brief moment, I was hoping the title of the chapter was not a pun, but I see that I was sorely mistaken. Oh, okay, yeah. She's loose, and she is coming for you. Good. You're going to make me walk over to you, aren't you? No, I can come over there. Shit. She's coming for us and I'm out of ideas. Uh, we're fighting her, obviously. We're gonna appeal to her authority. Puff her up a bit. There's no reason we can't talk this out. That's easy. I'm gonna try flirting with her. I know what chat's gonna want me to do. She has swords for arms and we don't. We're panicking. We're going to fight her, and we're going to have a stiff upper lip about it. She can't hurt us if we don't let ourselves feel it. She wins by killing us, right? So let's beat her to it. All these ideas suck. Think of something better. To return of Smitty. For Smitty. Now, I've tolerated quite a bit from you, but this is a bridge too far. Please don't try romancing the princess. She wants to kill you. She's going to end the world if you don't stop her. Yeah, but I mean... Yeah, do we have to flirt with the murderous monster? I'd rather not. It's not like she wants <sighs> us anyway. It's because Smitty's not here to take the lead. I'm fine with it. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> okay, cheated. 
I know you want to kill me, but has anyone ever told you how gorgeous you are? I just feel like I really get you. I like you. Romantically even, maybe we can hash this out over a date. How about you buy me dinner before impaling me to death? Give her the look. Let me give her the look. The look. The look. We've all used it. Yeah, do you not know about the look? Even I know about the look. You flash the princess the look. And a rosy blush <laughs> rushes to the princess's cheeks as she breaks into a wide grin. Unbelievable. This is the best sprite in the game. Thank <laughs> oh uh, <laughs> you, Porsche. How you doing? Holy bird charm. That bird just went. Oh, is that how it is? Yeah, okay, I feel that. I like you too. Neat. Oh my god, it's working. Oh, be damned. This is actually going to work, isn't it? Still going to kill you. But now we can both enjoy a mutual romantic subtext to the murder. Oh, uh, mm, oh. Or not. At least she likes us. <laughs> I've never been liked before. <laughs> 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 Blush still oh. glowing in her cheeks. There she is. The princess closes the distance between you. Blades flashing. She skewers you. No, oh, no. <laughs> uh, at least the look worked. Ow. What worthwhile romance doesn't hurt at least a little bit? What matters is that she likes us. She's even said as much. Smitty's back! Return of Smitty! Oh, a new one of us. I thought that only happens when we die. Did we die? You're on a... No, you're in a... Where the hell are you? I think we're dead. And that's all we'll ever be. Dead, 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 dead. I like that being horny enough brought the smitten back. Stop saying dead, all of you. We might have died a second ago, but right now we're extremely not dead. This is all horribly wrong. How many times have you been here? This is four. No wonder everything's such a mess. This wasn't supposed to go past one. I wonder what you're going to do next. You're so full of ideas, and I love that. But I guess we don't have time to talk about things before the princess advances. Give her the lick again. Give her again. Okay. Whatever we do gets us another us. Let's see how many we can stack. There's got to be a point where it makes us better than her. More, more personalities. As yeah. long as we keep moving. We'll win her heart eventually. Oh, great. So it's going to get even more... We're making a pile. Deluded. Even more deluded voices that think we might stand any kind of chance. We're making a pile, lads. Come on. Show me something new. Okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, there's no reason to do it. Uh, let's appeal to her authority. There's no reason we can't talk this out. It doesn't work. She kills you again and again and again and again. Your memory blurs as your consciousness leaps from life to life to life, holding only snippets of the conflict that transpires. Let's appeal to her better nature. We haven't tried that. I'm sure she'll listen to reason. The opportunist is here. She skewers you. Well, there's more of us. Let's see if that helps. We just have to hit her harder. Stubborn. She skewers you. You'll have to be trickier than that. Then you skewer yourself. I thought we both understood that dying doesn't get you anywhere. She's getting more sword hands. Huh. That didn't do much of anything. We're tougher than I thought. Just panic! Flee! She skewers you. No, you don't get to escape. That's not how this works. It doesn't matter how many times this takes, we can't give up. <sighs> okay, let's go again. She skewers you. Again! She's going to kill this body either way. So stop feeling what it feels. She skewers you. Ooh, not bad. Real tough. See? We're getting better. Okay, okay, yeah. That was a good one. None of this is working. Think. 
think. She skewers you. We're getting close to something. Can't you feel it? One last time. You're right. One more One time. One last time. That's all we need. And then everything goes dark. And you die. Oh. A re a chapter 4. Mutually Assured Destruction. Your Honor, don't lose your head. We're in a cabin and we'll find it from here. <laughs> Good. Everything feels like it finally fits, uh. doesn't it? We're up here, which is different, and different is good. Mm -hmm. And our steel claw is already in our hand. Mm -hmm. Superman Ice Lair ass cabin, right? Ho oh, ho! What if? Throw it out the window. I already tried that. Over my dead body. That won't be very hard. We've died a lot. But I can't say I mind anymore. Everyone is here. Besides, what better way to die so very many times than at the sharp hands of a beautiful woman? He's down so bad. I'm sure I can think of a better way to die. Eh, they're all the same, really. How about we stop thinking about horrible ways to die? I don't want us to accidentally manifest anything. The only thing we're gonna manifest is finally ending up on top. In a fight, right? There are entirely too many of you. How many times have you been here? This isn't good. This is... How about you stick to describing things, and we'll stick to doing them. Yeah, leave <clears> it <throat> to the pros. We'll notch up that win in no time. Narrator, we heroically stride through the door and towards our destined final encounter with our star-crossed lover. Fine by me. You walk to the door and onto the basement stairs, only... It's more of a slide. We know. I'm right. I'm fingers on the button. Fine. I'll just shut up then and speed this whole thing along. Are you sure you don't want me to describe the stairs, or this room, or anything? It feels like I'm hardly a part of this. Don't care. Just want to win. Fine. You make your way to the basement, where the princess awaits you. Hooray! You know, this last time I killed you, and you didn't pop right back up again? I thought I'd actually done it. I thought I'd cut you into so many pieces you just weren't able to stitch yourself back together. But I guess we're not done. That's okay with me. It's good even. I like that. I got something ready for you while you were gone. Do you want to see it? Is it more knife hands? I'm not going to wait for an answer. I'm just going to show you. It's worth it though. Just you wait. And not for very oh. long. Because I'm going to do it right now. Did she show me a donation to the Open Hand Foundation? Thank you for that. Do, do, do. Ba, ba, ba. Hmm. Six, six, six. Someone. Well, we're, we're at $2,666 total raised. Universal Fireworks said fine. Oh, God. Spooky number. It's going to be fine. I'm sure we're fine. Are you going to say what she does? Thank you. She's going to show us something so cool. I'm excited. Uh, oh. Do you want me to talk now? Well, yeah, she says she has something new. I want to hear about the new thing. Yeah, me too. I think I speak for all of us when I say that I would like to hear you describe her new thing. Really? Okay then. Here we go, now. The princess's skin twists, splitting into red blooms of raw meat as it stretches and tears. And then it erupts. She becomes a wave of blood and viscera, pieces of her splattering against the walls. All that remains in the center of the room is a skeleton of blades. A heart beats furiously in its cage of a chest. Don't say I can still fix her. Are you ready for what comes next? Holy shit! <laughs> She's gorgeous. Absolutely divine. Smitty, please! Smitty, please. Yes, behold the perfect woman. <laughs> Do you think we uh, can throw her out the window? Oh my god, everyone is on brand today. That looked painful. How is she still alive? Hearts still beating, that's all she needs. This is fake. This is all fake. That's all just made up. She doesn't even have a back anymore. 
How are we supposed to stab her in it? This is all just a sick joke. I hate existing. We're screwed. I, I quit. I'm done. Forget it. I'm gonna empty my mind. What just happened? It's so quiet. Him too. Something feels different about you. It almost makes me feel different. Like I should actually take this seriously for once. <laughs> but leave Smitty. <laughs> just. If you wait long enough, a second option slowly fades in. But keep Smitty. Oh. You do not act, and yet through that inaction, <clears throat> your body moves on its own. The princess strikes as you approach, but as your blow finishes its arc, you're already somewhere else. Hiya! You're incredible. Hey, thank you. Your weapons clash again and again, you and her entering a rhythm free of thought and free of self. There's only the dance, the ebb and flow, the shifting of the tides back and forth between you. The deeper you fall into your play, the faster your hearts pound and the faster the momentum volleys between you. An endlessly building crescendo and then an opening. Your blade strikes free of volition and hers strikes too. Both strikes are lethal. Neither of you will survive, but neither of you fear what's to come. This is a good ending. Oh, thank you, game, for telling me that. Whoop. There she goes. True romance. You do not get to see each other die, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. I bet I look really cool. You do so. Gaze into the reflection. Sounds too short. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. You need to see what's in it. You are nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Oh. Well. That isn't right. You can't be nothing. You refocus your gauge. You see it. A figure faint and veiled in shadow just beyond the reflection. There's something at like the top that is very hard to see. It's a burb. It does kind of seem burb-like. I'm just a big old bird, mister. We're a cool as hell bird, a handsome bird. Are you me? I think you know what I am. Narrator. A crack slides down the center of the mirror, splitting the image in the glass in two. And then another crack forms, another and another, turning the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass. And the, uh, uh, so you're the narrator. I was wondering if I'd ever get to see you. Bird! Bird! Uh, what are you? Are you something like me? If you're not me, then what are you? I have so many questions for you. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so you're the narrator. The narrator. Yes. I suppose that's my job, isn't it? You needed help, after all. An objective voice to guide your blade. But you were never supposed to see me. I wonder how many worlds you've damned to extinction to fall this far. This is neat. Have a go on, Kitsusu. You got teeths. Oh no. Uh, what are you, something like me? Oh, I'm nothing like you. I am an echo. Likely one of many. Somebody made you, after all, and I'm what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I'm sure you've met many others like me. Others like you. You've said that something like that before. Has every narrator really been different? Of course. That is by both necessity and design. Might want to save. Limited questions. That's this fair. This construct you're in exists in many places at once. Any time you failed, any time you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both your consciousness and hers into another world. But you'll be awake soon. And then it won't be able to work like that anymore. Choose carefully. Each mirror is a narrator? Possibly. Let's see. Eh? Um, do you have anything to say for yourself for all of this hubris? I do. People out there are real. No matter what you do to them, no matter what you enable, I want you to remember I guess that. I could have done a quick save quick book. Ooh, quick save. Uh, after everything you've done to us, do you think anyone deserves to live? Nobody alive has done anything to you. I'm all gone. 
But if you and the princess want to smite the rest of them for the crimes of a dead man, if you really want to be that petty, there isn't much I can do to stop you. I have so many questions for you. Then ask them, and make it quick. I won't last for long now that you can see me. Uh, does it hurt when pieces of you break off like that? It doesn't hurt. I don't feel pain. Not physically. I'm sorry, I don't want to destroy you. Will it help if I look away or stop asking questions? Like this one? We've already crossed the point of no return. There's no saving me now. Not that there's ever been much of me to save. Soon I'll be gone entirely. And you'll be left alone with your final choice. So allow me to make my final request. The princess contains death itself within her. But I wove you into being with all the power you need to destroy her forever. Do it. Slay her, and rid the world of death and suffering. Every time I ask you something, it's like a piece of you breaks. I'm aware. And if I were you, I'd be more precious about your time. Yeah, probably. I got a team for running out of questions. I think uh, we're out of time. You're out of time. I'm not going to slay her. I want you to know that before you die for good. What? Hmm. Rest easy, I'm gonna destroy her. Lie. Rest easy, I'm gonna destroy her. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet. Let me just do the quick load. Uh, boop. Uh... Are you a part of me or are you something else? No, I'm not a part of you. He definitely knows when but you that's lie. That's all a matter of perspective, isn't it? From one vantage point, I must seem wholly foreign, but from another, well... All the versions of me that have existed have collectively heard your every thought and driven your every action. If that isn't being part of you, then what is? Um, so you do know about the loops. So many times I met you, you denied it as you being possibility. Why'd you lie to me? Perhaps they thought that admitting to it would have pushed you to certain realizations that would have made finishing your task impossible. Maybe they were just in denial. The loops! I'm sure many of them were convinced that they had to be the first version of them you'd encountered. Anything else would have been too existentially unpleasant. And for all I know, each of those other versions of me could have had entirely different understandings of how this construct works. Who's to say which of them are right and which of them are wrong, really? Except for me. I can tell you for a fact that I'm right. Oh, thank you. Good to know. Uh, if you made me, then what am I? You're the long quiet. The god I made to rid the world of death. Huh, that explains that. Uh, after the, uh, I don't want to be a god, I want to be me. I always knew I was special. Uh, I always, I don't want to be a god. You are you. And if you would let everything work the way it was supposed to, you never would have woken up to the reality of your true nature. There's no accounting for free will. Soon I'll be gone entirely, and you'll be left- mm -hmm. uh... Are you a god, or were you a god? No. In life, I was painfully mortal. A witness to the end of days. I held the fear of death in my heart, and saw oblivion threaten the very memory of everything I knew and everyone I loved. I needed to do something, so I made you, and I made her, and I made this place to hold you both. So I made the princess too? Hmm, alright, hold on. Whoop. Bring me back. Uh, um, uh, 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 I wasn't supposed to see all this, was I? You were either going to have seen all this, or you weren't going to have seen all this. This is worse, but you still have an opportunity to save the world. You can still slay her. Get in the robot, Smitty. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, if you want me to slay her, I need to know what she actually is. She is the shifting mound, the ebb and flow, the capacity to change. She is transformation, or most of it. Her nature is why I had to die, for she becomes that which others perceive her to be. But an echo can't perceive things, not in the way that people can. 
so I tucked a part of myself into the folds of this construct to guide you. Like I said, this isn't the end just yet. You can still destroy her and save everyone. You were made to do this single task, and you will still have a chance to fulfill your purpose once I'm gone. Yeah. Mm. Why couldn't you have told me this from the start? I would have helped. I would have helped you destroy her. If you actually knew what she was from the start, if you knew her capabilities, a single intrusive thought could have ended the, oh. the entire world. If I destroy her, one, I'd be alone. Why would you want me to destroy the concept of transformation? Because among other things, she is death itself. To rid the world of suffering, to save untold trillions from being lost forever to the cosmic wind, she must be destroyed. If I destroy her, won't I be alone? Yes, you will. But it will all be worth it. I mean, clearly he tried, or is trying. Uh, but she contains death. What is she? She is the shifting man. Oh, that's I already did that. Oops. Uh, load. Weep. Bring me back. Um. What is the Princess you make her too? So that's like a different way to get to that. Um. The people out there beyond the walls of the construct, do they know about this? Do they know what you want me to do to them? Of course not. The only way this construct could function was if nobody knew what it was doing. But the bones of the universe are old. It's on the cusp of its dying breath, and the people out there are consumed with thoughts of oblivion. When the patterns are wiped from the sand, when the board is reset, who will remember them? All I've done is give them a chance to live outside of the shadow of the end. Mm. Um. What is my true identity? You're the long quiet. Yeah, okay. Good. Yeah. Um. I mean, there's a couple other permutations I can get to, but, um. Who cares about dying? I've died plenty of times. You haven't. You flirted with dying. Mm. You've played pretend. But your consciousness is an unbroken stream. Okay. Uh, how am I supposed to get r to rid the world of death? By slaying the princess. Once she's gone, everyone will get to exist exactly as they are. No more fear. No more howling chaos. Just... Life. Forever. Mm. Mm -hmm. And how do you know everybody else doesn't also experience death the way I do? They obviously don't. You experience death the way you do by design, and by your unique nature. Cool. Uh, explore. I don't think you're wrong, I don't think dying's bad at all, and you're just making this up as you go. If you I think really you're want to waste valuable time telling me I'm wrong, and we both know I'm not, then that's your prerogative. Here's the bird in the mirror. Well, oops. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's neat. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let's lie to him in his final moments. I'm gonna destroy her. Lie. Are you lying? <laughs> I can't tell. I've said my piece, mm -hmm. and my time is up. I'm gonna give her the look. It's like I said, I'm just an echo, and echoes always fade away. You know what you have to do. As the final fragment of glass shatters, you see yourself with newfound clarity. The narrator was right, you are the long quiet, a vast and nascent god, and it is finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. Proceed to the cabin one last time. I'm me. When you arrive at the heart of things, there's no final vessel for you to bear witness to. There's nothing for you to find. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I can finally see you. Oh. And you can finally see me. The layers of the background lining up when the cursor's in the middle is really neat. Hmm. YouTube won't approve. It'll be fine. 
It's been so long, and my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. Uh, I've missed you too. <laughs> Do you know about the echo? Did you hear our conversation? I'm the long quiet. I don't really know what that means. What happens then? Uh, I've missed you too? There's no nip nop, so it's fine. She unfurls an endless cascade of smiles in response and then patiently waits for you to continue. Do you know about the echo? Did you hear our conversation? Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know him, and I know his construct. He was deluded by his fear of death. Pay him no more. Also save. Yeah, I could save. Uh, 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 save. Here. And also quick save. Burp. Hi, I've saved. Thank you. Uh, pay him no mind. Mm hmm I'm the long quiet, but I don't know what that means. Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting <clears throat> Mound. A pale imitation of what I actually am. What happens now? Ever the passive player. Always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't it? Maybe. When the Echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not death, but I contain it in my multitudes. Uh -huh. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or will you open the final doors to our liberation? Mm-hmm. No biggie. There's so many stories we've left unfinished. Can we really just... Oh, there's a bunch here. Slay the princess. Slay the princess. It's time for us to leave. Let's explore. There's so many stories we've left unfinished. Can we really just leave? Even as your eyes begin to open, you still hold on to the notion Gives the of look. is and is not, of beginning and end. Pitch black islands in the blinding light of the infinite. There is nothing to resolve, nothing restraining us but us. I made it to the Arby back rooms. Don't you have a say in all this? Why is this all falling on me? Of course I have a say in all of this. You and I share reflections of each other's burdens, just as you and I share reflections of each other's gifts. If we didn't, the winding paths that brought us here wouldn't have been full of strife and conflict. Let's talk this through. I have many questions I need answers before I can make a choice. My very nature is paradox, as is yours. You cannot use words to grasp at things that are beyond their reach. And you cannot rationalize that which defies logic. But violence and passion are dances that both of us know well. If this is what it takes to enlighten you, then so be it. Mm -hmm. A boundless torrent of blades cuts you from boundless angles. You are a body. You are gory ribbons. You are a body again. And you feel all of it. Oh. On and on it goes until your bodies are not your thoughts or not you. Alive, dead, alive, dead, alive, dead, then alive and dead and alive and dead all at once. You learn to put yourself away and to follow the flow of reality. And you used it to rise above me. You died countless steely deaths. And you lived countless short lives, and yet it is all so far behind you. Unjust impossibilities pushed you to become something you would never have been without them. Ma'am? Uh, uh, if you hadn't snatched that body away, we would have killed each other. We were self-destructed. It felt so good to finally win. Even if it was going to cost me my life, even if the journey was agony, the end gave the struggle meaning. I won't engage with violence. <laughs> Clearly, I am above such things. Remain silent. Uh. We were self destructive, girl. Were we self destructive? Or did the beauty of our dance reach beyond the shadow of death? It was lethality that made us what we were. 
My masses mob you. There is no beginning to them, nor is there an end. There is only the flood of bodies. At every moment you hold every possible sensation at once, and then you hold them all again. And in the end, you returned it to me. For a brief moment, you were everything. Multi princess is back. She's there. She's hanging out. A chaos oh. that needed ordering. But without chaos, there is no reason. I couldn't understand you then, but I think I understand you now. You seemed in pain. I'm sorry for what I did. It's the only thing I could do. I won't engage with violence. There's no need for us to keep fighting. I'll leave with, with you. I just don't know how. Stop the fight early and surrender. Or remain silent. Um, I'm sorry for what I did. It was the only thing I could do. She'll understand that. That's going to go over well. I saw with a single pair of eyes what I needed dozens to comprehend. And now here we are, each with millions of eyes, and all of them opening to what we are. <laughs> your little hand tried to stake into your body, and another, and another, and another. No! Do I miss your heart because I can't stand to see it go? I'm just a cool bird! Love melted into <laughs> skepticism. Is. And you pulled back layer after layer after layer until all you were left with was the knowledge that you did not know me. That's your favorite line. I'm sorry, Nicole, that I've ruined your favorite line by having anime princess on top of it. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> you sought the truth then. Will you hide from it now that it is within your grasp? Ay, ay, ay. I decided to, try, uh, to hide the truth can be made better. It is strong as well to take Sophia. I don't want to hide from the truth. I want to engage with violence. I don't want to hide from the truth. Then don't. Oh. Leave with me. There's no need for you to fight what we are. Okay. Um, I'm ready. I want to leave with you. Stop the fight early and surrender. Or I won't leave with you. Not until you see things from my perspective. I don't want to stop the fight. I want to keep chatting. If you need more time to open your eyes, then I will give you all the time in the world. Thank you. Oh, ghost A shiver passes through you as unseen fingers, cold as the grave, dance across your skin. They remember the violence you inflicted on them. And yet, they do not return it. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Disco. Yeah, I'm gonna mansplain my way to victory. It's gonna go great. No, I'm birdsplaining. That's different. I offer you a path to your redemption, and you take my hand in yours. You felt the pain you caused another, and you were willing to sacrifice everything you thought was you to set me free. Without sin, there is no redemption. Man birdsplaining. Without redemption, there can be no sin? Is that how that works? I would sacrifice everything to free you again. I won't engage with violence. I would sacrifice everything. And yet there is nothing left for you to sacrifice. So long as you accept me with open arms. What is a person? Is it their body? Is it all of their body? Pluck the eyes. Peel the skin, strip the tendons, mince the meat, grind the bones. When it is all gone, do you still have who you started with? My bird! A person is not a body. Death is a transformation into something new. It is only bodies that fear it. I am not my body, but I feel my body suffer. Perhaps others are theirs. I don't fear death not anymore. What am I if I'm not a body? I won't engage with violence. Uh, what am I if not a body? You are you. Oh. As the clash between you abates, you begin to shake, your will rapidly dissolving. Are you starting to see? Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. There is no constant. There is no center. 
Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this prison together. Uh, it's easy to believe in the things you believe in when you get to sit above it all. What do you think happens if we leave here? Slay the princess, slay the princess. <laughs> There's a bunch of slay the princess options now. What do you think happens if we leave here? This universe dies, and a new one is born. And that one dies, and a new one is born. And you and I get to witness it all. Weaving a tapestry of life wherever we go. Mm-hmm. It's easy to believe in the things you believe in when you get to sit above it all. It is from my vantage point that I can see the totality of truth. Hmm. I'm ready to go, but how do we leave? I never wanted to fight you, but how do we leave? I can't let that happen. I can't let everything die, slay the princess. I have to fight for a better world. I'm sorry, slay the princess. You are cruelty. I cannot let you exist, slay the princess. I don't know what the answer is, but there has to be something else. It can't be this. I won't kill you, but I won't let you free. That's uh, just, hmm. You've done everything you can to make me understand your perspective, but you keep dismissing mine. If you think you can change me, then I must be able to change you. Oh. I don't like the way that that's phrased it seems bleh. But there's an interesting nugget in there. Hmm. This is a good one. I did, I can save again. Quick save. Uh, change her with the look, but equality. I mean, it would be nice to have her be like, oh, I get it, but I still feel this way, but you know. The I can fix her ending. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll try. We'll try it! What I offer you is not perspective. It is truth. Yeah, that's that's why I feel like it's talking to a wall, you know. Whatever you're trying to do right now, you don't have to do it alone. My friends are back! Which hero are you? Um, all of them. I assume in the same way that you're all of you. Is Smitty with you? You have no idea how good it is to hear you. I can do this alone. Where's everyone else? How are you supposed to help? I thought voices weren't allowed here. I thought you died whenever I looked in the mirror. Where's everyone else? They're still where you left them. Stuck in the folds of this place. Part of me is with them. Just like part of me is with you right now. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take you to her heart. It's time to resume our dance. She's relentless, isn't she? Let's make this quick. Are you ready? I came to help. Oh my god! Wait, you by yourself? Wait. Hmm. Uh, let's go. Okay. Then sure. Let's go. Where are we go? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's get more detailed. Okay. Oh. And here we are. I'd say we were back where it all started, but I guess it's a little after that, isn't it? The fucking window. <laughs> the view outside. Do you need me to describe things? Uh, for old time's sake. Yeah. Yeah, of course. The interior of the cabin is, well, it's a cabin, yeah? There isn't much here. Just a table and a knife and a door. And some windows. <laughs> I'm missing the orgy. Yo, man! Check your phone. Look outside. What? You know, come to what think of it. What is going on out there? I don't think he ever really mentioned the windows, did he? No, he really didn't. There's no mirror either. I think you broke it. I think it broke itself. And I know you're still trying to find some middle ground, but if things go south, we're going to need that blade. It's looking hot outside today. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just you and me. Did anyone else make it to the cabin? It's just us. I think the rest of them are still out there. Jumbled up in the rest of her. Is the narrator really gone? Yeah, it's dead silent in here. Whatever it was that was left of him, I don't think it could handle you waking up to godhood. Pretty sure he got obliterated. Hmm. Good riddance. I don't know how I feel about him being gone. After everything he put us through, I'm kind of sad to see him go. Uh, I don't know how I feel about him being gone. Yeah, it's complicated. He put us through hell, but... He's been part of us since the very beginning, hasn't he? Smitty died the way he lived. Oh, seven. Quick save. Yeah, I can save here. Um, yeah, um, there's fine. It's page one. I guess I have a lot of pages for saves. Um, should I take the blade? 
Should I take the blade? Ah, should I take it? No knife? Don't take it? No. They want you to save a Well, I mean, it's part of the engine they built the game in, but... Nah, I don't need it. No blade it is. I'm not sure what we'll be able to do without it, but your judgment has gotten us this far. Yeah, and everything's going great, right? It's gonna be good. We only Stay. need it. The look, that's the only sharp the blade I need. We here? The first time we heard her voice. Have you figured out what you want to do yet, or are you going to keep trying to find a center that doesn't exist? Okay, give me a minute! It sounded just like that. A little sharp, a little menacing. Only she didn't know us. Continue down this Down we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Oh. And there you are. Hands empty. So you don't feel like recreating our first meeting detail for detail. I wonder what else will be different. Mm-hmm. Well, you don't have the thing on your hand in the other. Maybe there's still room for us to chat before the final curtain call. What do you say? Be nice. Sit with her. Yeah. I don't want to be a god. Honestly, me neither. Yeah, relatable. Okay. Are you the same as you are out there? No. I feel like I'm myself again. Which myself? What if we just leave? I think the only thing left for us to do here is leave. What if we left? Do you know where this cabin is? Because I don't. I don't even know what's supposed to be outside other than us. What would even happen if we leave? What would that even mean? Uh, take her hand in yours. I don't know, but I've always wanted to leave with you. I just didn't like being a god. I want to walk through that cabin door as we are, just you and me. Not knowing what it mean not knowing what it means is why I want it. We knew everything out there, but we don't know this. I want to know this. Doesn't matter what happens or what it means. What matters is that we're leaving together. That's all I want. Uh what would I even mean? Um I wanna walk through that door, just you and me. I want that too. Smitty said hold them hands. <laughs> I think I'm gonna stay right here. Whatever you're doing right now, wherever it's you're heroes. going, Come on. it feels like it's for just the two of you. Thanks, hero. Are you going to be okay alone? Yeah, I'm not sure I'll be alone for too long anyways. The others are still around here somewhere. I'll find them. Leave with the princess. You lead and the princess follows and together you leave the basement behind for the last time. It's quiet as you ascend, a comfortable silence filling a space that used to be flooded with violence and words and noisy thoughts. But there's an energy in the silence, an electricity, the anticipation of the unknown. Where'd they go? At the top of the stairs, the princess stalls, eyes fixed on the cabin door. You can see a tension sees her. She's unsure of herself for the first time in her long and short existence. She has no part to play anymore, and she knows this, yet she still is. And then she crosses the room to the door outside. You follow her confident steps. This is it. I have no idea what it's going to be like out there. Not that I'm scared or anything. It's exciting, really. Anything could happen. And if it's bad, then it won't be bad. Not with you. I love you. Who's going to open it? Are you ready? Neither of us knows what it's going to be like out there. Open the door. Are you ready? Of course I am. Are... are you? That's life, baby. Take her hand in my bird hand. Yeah! Yeah, woo! Yeah, woo! Nicole! Nicole! I'm pointing at it. I'm pointing at it. Oh, Why we bird? Why not? Really sweet for meta reasons? Aww. That was excellent. That was wild. That was a that that was a journey, and also I I I have like I've done like ten percent of the achievements. Whoa, Patreon Alpha Testers, nice. My score one, Nicole five hundred bajillion. I was joking when I said I could fix her name, but it actually was that. Yeah. Thanks for little creatures. Wednesday snake spoons cat nubs small monster. <laughs> Uh, here's the track order for a special playlist just for you. 
Oh, so this is based off of like my playthrough through the game. That's really cute. The Great Dora. That's neat. Hit the UI by hitting H. 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 Explore the Discord. Join the mailing list, join the server. Follow us somewhere else. Make your own playlist. Play our other game. What the hell is somewhere else? It just linked to their website, where to find us page. It just has everything. Neat. Well, I would make my own playlist. That opens up Spotify. Nice. Rad. All right. Cool. Main menu. Hooray. Well, that was lit one playthrough of this game. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, shout outs to the devs, but also shout outs to Nicole. Go follow Nicole. Um, she streams. She, her streams are great. Um, yeah, I, I have 21 out of 97 achievements. There's a lot we didn't see. So if you enjoyed this, you can go to Steam or GOG and get the game. It's 10% off. Or you can wishlist it, pick it up in the future. Um, and hope you enjoy what the hell else more is in there. Want to the last part in Slayer? No, I actually don't. I, I, I'm, I'm curious what the other options are, but in terms of where I'm at right now, I'm like, I'm, I'm pretty content with the ending we got. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to sully the moment. By just loading a quick save. Ghost Tricks on sale. Another game with good ghosts in it. Fun listening for parts that weren't like that. I, I absolutely understand. Yeah. Yeah. This is great. So much we didn't say. I'm 15 hours and four playthroughs in. With saving loading, I'm still seeing new things. Wild. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I learned the meaning of a ton of words. There you go. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll be streaming Hitman tomorrow, which, uh, should be a fun time. I'm excited for that. But definitely check out this game. Follow Nicole, follow the devs, follow the people. Uh, the devs also have another game, which I haven't seen, but people have spoken highly of. Just about a quarter. That's wild. That's a lot in here. Thank you! Appreciate it. I love showing off and playing wild things, and this certainly was. I really enjoyed it. There's some very cool moments in there. Uh, arbitrarily Phil, thanks for 28 months. Found this game existed a couple days ago. What timing? Isn't that nice? When people have been looking forward to a thing for a long time, you're like, I just learned about this. I didn't have to wait very long. JC Maxwell, thanks for eight months. I'm sure this is fine. As your gift to sub this, Mitty. Herf, thanks for 49 months. Pile of Blep, 38. Squeaks, thanks for 31 bits. Nicole, good night, good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Arsafel, thanks for 20 months. Barbobble. Ben Hecker, thanks for seven months. Thanks for the prime. Unpleasantness incarnate. Thanks for 14 months. No clue what's going on, but she's gonna stab me for sure. She stabbed me many times. A little bit. So we got everything to experience the madness of the razor ending. I I'm glad you pushed me for razor ending. I totally understand why you wanted me to experience that. I I, I think I it's I, it's like tied for me between razor and and ghost princess. I think those those are probably my favorites. But uh, yeah, razor was something else. That was bonkers. Uh, Blangry gifted a sub to not a knife. That's not a knife. Definitely not. Bake Bami, thanks for 21 months. Post my sub message too early. Hi, Barold and chat. I'm the chatter formerly known as Ame Obake with a new name. Wasn't fully really satisfied with my earlier name. Hopefully I'll be satisfied with this one now. I hope you're satisfied too. You can always change it if not. Thanks so much, Bake Bami, and thanks for letting me know you changed your name. Polar Spaniel, thanks for tour, a tier two in 44 months. Does the princess know I've subbed for 44 months? I think the narrator probably knows. And Fatal, thanks for the raid. You joined at a very fun time. I hope you enjoyed. And also, thanks again to people who threw some donations to the Open Hand Foundation, bringing our total as of right now to 2,666 spooky dollars for a very spooky Halloween Eve, 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 Eve. Um, thank you so much. Uh, the, the campaign will be up for a while longer if anyone still wants to chip to it in the future. Um, but I'll probably remove it from the overlay and just point y'all towards Indie Lane, which is starting tomorrow. Quick, someone donate three American dollars. Uh, Lane Bay, thanks for 47 months. Thank you. Appreciate it. Baff Ray's Baff streaming? Yes, he was streaming. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for hanging. Thanks to Nicole for hanging out for so much of it. I know she's been very excited for this to release, and it's been getting a very positive reception, and I see why. It's been it's been a goddamn hoot. Baff is doing. Yeah, let's go see how to Baff. Bath's doing back at it again at the Shadow Temple. Hell yeah. Bath's working on more Ocarina of Time Rando. Seems insanely complicated. Yeah, I always think about like Yeah, I I I I 
Having finished a single... Oh my god. Having finished a single playthrough does make me curious. Not only what the different options are. Um, of what else? The different... Smitty good ending. Thanks for the dollar. <laughs> Smitty good ending. Um, hey, get similar to this. I mean, I mean, in, in terms of, like, having a script you're supposed to stick to and kind of pushing against that, it does remind me of the Stanley Parable, but obviously this has more of a horror angle to it, even though there's clear moments of levity. Stanley Parable is more... I mean, it gets, like, existential horror sometimes a little bit in Stanley Parable. Um, uh, some parts of it are heavier, but, um, and yeah, obviously the narrative is a big part of it. And then if you're into that kind of aspect of it, then uh, the Beginner's Guide, which was made by the same guy, Davey Redden, Redden who, who made... The Stanley Parable made it a, a very, very good game called The Beginner's Guide that all, that gets a lot heavier in some respects, but is very good. Um, less about, like, the way it handles kind of a weird meta-narrative thing is a kind of a different sort of structure than just, like, you're playing a game and they tell you what to do, but yeah. Um, yeah, it doesn't go like, I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to describe, but anyway. Um, yeah, thanks so much for hanging. Doki Doki, yeah. Everhood. Yeah, some themes similar to that. Doki Doki, there's a couple of things Yeah. Anyway, uh, I don't know what our rate message is. Figure it out. Goodbye. <laughs> I I, read, I didn't think of what it would be, so then they're gone. Thanks for watching, VOD Watchers. I hope you enjoyed uh, this single playthrough. Yeah, what I was going to finish my thought. Um, it makes me curious about what the other options are of the different paths, naturally, but also, like, how many different endings there are. If it, it's like, no matter what you do, it always brings you to a Slayer or... or rescue kind of situation there, but yeah, or or just if the different princesses you pick to create that final one has extra changes, I would imagine there might be some extra dialogue in the end there, but yeah, I don't know. I hope you enjoyed regardless. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on uh, on, on YubTub, check the description for a link to the game on Steam. Check it out. Wishlist it. Pick it up. Pick it up. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go now. Stop watching the video. It's over. Goodbye.